You know, it's been a while since we've had the tea time, so I, I hope the audio is working. Someone say something. Hello. Oh, it actually works. Nice. I mean, that's a pleasant surprise, isn't it? Here we are. We're back. We're back in business. Tea time has been absent from the internet for a long time. But guess what? Tea time has returned, okay? That's what it took, you know? And in fact, the Guild Wars 3 news, that was actually leaked on purpose because I don't know if you know this actually, but the uh, NC Korean shareholders, they're actually a really big fan of the show and that's why they leaked Guild Wars 3, uh, just to make sure that the show came back so they could have something to watch, something to kind of enjoy, like in between these highly important board meetings. Uh, so we're back. We've got Sneb. We've got Nike. We've got gameplay. And we're going to talk about the news. We've got some interesting stuff going on. Uh, welcome to the show, gamers. I think Nike, were you were about to say something, Nike. I feel like you were eager yeah, to, the, to get uh, in. The, the C, if you really think about it, you're like three degrees of separation away from the CFO or the CEO or whoever that, that suited <laughs> gentleman from South Korea was. Like, you know someone who knows Grouch, who knows mm. the head of NC Southwest, who knows that bespe bespectacled Korean man. <laughs> And so, in theory, like, you could pull uh, strings and we could get him on tea time, I mm. think. Yeah, we could make that happen. It's, uh, that's the next episode, I guess. But uh, anyway, uh, well, I guess I'll give a little bit of a, you know, a summary of what's been going on recently. Yes, it looks like Guild Wars 3 is something that is kind of maybe happening uh, right now. We could be in the midst of it. Uh, well, probably not for a little while. But yeah, there was a shareholder meeting for NC, which is, of course kind of the uh, parent company, if you will, of, uh, of ArenaNet, which of course makes Guild Wars 2, where it was just blurted out that actually Guild Wars 3, it, there's a little bit of ambiguity on it. Like, I think a statement has been made saying that, oh yeah, it's been greenlit for development, or on the other hand, it's already been worked on, right? Like, it's, it's a little bit hard to say, and of course, it was a very off-the-cuff remark, so it's probably something kind of in the middle of all of that. But yeah, Guild Wars 3 is apparently on the table, which is, I think, something that not a lot of people expected. I, I think Guild Wars 3 is one of those things that's a bit, not exactly sure if it makes a lot of sense, uh, to be honest. You know, there's a reason why MMOs don't get sequels. Um, you know, all the big ones, they just kind of keep going forever and ever and ever. Guild Wars 2, of course, being kind of an exception to that. But yeah, that's the news. Guild Wars 3 is happening. It's not an April Fool's joke. I think what's very funny is this will probably be uploaded on April 1st. So that will add some... Uh, that will add some confusion, I think, which which is good. I'm glad to contribute to that. But anyway, what do we think about the situation? Guild Wars 3. Guild Wars 3 is confirmed. Guild Wars 2 is dead. Great. Yeah? It's over. It's over. Uninstall now. There is no point in continuing to play the game. Yeah. Well, if you uninstall now, you won't get your Hall of Monuments 2 done. Ooh, that is true, time. actually. And then you're going to be missing out. You're going to be missing yeah, out. Yeah, you'll big. be missing out on some skins that you'll never use in Guild Wars 3. Mm. It'll feel good. Yeah. Exactly. But, I mean, I want to open up. What do we think about Guild Wars 3? What's, what's the thoughts here? Like, do we have any thoughts? Do we have no thoughts whatsoever? Of course, the information's... We don't really know anything, but... What do we think? Is this, I, is this a I good move? A Wars big move? Or like, what, what's going on? I think it could be a good move if it's Guild Wars 1 with good PvE. Okay. Yeah. I, so I mean, I, I, know, I, I said that to provoke the Guild Wars 1 PvE people mm. because <laughs> they think the game has good PvE and it kind of doesn't. It, it, it's not good. Wow. Objectively not good. That, but that, that's a bit harsh. Just, you know, Guild yeah. Wars 1 catching strays here. We're talking about Guild Wars 3 going back two games. Look, it's if you watch like a Guild Wars 3 speed run, it's it's pretty pretty funny. It's it's weird. It's not it's not fun. It's not fun to look at. It's not wow. good. And the bosses, they have no mechanic. It, it, it's not it's dated game design, that's for sure. Wow. See, so, I mean, would, would that be something that do you have kind of a, a theory on where they might go with the game design? I think that's... We, we can use that as a segue. We can use that oh, as yeah, an for sure. avenue here. Like, what do you think is going to be going on? Like, I know some the, people are like, oh, they're going to go like? full action combat. They're going to go full action combat. But okay. Okay. whatever they do, they got to raise the skill floor. They've got to raise the skill floor so that the... the you know, the, the, the TBI victims in this community can keep up and, and not fall behind in endgame content. Hmm. So you think they'd make, they try and, I, I think, okay, we, here, here's where we can 
turn this into an actual topic of discussion. I, I think that uh, one of the issues that Guild Wars 2 has um, kind of uh, accumulated over the years, and definitely one big benefit of making a Guild Wars 3, making a new game, is very much the idea of kind of trimming away the fat, right? Like, how many versions of everything do we have in Guild Wars 2? You know, we've got, um, you've got, in terms of content, you've got dungeons, you've got fractals, you've got DRMs, You've got all this kind of stuff, right? Like, then you have, um, you know, raids and strike missions, which are kind of the same thing, but kind of not at the same time, right? You have rifts, you have convergences, you have a huge amount of different systems uh, that could be distilled down and streamlined down. You could look at gearing, and then we've got runes and sigils. You use six runes, even though that's kind of obsolete. Um, uh, relics, at this point, were kind of split off from runes. I don't know, like, there's infusions as well. There's a lot of bloat on some of these systems. You have a million different stat types that are just completely worthless and just do nothing. Um, there's a, a whole bunch of pretty much everything in the game that is completely useless and is does nothing except to be a noob track. You've got a billion different currencies, a thousand different reward structures. I could go on. And I think this is something that Sneb was, we, me and Sneb were chatting about this, and I, I think this could be an interesting topic to talk about, is that would Guild Wars 3 try to really distill the game down into a couple of core systems? I'm not saying, you know, make it just like a one-button simulator. I mean, hey, look, you know, what would be the difference, right? People play Guild Wars 2 as a one-button simulator already, right? So that nothing lost there. But uh, I think this could be an opportunity to remove a lot of the feature bloat and system bloat that, to be fair, afflicts, I think, all life service games to an extent. Uh, but certainly Guild Wars 2 is one that has suffered a lot, I think, because of uh, constantly moving from one thing to another, right? Like, you know, changing how PvE is going to go, changing how gearing is going to go, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I, I want to get Sneb in on this. What, what do you think about this? Uh, what, what, what do you think that says about what could happen with Guild Wars 3? Yeah, like we talked about in the Sneb time the other day, I really think that if they do Guild Wars 3, that they have to really pare things back. One of the biggest criticisms that Guild Wars 2 gets is that it tries to do too many things at once. And in doing all of those things, some of it is pretty good, but some of it's pretty bad. And you, you in particular, you suffer from these really long content droughts in specific game modes, or you just have abandoned content in, altogether. Like dragon response missions were created for a few months and then they never went back. Or fractals just doesn't have a fractal for a year or whatever. Mm. Or dungeons just never get looked at again. And so if they were to do a Guild Wars 3, I would expect that they would try to be very intentional about what they want the game to be and what they want to focus on rather than try to do everything all together all at once again. Yeah. And there is another precedent for that, of course. There was an interview with some of the ArenaNet devs on the ManorWorks um, subreddit, in fact, uh, which was, for those who don't know, ManorWorks is a newish game studio that was kind of put together uh, by Mike O'Brien and some other ex-ArenaNet developers after uh, after the happening, right, when and Mike O'Brien was uh, leaving the company. And there was a, an, an AMA there, and there was a question... I. I paraphrase it a little bit you could very easily find this by the way if you wanted to look it up it's on the manor works subreddit uh and it was something like you know what what um you know what did you learn from guild wars 2 development or or like was there anything that you know didn't you you think like wasn't a good idea and the reply i believe it was from isaiah cartwright who's a very well-known guild wars one and two developer actually was something along the lines of uh don't make too many game modes right uh like don't add all these different things because it becomes extremely difficult to maintain and i think we do see that reflected in the development history of guild wars 2 i think the game has really struggled to maintain all of its many game modes at the same time that's for sure because bear in mind you've got open world pve instance pve pvp and world versus world that's a, a lot of different game modes that's that you have to try and make content for and of course develop around in terms of like fixing the systems right and of course looking at rewards all the kind of peripheral stuff as well around that there's a lot going on there so i i, I definitely agree with this i could 100 percent see a guild wars 3 that tries to really focus on a couple of things and do them extremely well um rather than be a generalist 
uh, style of MMO. It is quite interesting, though, because I think the, the other side of this is that I think Guild Wars 2 has kind of benefited from, in, in some sense, of being a generalist, uh, because I think it's kind of got a little bit of something for everyone. And actually, the, the slow content release in Guild Wars 2 is kind of compensated for by the fact that you can just change game mode to kind of rotate around a little bit. But I guess you could also argue that if they focused more, they could make more stuff, so then you wouldn't run out of stuff to do and have to rotate around game modes. I don't know, it's a, it's a difficult evaluation to make, I think. Uh, when it comes to like uh, narrowing down the systems but i could certainly see that happening again uh, because it's a brand new game and that really does give the developers an opportunity to kind of laser focus in on a couple of things that they want to do really well i'd agree, I agree. with that i i feel like guild wars 2 came out right at the end of the era where you could have a do anything do or a do everything mmo and still have it launch like successfully. Mm. I, I feel like people that are trying to do that now are going to end up either in development hell and the game will never come out, or it'll just come out so rushed and incomplete that it just falls on its face. And uh, and and sure, Guild Wars Two didn't come out with like you know fully finished systems, but at least you know PvP exist ranked PvP existed. World of the World existed and, and you know, open world PvE and like even Fractals came out a month after launch. Like that's pretty good. Like now I don't think other games can can do that. So it it's hard to to think of like a Guild Wars three that it like and this is Delta in chat, like he thinks that Guild Wars three is going to be like a relaunch of Guild Wars two, like a two point five. But I Part, part of me agrees with that because it just seems so hard to launch a new AAA MMO that come, that hits launch day, day one, fully featured with every game mode, like robust enough to stand on, to stand up to like the scrutiny of people that have not a lot of time. But on the other hand, the whole point of doing a new game is getting people that don't play your game to play it, you know, to get like that new game hype, to get like the Asmongolds, to get all the, all the streamers to play your game because it's the hot new, it's the new hype MMO. But if, if all they hear is, yeah, it's, it's Guild Wars 2 uh, remastered. Those people are not going to play <laughs> the, those. And, and those people represent mo like other customers who are similar, who, who they might, they, they aren't going to, give a remaster a shot, but they would have played a new game. So I'm kind of divided in, in, in what it could possibly be in, in those regards, because business sense, it doesn't make sense to do a remaster, but also it doesn't seem viable to do a whole new game either. So I, I don't know. Yeah, and we're kind of headbutting the, there's a reason why there isn't a WoW 2. Um, the, the, that's, that's what we're running into here, I think. It's like, if you release a sequel to your game, it's competing with the original game, so you want it to be very, very distinct uh, from that uh, game. But at the same time, it's also really difficult to kind of come up with something new, right? Like, at the end of the day, like, a lot of these MMOs, they have a certain degree of similarity, especially when the game you're trying to have a sequel to is as general and kind of wide in what it does as Guild Wars 2 uh, at the same time. I mean, time, correct me so. if I'm wrong, but, like, in theory... Cataclysm for WoW could have been WoW 2 or like a relaunch. You know what I mean? Like a kind of like yeah. they they could have called it WoW 2. And uh, you know, and 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 it didn't work it... out. That's the thing. It really didn't it, you know, in in some sense it didn't work out. I think the Blizzard devs even said that um doing what they did there because they kind of remastered the entire core game in a way, right? Like all of the original content from Vanilla WoW and up, they kind of remastered it. Um, yeah, they said that wasn't worth it, pretty much. <laughs> it wasn't good. And, you know, in a lot of ways, that's when the, the player base of the game started to decline. And I think you actually can't entirely blame that on Cataclysm. We're going a little bit of a tangent here, I guess. We'll, we'll, we'll re-rail. You can't entirely blame that on Cataclysm because that was kind of when MMO started to stop being the thing right like you know the peak of wow was kind of wrath of the lich king that was that when it was the ultimate omega game with like 13 million subscribers or something like that the game still has seven and a half today by the way which is actually kind of interesting that's uh, a lot more than uh, than i would have even expected actually for a while uh but you know i think cataclysm was 
that game trying to adapt to the changing times, right? Like people were starting to go crazy on MOBAs, right? And all that kind of stuff. So MMOs are a thing of the past. They tried to change it, but I don't know. Zoomers, man. They, they just, you know, they don't want to be killing level seven boar. They want to be uh, in the jungle, you know, ganking people in League of Legends. Good. <laughs> <laughs> the, the one thing that I think is a big mistake for Guild Wars 2 players to say is that they're not going to, uh, you know, kill Guild Wars 2 by launching Guild Wars 3 because they'll lose all their existing customers. I don't think that that logically makes sense because a lot of the people will come to play Guild Wars 3 regardless. Um, and the people that do quit are like, let uh, that I don't want to give numbers, but... The people that do quit are insignificant compared to the new blood that would be entering if they launched a brand new game. Like, you're, like if you look at the sales of Guild Wars 2 that first month, that's what they want. That huge, If you look at like yeah. the month-by-month -month sales, the quarterly sales, that first 2012 quarter when, you know, it, it blew the roof off, that's what they want back. And you think about how many players that is. That was... Yeah hundreds of thousands if not millions of players that's what they want so the thirty thousand people that are hardcore guild wars 2 fans that are like i will never play guild wars 3 it's like you're irrelevant because there's <laughs> going to be a million people there will be a million people playing the game of guild wars 3 on launch mm. so you're the twenty thousand holdouts are totally financially irrelevant unfortunately mm. yeah and I think there, I mean, this is, I think I'm kind of straying into copium territory here or, or kind of like delusion territory. But I think what is actually very interesting is that um, what if the entire reason why the development strategy for Guild Wars 2 has changed to this kind of yearly expansion model that, you know, let's be honest, like it looks like a little bit less content uh, than before, right? Like, you know, the, the Soto has been pretty light on content, I would say, compared to other things. Like, what if that's actually the plan uh, alongside Guild Wars uh, Guild Wars 3, actually. Again, I say this is a little bit copium, but, you know, if you compare this to World of Warcraft, that's kind of what they're doing as well, actually, funnily enough. Like, Blizzard are saying, oh yeah, we're gonna run our old version of our game, and we're even gonna actively develop that game and come up with some stuff like Hardcore, uh, Season of Discovery, Season of Mastery, maybe even Classic Plus at some point. They're also running Cataclysm at the same time, and they're also running Retail at the same time. They're kind of doing it. Like, they're, they're running multiple versions of their game that serves different purposes and different audiences uh, simultaneously. Could be a strategy that ArenaNet could be interested in as well. Because, you know, I feel like they if they are going to make a Guild Wars 3, I feel like they really wouldn't want to kill Guild Wars 2, right? Because Guild Wars 2 is profitable. Like, the numbers look good on the Soto model. I guess we'll have to see how it turns out with the next expansion. But Soto did well. Um, the game is doing well right now. It's it's active. The only game mode that nobody plays is PvP. <laughs> um, but it looks pretty good. Um, so I would imagine that that's going to be part of the strategy that, um, Arena don't just want to, like, drop Guild Wars 2 and just leave it to rot, um, you know, uh, because you could argue they kind of did this with, with Guild Wars 1, right? Like, Guild Wars 1 is essentially a dead game. People still play it and they kept the servers running, but it's not, um, it's not active, right? Like, I, uh, and uh, Nike, oh. you'll be able to comment on this more, <laughs> I would say. Um, but I feel like the game would be way less playable if you couldn't play with heroes, right? And mercenaries. If you couldn't play with um, heroes, the game would be 100% completely dead, except yeah. for the two guilds of speedrunners that would do content together. Yeah, exactly, right? So I, I think we could maybe see them try to maintain Guild Wars 2 in a similar way. I, want, I think Sneb wants to get, I want to unleash, I want to unchain Sneb real quick. Uh, um, well, get him in. I, I'm going to go back to something that was said earlier. Okay, let's um, go. Let's do it. So Asmongold was mentioned. I think that uh, I think like two weeks ago or something, Asmongold said Guild Wars Two is a dead game, <laughs> and that's why he's not interested in ever trying it. And it's funny because I mean, he's when just we're doing talking that about, to get a rise I mean, he's fucking trolling a little yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I just don't think that Guild Wars 2 is a game that Asmongold would like, even. And so, would Guild Wars 3 be a game that Asmongold would like? Is that even who they would want? He would try it. Target? You know, everyone everyone, you will try try, everyone tries the new MMO. The new yeah, AAA oh no. MMO, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they will all try it. it. They do. They, dude, look, Sneb, people tried Bless Online, bro. 
Oh like, boy. Like everyone's like, oh yeah, Bless Online's gonna be so good. Do you not remember all the streamers who are saying, oh yeah, my god, rocker. this is gonna be it, man. Bless. This is this is finally it, man. You know, WoW is dead, Guild Wars dead, BDO dead. Yo, new launch of Bless uh, here in the West, guys. This is gonna be the new fire. It was dog shit, right? It was like complete garbage, uh, and people quit within within like hours. But um, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, I I, yeah. Do, I do not believe that uh, people are hype beasts. They they just go to like, a new AAA MMO is going to have like everybody playing it. Mm. And I I think to kind of echo this, I believe this was um uh, Chris Wilson from uh, Poe actually uh, gave a I think I, I think this was from a talk. This is something that really stuck out to me. Like he was remarking about how he would talk to players who quit the game. Uh, years ago, right? And they would say, oh yeah, I quit the game because of this problem. I, I didn't like this thing about the game. And then he'll go, well, yeah, this is actually one of the really difficult things about game dev because that issue was fixed ages ago, but those players don't know about it, right? Because they've already quit the game. They don't interact with the game anymore, right? And they're like, oh yeah, that game, it's got that problem. I don't like it. And that's the big advantage of a relaunch. And I think that was part of the motivation of doing kind of a, a relaunch with, with Path of Exile. It did end up getting changed, right? I think it, it was supposed to be a lot more conjoined, but they split it because, yeah, then you end up mo modifying get both games and everyone's upset. But that was a really interesting perspective, I think, that I think, I think definitely holds true. Like, um, and kind of what Sneb was there with people saying that Guild Wars 2 is a dead game. I think that a lot of um, players who who talk about Guild Wars 2 outside of the Guild Wars 2 community. And this is probably true of every MMO, of course, as well, right? To an extent. Um, but uh, people quit the game and that, there's a lot of misinformation, you know, misconceptions about the game, right? So like a relaunch is very good for kind of addressing that to an extent. Yeah, you can always tell when people quit the game based on what their complaints are about the game on, you know, internet places. Yeah. Like the people who quit the game in 2012 are like, there's there's no PVE content at Endgame. Yeah, and it's like, oh, I know exactly when you quit the game. Cool. Yeah, but it's not really the case anymore so much. So there is that. Yeah, but they don't care because and it doesn't matter. They they yeah. shouldn't care. Exactly because they've already. They've already you, quit. you go to a restaurant. Maybe you don't. Maybe it's not even bad. You just you know you know it just doesn't like delight you. It doesn't like become one of your staple places to go. You know, you find out they have a new manager. It's like, ah, eh, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't need to go back even with the new manager. Mm. But if they burn the place to the ground and rebuild a new place where that was, maybe you're willing to go, give it, a, give it a shot. Yeah. Um. You know, there's one perspective. This is a slight derail here, but to be honest, I'm trying to, we're trying to find some rails to go on here. It's always a little bit difficult to talk about this because, of course, we, we know nothing. It's pure speculation, pure unbounded speculation at this point. But, man, I almost wish DeRoya was here. Maybe I'll just call him randomly, actually, because one of the things that um, he said a very What if you called him was, and he was dressed up as DeRoya? Just, oh, I mean, like completely. I mean, just, we're getting some. Uh, you're like, why are you dressed up in that? Did you know we were going to call? And he'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah I knew you were going to call. That's why. We're like, oh, got it. Uh, well, I mean, that would be a boost to our viewer numbers, I'm sure, actually, significantly. But um, like, uh, I think one of the things that he said a very long time ago is that one of the only things that would make him not interested in playing Guild Wars 2 uh, would be Guild Wars 3, the announcement of Guild Wars 3. Uh, and I think that's actually a fairly common sentiment um, in the playbook. Not, not everyone. Uh, and I think, you know, that I think people argue back and forth on this a lot. I think it's, uh, you know, a, a contentious issue for sure. Um, but I think there is this idea that, uh, you know, I only want to play the, you know, the, the relevant version of the game or, or the game where, you know, that's going to continue onwards or that's going to be like the, the new version of the game. And that's a fairly common sentiment that's going around right now. Uh, and this is this is definitely a big inconvenience for um for Arena, I guess. It hasn't actually been a huge story in the media uh, that much, I guess, because it hasn't really been nailed down that much, uh, and there hasn't been like anything super official regarding this just yet. But I I'm curious what you gamers think about the fact that um this you know the the news of the Guild Wars three development cycle or whatever is going on uh, could potentially actually impact. Uh, how players interact with Guild Wars Two right now? Like, what do we what do we think is going to happen with that? I I think it's like a catastrophe from mm. 
a PR perspective because you've had one thing said, which was, hey, like we are really, I swear that this is like almost verbatim. We are committed to Guild Wars 2 and its future. We for are working years. on yeah. they, they, for years. They we are working multiple on multiple years. expansions. And so everyone's like, hell yeah, brother. Like we're going to get like a million expansions, Guild Wars 2 for life. And then suddenly NCSoft is just like casually drops that Guild Wars 3 is something that will be worked on or something. And everyone now questions the former. They're like, okay, well, are you committed to Guild Wars 2? Like, are you only going to do two more expansions, one more expansion? Like, when is Guild Wars 3 happening? And so what that does for people now is it makes them question how emotionally invested they should be in their video game. Mm, because yeah. turns out people dump a lot of themselves in these games. Like, when they like to make the character look a certain way and buy certain things. And you might, uh, e even though it might not seem totally rational because the thing might be coming out in five years, there's a still a level of impermanence that people will feel. And so they'll go, well, you know, what's the point of buying this if I'm just going to... Yeah, it's, if it's, it, if it's the just going to be There's a lot of people who are only still playing because of sunk cost. And when they hear that there's an end date, or, or like there's a finish line coming mm. or, or whatever, it, that is the thing that makes them reevaluate their sunk cost. Like it, if, if Guild Wars 2 was just gonna have infinite expansions to the horizon, then they would just keep trucking along sunk cost, you know? Yep, I'm in, I'm, I'm this deep, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> but when you're like, when you're like, yes, the game is definitely going to be deprecated in three years and there's going to be a new game, then they go, hmm, maybe I shouldn't sink any more into this, you know, like, so yeah, mm. I think that the, the sunk yeah. cost people are the ones who are the most upset. Yep. Yeah, and so w will it actually even move the needle at all when it comes to people who play actively or spend money or whatever? I don't know. It's pretty hard to tell. Spending money is the thing that would, would freak me out. Like if, I, like, if I was a relatively new player who wasn't, like, 100% up on the news of the game and, like, you know, you just hear whisper, you know, you, you know you're you not on the Reddit, you don't go to the forums, but you hear people, like, chattering about Guild Wars 3, you're like, well, should I buy this copper-fed salvage matic <laughs> and get out my credit card because this this True. game's going away soon. There's going to be a new one. Uh, why I'm not buying this, you know? Like it, it kind of you understand. Like it would make those sort of players like trepidatious about spending money on the cash shop. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. guess I, I guess. But I they could that. always. They could always. It might not be like a game. It might not be Guild Wars Two. Like. The re like a pure relaunch, but it could very well be that they share a cash shop, and the purchases you made in the cash shop uh, carry over to the new game. Would they do that though? I find that would be so weird. They, they have to. No, no, oh, no, I hope they don't have the same business model. No, no, no. They, they I hope they have a different business will do model. Something like that. Though. Wait, will they, they? They absolutely will. No, no, no. They will absolutely do something similar to Hall of Monuments. They have to because because of exactly a Hall of what Monuments, but it's done. based on your cash shop purchases. <laughs> Well, no. <laughs> 50 maybe. out of 50. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Hall um, of Whales. <laughs> <laughs> I got the whale monument. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. But the, the, big, the big thing here is <laughs> the whale statue in the game. <laughs> anyway. I have been summoned. Oh, ah, Daroya has Someone arrived. said my name and I just appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. I Log in. Welcome. He's here, yeah. I summoned DeRoy, guys. DeRoy is going to set us straight on why he now is going to fully quit Guild Wars 2. For it's actually kind of funny because, like, yeah, I mean... Was... Sorry, Snap. Go ahead. There were Wait, problems. what did you say? Oh, <laughs> well, it, it's actually kind of funny because, like, um, I mean, t -Bot, you kind of said already what I've said, uh, what I was thinking. Um... But like, okay, so I guess uh, story time, because funnily enough, like way back when, this is like, I want to say like five years ago, this was kind of like the catalyst to me kind of withdrawing from the game. It was the first time that we kind of found out that ArenaNet had been working on something else in the background, and that 
may or may not have been Guild Wars 3. You never know what it was actually that they were working on. Um, but they, they were working on something very big. Some, pe- some people know more than others, but hey, whatever. Um, just that, sh- that realization way back when was the thing that made me go, huh, maybe, I, <clears throat> maybe I'm not going to sink so much more time into this. Because if it dies, will this all have been kind of, not in vain, because I obviously, I, and I think a lot of uh, us can kind of uh, echo this feeling, it's not that it feels like it's been wasted time. Like we've enjoyed our time in the game in many different ways, doing many different things and accomplishments. But was I going to put more effort in? I didn't have that answer, and I I struggled with that for for a while, and then I slowly just kind of withdrew. And so when this news came out that like just now that Guild Wars Three may be back on the table, um, it it didn't really. Obviously, it didn't hit us hard, but it was like, sure. I mean, let's try. <laughs> let's try. Let's try to. Let's try to redo that um, success. Uh, it was great when Guild Wars Two came out, um, but I, I guess I guess it, it kind of evoked that same feeling again of like, hmm, maybe, maybe I don't need that purple title. Like, maybe I'm just gonna lean back for a little bit and see what comes. Hmm. I doubt that that's actually going to, what's going to happen, though, because I, I, I feel like uh, I found a pretty steady, I don't know, time flow. I don't know, I don't know what to call it um, for me playing the game. Um, I feel it's very, very moderate nowadays, and I, I enjoy it for what it is. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not in that same mindset as I was those five years ago when everything was kind of crumbling and I felt like, oh, no. Oh no, is my whole reality going to shift now? And that's why they have to relaunch a new game yeah. because the the people like DeRoyer are tapped out. We need people that we need the next generation of grinders yes. to come in and and fill their holes with purple gear. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> purple in every hole. Exactly. Yeah. I am not I'm not. Oh, it hurts. Yeah. I, I <laughs> it, it, it I, hurts. I, yeah. That, I I do I I do find this I, I want to poke you about this, to be honest, because I, I, I it's, it's unusual to me, because um, I feel like every game, well, you, this is the sad thing, right? Eventually, guys, we all log out of our favorite video game, and we never log back in, right? Like that, that is a, a harsh reality about games. everything is ephemeral yeah it is it's all Time ephemeral. Moves. and yeah. it's it's like yeah i mean I, I i think i i understand or at least i i cognitively understand what you're saying uh, and i think it might just be approaching video games in a different way hey you know that's how it is you know it would be, it would be boring if everyone was the same but yeah i, I can't quite uh, i can't quite understand um or or relate to going like oh well you know there's a new game coming out so i'm just gonna stop playing this one or kind of like be less invested or inclined to grind um this one i think i I, I mean on 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 reflection for myself i guess it was it was solely due to the fact that i was putting too much of myself into a video game um than what i felt i was getting in Mm. return and obviously that's a that's a false logic like i shouldn't be thinking about it like that but i was back in the day um and I was take, I was genuinely just taking the the video game too seriously. Um, yeah, fair. And and I, it was kind of a wake up call in some in some ways for me. At least I I view that part of my life as being a little bit of a, a wake up call and mm. did a lot of changes for the better. And I mean, honestly, I now I now I love the game for what it is. Back in the day, I had all these expectations and hopes and and dreams almost like for for this game to become uh more than more than i don't know what i could dream up um yeah and yeah it just it just wasn't meeting those expectations and then realizing that the devs were working on something else i mean that kind of just yeah, it crushed me or it crushed those dreams, not me. Yeah, it crushed those dreams, and it just made it very real to me that maybe I just prioritize differently. 
Yeah. I mean, I, I to be yeah. honest, that's very much... I think that part of that story is... I think that will resonate with a lot of people. It definitely resonates with me. That yeah, a huge part of the fact that... Uh, a reason of why I'm... I've completely reevaluated how I engage with Guild Wars 2 is entirely because I go, oh yeah, this this is it, right? Like, you know, I I in a certain sense, you know, the, the copium was completely ripped off, right? Like, this is yeah. as far <laughs> as it goes. This is going to be the game. If that's not good enough for you, then you should leave. And so, you know, I, I play WoW. Um you know essentially right like that that definitely does happen so i i understand that part of like the the idea of of kind of wanting guild wars 2 to you know r ascend to its final form right but then you realize that yeah this actually is its final form like this is it um and that can be very demoralizing i think especially if you're very invested in the game and you know, you, you want the game to do as well as possible but you know from my perspective that's why i think about guild wars 2 and i go yo this is big because that means there's a new game right that isn't going to be settled in its final form until the rest of time right it, it's it has the opportunity to be something new and be something different that might be exciting like the copium there is of course that's assuming that they're going to target me as a player which i'm not gonna lie is astronomically unlikely uh but hey you Guild never know right simulator you never know you know it could happen uh <laughs> maybe it'd be like I mean, Star I'd... stardew yeah. valley Guild wars 3 <laughs> i mean by that time uh Every, I mean, all of our lives will probably change in five years. I don't know, for in some way, shape, or form. And hopefully, uh, the meteor know. hits Earth before then, so that we don't oh, have to deal well, with the unpleasant reality of what's going to happen. Maybe if it if the game is bad, then uh, the meteor can hit just after, so we don't have to live with it at least. Yeah, it's yeah, a rough um, launch. Yeah, I I do yeah. want to bring Sneb back in because right as Deroya. Uh, derailed our stream and, and ruined the show. Uh, Sneb was oh, actually, sorry. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Sneb was talking about how he thinks that they're gonna have to do some kind of carryover with the microtransactions between Guild Wars Two and Guild Wars Three, and that, that's interesting. I, I, I want to hear more about that. I want to hear what what you think's going on there. Uh, and and I don't think it has yeah. to be microtransaction specific, but I think that they have to do some kind of carryover like Guild Wars One because mm. of precisely what we were talking about a bit ago, which is when people don't feel like there's, they might not feel like it's worth investing in. The reason they did that in Guild Wars 1 is because it was brilliant. People didn't take a break from Guild Wars 1 to wait for Guild Wars 2. They played it even harder, <laughs> right? Because they had to. They were like, oh my gosh, like there's all these rewards you can get. If you play Guild Wars 1, it'll transfer over all of these skins and stuff. Like we have to play even harder. People played that game so freaking hard. Um, after Guild Wars 2 was announced. Uh, I think it's... Because yeah, I, it... I was on the exact opposite uh, end of that spectrum there. The moment that I saw Guild Wars 2 announced was the moment, the same day that I dropped Guild Wars 1. Hmm. I was like, all right, I'll be back. That... <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and you so know what? I, I think like that's fair, it, but... but I think that a lot of people... Um, would have done that same thing, but didn't because they wanted to complete the Hall of Monuments. Yeah, I think Stan's I think right. you're there still were, the, gonna the, lose the, people, but this helps. I think there was definitely people who were like, "Oh, I got, I have to get 50 out of yeah, 50 yeah, yeah, before yeah, yeah. Guild Wars 2 launches." And maybe once they got 50 out of 50, they you know took a break from Guild Wars One, but but it just kept people engaged. Not all people, um, but it it certainly helped with engagement. Because imagine if they didn't do that. I think a lot of people would have been like, well, nothing's coming. There aren't going to be any updates for a while. I'm out. I'm going to go play something else. And uh, that would have had ramifications for Guild Wars 2 even. Because some people might have been like, well, I don't even know if I should buy Guild Wars 2 anymore because I am really into WoW or whatever other game. So okay. I think you have to create something that incentivizes continual play while you're developing the other game, um, such that there's some kind of carryover. I think a big difference is Guild Wars 1 was vir a virtually dead game Yeah. when Guild Wars 2 was announced. That's not the case here. Yeah, and that's not the case here. And I know people do not want to, uh, <laughs> to hear, hear that Guild Wars 1 was a dead game, but... But believe me, PvP was already, like, sunset. Like, the era of competitive PvP was over. 
and you know and no new pve content was coming or would ever come to the game when guild wars 2 was announced so the and the community was probably very few players like were logging in on a daily basis like probably five digit like low five digits on mm. a daily basis i think that is definitely not the case uh here yeah i, th- I mean th- i think there were wait hang on when did the um guild wars beyond stuff happen was that after guild wars 2 was announced or before i actually can't remember um I feel like it was after because I never tried it. Yeah, I I feel like it was after as well because they were it, that that content was really interesting too actually because they were kind of testing out a couple of ideas um, on and and that you could kind of see in Guild Wars too actually right like the the way that the Mesmer boss was for example actually funny enough like right at the end of um, Winds of Change was kind of similar to how Guild Wars two Mesmer actually played out uh, and like the whole idea of like maps changing was very living world actually so there, there was still a couple of updates for guild wars one after but yeah it, it definitely is this very different scenario with guild wars 2 because we already know that there's another two expansions at least in the works uh for guild wars 2 and I, I certainly wouldn't expect to see guild wars 3 anytime soon it's very difficult to make a prediction on this obviously because we actually don't know the state of development because it was obviously not supposed to be public at this point that anything was going on in that regard uh but realistically if i had to guess i'd say guild wars 3 is at least five years away like at least um in terms of like how long it's going to take to see some kind of product and we won't hear anything about it for that, a long time yeah um that's a very positive outlook yeah wait you think that's positive wait what, what do you think yeah you think, you think it's longer than well, that longer it, than it five depends, years it depends on the scope of it really i mean yeah. it, it's I mean, all all signs point to Unreal Engine. Uh, obviously, they can make things go a little bit faster and smoother with a with an engine that <clears throat> they don't have to natively develop and, and fix uh, as they're building the game. That might speed things up, but five years is for a completely new MMO, as I guess we're all assuming, or at least I am. Um, I mean, it's not going to be Hearthstone, uh, Guild Wars. Version. Are you sure, though? YouTube well, that, no, that, like that's work. the thing. We're, none of us are really sure about it. I guess it, it depends YouTube's on how much work they already have done. will be a farm simulator. How much work did they already have done on Guild Wars 3 before 2019? Mm. Is, Good point. Is yeah, how many how many assets can they dig up? Um, <laughs> and what, what was the state of whatever engine they might have been building if they were building an engine? And that was probably like themselves. four four Guild Wars 3 was probably like four game directors ago. By <laughs> like whoever was running that project is no longer with the company, it's probably safe. Yeah. In 2018, it's probably safe to say. So the vision for what Guild Wars 3 is might not be the same as mm. what it was before the layoffs. It probably was Bird yeah. Simulator. Bird Sim yeah, the, Bird Simulator the MMO. That that's what the yeah. uh, the game was gonna be. <laughs> yeah. Bird oh, Simulator MMO. Be... <laughs> wait is that a thing are you googling that well no i mean you, you've have you seen the bird simulator footage you don't know about birds you don't know about birds wait simulator? hold the phone no what man oh. works bird simulator yeah you, you know like man oh, oh the, uh, okay Google i that. didn't know the meat man works yeah yeah, yeah, okay, yeah yeah i've seen that yeah they're literally making bird simulator that's what yeah. that's what guild wars 2 would have become under that looks Michael cute Brody. though yeah, I mean, not yeah, for cute, me, but cute it looks is cute. what most gamers are looking for in their MMO. I mean, I'm I am sure there's a market for this. Actually, there isn't. <laughs> Turns out they couldn't get a publisher, so there is no market for it. Rip. Okay, is that real? Actually, yeah, they can. Yeah. They well, I mean, Bird Simulator is very real. It's very real. Uh, yeah. Yikes! They shopped it around, and no one bit. Damn. Okay, all new to me. Damn. Unlucky. That sucks for them. You want to see, hate to see it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I I, th- I think, you know, to, to go back to the original uh, branch, the strand of this conversation, I, I do think Sneb is right. I think ArenaNet will try to tie the games together. I think it's not going to be nearly as much as some people are coping. Like that, like I've seen some actually unhinged takes about this. And honestly, I love that. You know, that's what I love to see, right? People are saying I haven't that, seen it. Can you give me a Oh, bit, yeah. yeah. People have been saying stuff like, Anet need to make sure that our entire legendary armory carries over into Guild Wars 3, or yeah, I am sure. done. Or I am done with this company. Even I think that's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. That is copium. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, it, it, if it's they just do a right. if they do a Guild Wars 2 relaunch, then yes, that that is real. If it's a completely new game, there ain't no way they're gonna let like half the player base start 
<laughs> with at third base. Bed. Yeah, exactly. No. Yeah, yeah, that makes yeah, no it's sense. not happening. You can't do that. It makes no sense. Like, I that think they could, sense. like Hall of Monuments, they could make some of the skins kind of carry over. But you know what? I actually think even that is actually really weird. Like if, um, I'm just kind of, I'm imagining that I'm a new player, right? And I go, and I look at this new game, and I go, and I, I see a system that says, oh yeah, like a bunch of your progress gets carried over into the new game. I would go, bro, what is this? I don't want to, what are we What are we doing here? Like, is this game fresh or not, right? Like, I think that would actually potentially be really off-putting. You've got to be a little bit careful with it, I think. There's a reason why Hall mm. of Monuments was, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty superficial. It was kind of like a, a, a nice thing for veteran players of Guild Wars 1 to have, but... It was pretty meaningless, right? At the end of the day, um, you know, like I, I know that you could, you could even it get didn't like, give you full, you. Like, it didn't give you it, a full it exotic set at launch. Yeah, like it, it wasn't meaningless though. Like it's meaningless to you because of the way that you play MMOs, but it was meaningful to people um, because essentially it's just it's a way to to show off their memory, right? say hey i was a part of like the og players of guild wars one and you know it it so it is actually quite meaningful to players i've had players ask me oh where did you get that glove skin before and you have this moment where you're like oh yeah i get to tell them that i <laughs> you know play guild wars one and i love guild wars one it's a it's a reminder or like a token of um of playing a game that you loved intrinsic value yeah, it has yeah. purely intrinsic value. Fair enough. Makes sense to yeah, me. That's meaningful. I mean, it's a good carrot for a lot of players. I mean, we go see back that and play titles. the game. We see that with achievements. We see that with anything. Yeah, it's... Mm. a lot of people do go back and play Guild Wars One purely to get the Hall of Monument stuff. Yeah, a non-zero amount. I think this does come up in Guild Wars Two a little bit because the thing about Guild Wars Two is that. Um, the the finish line never moves this is a really interesting thing about guild wars 2 i think that um like even though the game it most people are never going to get to the finish line i think what people like about guild wars 2 is that the finish line never moves or well, that's like a part of it like a new game is basically doing that like the finish line is getting further away because you have to you know progress the game over and over again like whereas in guild wars 2 like even if you earn one gold an hour you're moving very very slowly towards a final destination um, essentially, which I, I think that is something that rustles people a little bit about the new game, and I think there will be some animosity about this uh, that kind of pops up. It's really interesting, actually, because, you know, like, I, I feel exactly the opposite. One of the things that I don't like about Guild Wars 2 is that, yeah, I finished the game. I, I beat the entire game, right? I don't, I don't want a game that finishes. I want an infinite game. Uh, I don't want a finite game, but that's, you know, that's immaterial in this conversation, obviously, uh, of course, but yeah, that's... Uh, that's the situation. It's I'm not I'm not surprised to see people respond in this way and say like, listen, you better carry over my legendaries, or you know I'm well, gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be mad. I go back to what I say earlier. Those people don't matter because it's it's <laughs> it's ten, it's ten thousand of them who are mad versus the million new players who are going to be coming in and don't give a shit. And the million new players have millions of more dollars that they're willing to spend. Yeah. So later old people that don't want to jump on the bandwagon see ya take it easy yeah yeah pretty much that's uh yeah, that is the situation yeah. yeah you are not wrong I and mean, it is definitely a big new player thing right like that's what relaunching a new game always is but i think that is um one of the things that can be a little bit scary for the you know for the existing player base is that again yeah like that statement is very true it is all about new players uh, pretty much for new MMOs, which means that, you know, like the game could be radically different and maybe not exactly what uh, the current players are exactly looking for um, in, in terms yeah. of like, what they want out of a game, which is a little bit interesting. But I don't think I don't think it will change that much. I feel like there are some things that there's no way they would move away from in Guild Wars 3. Like, you know, I, for, like the most obvious one is they're not just going to add a sub fee. That would be extremely funny. I would be amused by that. But there's absolutely no shot. Like, they definitely won't do vertical progression either because these are kind of like things that are very iconic to the kind of Guild Wars brand, I would say. So it's not going to be that but also, different. But yeah, I don't know. Also, just on the sub fee thing, that, that that's never going to happen. Any new MMOs that's launched, that's launched with a sub fee has died almost instantaneously. It yeah. doesn't really fly. Like the the battle pass, that's, that's oh, yeah, optional oh, optional sub fee. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. that's the future right there. 
Yeah. Or at least the current state of things. I mean, there's definitely things that I would imagine that it will be a fully open world game with no like portal zone transitions. That would make sense from a technical standpoint to do. That would be pretty cool. Um, Hopefully it's not set 300 years in the future and it's like a sci-fi game. That would be not uh, what I'm looking for in my Guild Wars, that's for sure. Yeah, that would be a bit weird. Yeah. If it's like chars with laser guns, like we're already, we're getting very too close for that already with like, you know, Asura technology where it's like, okay, everyone's got laser guns now. This is, this is getting weird. I want my, my high fantasy, please. But... (laughs) You know what's funny? This clip of Daroya. I think Daroya was. Yeah, I was just watching it. Yeah, I think isn't this the clip where you basically say the game is like maintenance mode or some shit? Like this actually got posted to the subreddit, by the way. Someone tried to start up. There's almost twenty three thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, like this is a a very popular clip, and this clip in particular. um, Someone started posted it to the subreddit to basically stir up drama again. Recently, it was very fucking funny, actually. Um, But uh, yeah. Daroy was I'm right, so guys. Tan in that fucking video. Yeah. What up? <laughs> and there's MMO inks in that video as well. That really is. A yeah. In the past, you know, that's uh. It's, How that's old, old is school it? Stuff. Four years. Four years okay. ago. It's an old clip. It really is an old clip. Damn. Uh, yeah, it absolutely is. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. That the, for- the thing is, I, I, to kind of talk about, some people are asking about sub fee. The problem with a sub fee, guys, is that if you went, the moment you do a sub fee, you put yourself in competition with World of Warcraft, and that's not good. You don't want to do that. Um, because they release a lot of content and your MMO, especially a new one, probably doesn't. Uh, and it, it's, you, you die pretty much. Uh, I, I am inclined to agree that if you, if you make a sub fee MMO, like, holy shit, you better be damn sure of yourself. Uh, because you know, you might just get crushed immediately. Uh, if you, uh, do that. Yeah. The only MMOs that can really pull off is it's 14 and, and wow right now. Um, It'll never happen because they never, no company has ever done this. But the perfect way to do it is to launch your game with six months of future content already done and banked. Yeah. So that like over the first six months after launch, you can like after launch, like you can go, here's our roadmap for the next six months. And it's like riddled with content releases. And people are like, holy shit, they're actually developing this game. You know, you give yourself like that six month buffer of content that you already know is done and polished and just needs to be like launched. But Every game launches, like with like you know, paint on the runway. Yeah, it's it's every game launches paint on the runway, like features incomplete because there's no way that they're gonna get six months of banked content. But that's the way to do it. So maybe A Net would. I mean, think about that it. would that would be an absolutely amazing scenario to witness. I I don't ever see that happen simply because of the I mean investors. They're going to want the game out as fast as possible. And good luck convincing anyone to put in six months extra worth of content. Like the work of that into a, a non-proven product. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that that's is... like the, the non-proven part is the issue. Like, Because I feel like, well, they, didn't that kind of happen with Path of Fire? Like with Path of Fire, they dropped Path of Fire. Then like two months later, season four happened. So there, there is, <laughs> a, it, was less, it was less than two months even actually. It was like immediate. Uh, and yeah, I, I realize there is a certain irony in referencing that era of the game, seeing as that was basically when they were completely winding it down and preparing to actually unironically kill it. Uh, but you know, it's it's not impossible. Uh, it's not impossible to do that. I, I feel like it's not necessarily like you have to like shut down Guild Wars Two, but there is like a sort of like you know Pizarro landing in the New World and burning his boats because there's no going back, like. If they do Guild Wars 3 and it's a fully fledged new AAA MMO and it flops, the company, like, Anet is done. Like, <laughs> oh, they boy. can't survive that. You, yeah. you can't, they can't survive spending probably 10 to $20 million on a game that doesn't make money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So if, if Guild Wars 3 comes out and it fails, Guild Wars 2 is dead too because it's, it's, it's not like they're going to go, oh, well, Guild Wars 3 failed. We're going to go back mm. to Guild Wars 2. No, it's it, NCSoft goes, oh, yeah. you, you have failed us. We're selling the building. <laughs> like, see ya. <laughs> Get your stuff out. Yeah. I, th- this is why I have been on record saying, when people talk about these products, it is not Guild Wars 3. It will not be Guild Wars 3. Because to me, 
the idea of it is just so insanely risky. It's a um, gamble. It's, it's a humongous a gamble. gamble. And it goes contrary to everything that Arena is doing. Everything Arena is doing right now is safe, 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 safe. And you know what, by the way? I'm not, that's not a roast. That's a compliment. I think Arena have been clowning around with the goddamn dev budget over the last, like, five years or so. Yeah. And there's a reason why they got laid off. I hate to say it, guys. I'm going to be a little bit callous and heartless, but yeah, they, they kind of burned like millions and millions and did fuck all, right? Like <laughs> that's basically what happened, right? Yeah, they played super, super risky and they got punished and like three, uh, you know, studio directors later, here we are and we're playing it a lot safer. Um, which to me is like, yeah, that makes sense to me. Like, that's why I did not see Guild Wars 3 coming whatsoever. And I was like, nope, they're not doing that. It's because they're playing it very, very safe with their, their new business model which is something that I've praised a lot because I think it makes a lot of sense. It's a good business strategy. Uh, and Guild Wars 3 is giga risky. It is like, yeah, if this fails, this is bad. This is like re really, really bad. And, you know, obviously this is, I'm going to put the pure speculation label on this next statement because I want to be really clear about this. This is why I think that, man, I'm not sure if this is something that came from Anet. Like, it really makes me think, is this NC doing the thing where they're like, oh, look, Lineage 2 worked out really well. We should do Guild Wars 3. <laughs> let's go like, that's kind of like the, the read that i would have on it um you know immediately um, dude that cfo I, I guy was yeah, getting yeah. freaking grilled by that reporter yeah the journalist they're hard that questions. journalist was brutal, asking yeah. was not tossing yeah, yeah, yeah. softballs the journalist is like uh you've been in the job eight years and lost money every year why are you still here and the guy was like having to justify his existence and so he's like uh uh Guild Wars 3 like that was like what he had to do to like keep it was his under fucking pressure. job was, yeah he was sweating bullets what? he like, threw the grenade yeah it, it was like the the title was really accurate of the article it was it was like hostile shareholder meeting right like, it was hostile on Guild Wars 3 <laughs> because it absolutely was <laughs> Yeah, that guy was like, a, that guy was like for him, a drowning right? person reaching for anything, <laughs> yeah. and he grabbed onto Guild Wars 3 and pulled yeah, yeah. himself back up. <laughs> it's it breaking case really of well, emergency. Though. I mean, well, I, I guess so, yeah. Honestly, like, it could have been it could have been exactly that. Just like trying to get out of a sticky situation yeah. with no real hold in the oh, yeah? in what you're saying. Yeah, what what I mean, if that what if that was the inception of Guild Wars 3? You know, Grouch wakes up. That would be up, fucking insane. Grouch oh wakes up and he hears things wait, we're, do <laughs> we're doing what? We're working on what? <laughs> well, well <laughs> I, what's going on here? I don't know what, what this is. <laughs> like, <laughs> be pretty funny. We'll, we'll never know, guys. You know, we're uh, no. we're never going to know. Now we know what we'll Colin behind does all the day. scenes. Yeah. It's good content. Yeah. It is good content. But yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know where we're really going with this. Like, where are we? Uh, where are we I, uh, Snab, say something. Bring us content, Snab. You know, oh, I can do that. Do yeah. it. Guild Wars Three. Yeah. <laughs> we know nothing about it, and all the people that are complaining. I I hate to tell you, but you need to go outside. Oh, gotta hit the gym. Ooh. Go outside. Go to the grocery store. Take a deep breath. We don't know anything about Guild Wars 3, so there's really no reason to be upset. Well, know is the game has not been... Yeah, it hasn't been announced. It's just been uh, mentioned. Mm. Yeah. Take a yeah. chill pill. Guild Wars I wish that guy had said Guild Wars Mobile instead. I Ooh. wish he had said <laughs> Guild Wars Mobile. <laughs> that, what, would that have made a bigger outcry from the community or a smaller outcry from the community if he had said I Guild mean, Wars last, Mobile? Worse. Last, last, time way we worse. Thought, last time we thought that there was going to be a Guild Wars Mobile. Do you remember that time? Yeah, I yeah. mean, everything, everything was burning. Yeah. yeah say it will fool us now. That would have been some big content, actually. You know, like, I mean, uh, yeah. if NCSoft knows how to do anything, it's make a mobile game. So oh, maybe yeah. they could actually get That's that. That's where all that money is. I, you know, maybe like, slightly differently, though, of course, like, there's, I think with Unreal, there's a very distinct possibility of console, and that the game might be designed with console in mind, uh, to an extent. I mean, it's easy money. If, if you can yeah. port it cheaply, it's easy money. Well, that makes me angry because the thing is, you know how it always goes? It's always the other way around. You design it with the console in mind, then you make the shitty PC port. Uh, I think they, that probably wouldn't do that for an MMO, to be honest. I think that's mostly like a, I guess, kind of like an RPG thing that happens a lot, unfortunately. But yeah, if I have to see one more in-game menu that's very clearly designed with console in mind, it, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, well, I'm going to be, I'm going to be Just mildly segre upset. Segregate, okay? that's what segregate the console gamers from the humans, yeah. because yeah. <laughs> I don't want them in my group. I don't, they can't be there. 
It's not good. Wow. Wow. It's a bit Very harsh. Close yeah. I mean, six. Has I mean, any what, console what do you, player what do you in feel any game like... ever had good DPS? Yeah. No, it's not happened. Do so, you do you want yeah. that with a uh, action cam, like a new different server for action cam players? Just yeah, true. Yeah, a quarantine zone. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I mean that's that's quite the statement. You know, I've got I've I've actually got an interesting story about that. I okay, do it, do it. Let's so go. you know the conversation we always have with Action Cam, which is that hey, you know if it's an accessibility thing, probably a, a good thing. You know if you're just trying to chill and whatever, and you like the way it plays, more power mm -hmm. to you. But if you're focused purely on your own improvement, and you have a choice, mm. it's probably not the best option. Well, I, I've said that a few times and people have been really upset. Like they start arguing with me and arguing and I'm just like, hey, I mean, take it or leave it. I've had a few people come back later, like a year later or mm. two years later. They go, hey, remember that thing that you said? And I was really upset and I like stormed out, out of the, the chat kind of thing. You were right. You were definitely right, but I did not want to be wrong. So sorry about that. It's, it's come full circle. It's, I love when it, people admit they're wrong. Not, oh, the not best, that they were wrong, but that they admit oh, to themselves and everyone. Just You will honestly. love this one, then, Deror. You will love this one. Oh, okay, Teapot, you might have to help me because it's been a long time. Okay. But Teapot and I, I think we were talking about like making your own group and KP. That's like, you know, a common thing. And some Daily guy in the YouTube. Yeah. yeah, some guy in the YouTube comments just popped off on me and was like super pissed off and telling me I don't understand and blah, 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 blah. I think specifically we're talking about how it, it kind of contributes to commander fatigue. Like if you can't play with people that have similar um, expectations and goals and whatever. Yeah. This guy, like three to six months later, he comes back to that comment and that like back and forth conversation. And he says... I just want you to know that I was wrong and that you were 100% correct. <laughs> and he's like, I have been leading pug groups for the last three to six months. And I want you to know that it is horrible that people lie to you all the time. And that I understand now. I understand why people do this. It was, I think and I, I just, I replied back. I was like, dude, like, this is this is a dead thread, but massive respect for for coming back here and saying something. Jeez, it, it's a beautiful cool. thing when people I, are willing cool, to yeah. admit that they've like learned something. Um, I agree. Yeah, cool. One hundred percent. That's cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah. There's also the yeah. ultimate commander arc where you complain about all the commanders and then you become the complainer. Yeah. Or no, th then you become the, the commander. The you become the new one, yeah. And then you complain about the complainers. Like, yeah. it just goes in the, the leeches. circle. Yeah. yeah. The infestation of leeches. You know, this is completely the, tangential. You'll have leeches. You know, would you, would you be interested to know, Sneb, that um, the classic WoW community is almost identical um, to the Guild Wars 2 community in this regard? Like, there is a constant all out bloodbath war between people who say um you should invite me even though i pass gray and people who say no i will not invite you if you pass gray and i'm going to check your logs and if you don't have the right gear from the dungeons i will not invite you right like there is a constant war between these two um groups of players it's very similar to um Guild Wars 2, actually, it's almost identical. Uh, I, I, I actually think that the demographics of, of players who play these two games is very similar, actually. Um, because in retail, wow, that's solved. If you say, uh, I'm 1k rating and I'm not getting into 3k groups, people will actually just cyber bully you and make fun of you, right? Like, they've solved it there. They don't that's not really an issue but in classic it's exactly the opposite um there's still this constant battlefield going on uh it's gonna be interesting to see where guild wars 3 lands on this you know guild wars 3 it shouldn't launch with a dps meter it should launch with a cc meter it should launch with like a Let's fully go. fledged stat system oh yeah that would be a really interesting idea uh if if an mmo actually had something like that you know because i mean 
Don't people like that kind of thing? You know, in like old games, you'd get like an S ranking if you cleared the, you know, like the, the level fast enough or you did it well, didn't get hit and stuff like that. I always I mean, thought that was kind of cool, right? Guild Wars 2's entire Mike O'Brien yeah. inspired vision yeah. was like obfuscating people's individual contributions as much as humanly possible mm. and, and trying to make it completely opaque to who's doing what and how. Um, you know, I, I think I think this is kind of funny, actually, because now we're getting into, like, weekly discussion about this. But I really feel like systems like that tend to massively backfire, like they have in Guild Wars 2. It leads to just, like, confusion about player performance, which leads to players refusing to engage in public, which leads to, uh, ironically, a huge amount of, I wouldn't say gatekeeping, but barrier to entry. Like, the players erect a barrier. It's not even the players doing it on purpose, by the way. Like, nobody's doing anything wrong. It's that players, if you can't figure out like experience level in game players won't use the in game systems like they they really won't like they'll use external systems and and you know go to private groups and so on and people won't engage publicly which is exactly what happens in guild wars 2 so i always feel like systems like that like horrifically backfire uh to be honest and i think guild wars 2 is kind of the case study on that to be honest yeah that's why <laughs> you just launch with the systems in the game that way the people who are you know given anxiety by those systems just opt out at launch and you don't have them in the community anymore to worry about. <laughs> I think you're quickly going to go from that 1 million new players to <clears throat> maybe a third of that. Okay. I mean, that's fine for me. <laughs> I'm not paying yeah. the bills. <laughs> not true. But it still has to succeed. And yeah. inclusion is usually a It's got to be good enough to keep the lights on at ANET, but like keep that yeah. Korean man sweating. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, the, what, do, what do we think about this idea that um, Guild Wars 3... Uh, you know, because this is something that, you know, Delph is talking about this a lot in the chat. What do we, what do we think about the, the idea that it either won't be an MMO or it will be a relaunch? I feel like it, it, how could it not be an MMO? Like that's, that, that to me is insane. Like you wouldn't but, call, maybe but, Guild Wars 3 is like actually, a placeholder name or something like that. Maybe. Oh, um, no, I do have a thought. I have a thought. Do you remember it was months and months and months ago where there was some leak that they were working on a card game? Yeah. Yeah, what if they're this. all connected? There's no way Guild Wars 3 is a card game. It's all going to be <laughs> the same. <laughs> yeah. Oh, please don't. That would be... And then, yeah. The Hall of Monuments is just you getting some... Like, oh, I got my Ritlock. Cool. I'm going to tap my mana and cast my Ritlock. Like, oh, God. <laughs> Could be, you never know. But it it would, on in all seriousness, it would be ridiculous to to think that it's not an MMO. Uh, they would, they just wouldn't call it Guild Wars Three. They would just call it Guild Wars and then a card game or Guild Wars the MOBA. I'd be like <laughs> Tyria the, right? the card game or something like that. Like. Mm. But I mean, it, it 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 could be. It's not like the official name is GW3, right? Yeah, I mean, then again, Guild Wars 1 and Guild Wars 2 were two that. different genres. It's not like they were the same genre, so... Yeah, fair. Fair. They yeah, can change they, genres. They were radically different. And, you know, that, that would... Making a game that is radically different would make sense, right? Like, especially if they wanted to continue Guild Wars 2, because if you... Let, let's imagine that um, they do Guild Wars 3, and they be say, Yo, look at our new MMO! It's got open world meta events, and it's got world versus world. That would actually be weird in a, in a way, right? Wouldn't it? Because you'd be saying, well, you're competing with yourself at this point. So it would yeah. make sense if the game was actually radically different in some way. But I think that's, it's yeah. very difficult to actually do that, like given the breadth of the types of content in, that exists in, in Guild Wars 2. Um, I mean, they could easily do it. They just got to promote me from community manager to oh, yeah. game director, and mm. I would be able to take care of like, the direction of, of the game for them. Easy peasy. Well, like, what, what would that look like? Right, like what would an MMO like? What could you do in Guild Wars Three that would be completely distinct from Guild Wars Two, or or wouldn't have too much overlap with Guild Wars Two? You know, the meme is I think Sneb brought this up actually, and, and, he, and I think he was being you know well, this wasn't a joke by the way that we were talking about this very seriously. Um, you know, what comes to mind is a kind of a very non-combat MMO like social experience, like something like Palia, right? Which is kind of I, I don't I think Sneb knows a bit more about the game than me, but it's kind of uh but yeah how tell, well is that game actually doing tell me snab what is uh, that game i think um essentially the game is like a cooperative mmorpg where you you don't 
like fight. You just like build stuff and work. That sounds like a micro Brian production all day. Yeah. A anyways, I don't know a lot about it. Um, spoiler alert, they didn't want me in their beta. I, I tried to get into it because I wanted to see what it was about, but I, I did not get in. And um, they, I, 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 I don't know. I, I thought that they had like some betas and stuff. I, the last, I haven't heard much about it recently. I actually do question if it's still doing well or not, but there was a lot of hype about it when it first announced because it's all the things that more casual oh. players actually, uh, hmm, casual it's, isn't the right word. There, there's people that have, don't really it launch just like a few days ago. Yeah, it, it's a social <laughs> MMO. Pe people like the, just to kind of hang out and sit huh. back and like dress their character up and do some tasks, but they, they don't really care about being particularly skillful. Sounds familiar. They, they, in other words, they don't want to express skill in combat necessarily. So it's maybe a bit slower in that way, but I, I don't know specifically about Palia. So when I said that stuff about Guild Wars 2, what I was really trying to say is, you know, we're not really utilizing Guild Wars 2's combat system to the fullest extent in many ways. Uh, when I say we, I mean the general community. I don't mm. think people do. I think people like the combat system because of how it feels, how fluid it is. But I don't think they like everything that's wrapped up in it. I think many people think there's too many stat lines. I think a lot of people don't understand the stats. I think a lot of people don't understand the gear systems. In other words, it's just very complicated for people. And so you do have to wonder, how much are they really, really willing to invest in something like a, a combat system that's exactly the same as Guild Wars 2? Like, why, why would they do that when the majority of the people that play the game do not engage with it at all? And then um, there were some numbers by a member of the community on Reddit that were like less than 1,000 people have gotten to, it was 40 or 50% on Sarah's CM. So are they really going to make a game for less than 1,000 people? In some ways, you have to question those things, right? I, I think there are other How ways. How complicated can... do they want to make it? I think there are some other things, other ways it can pay off though. And, and I, I definitely think you're right with the complexity, right? I think that, I think MMOs in general are a bit over the top. You know, when you, when you're loading up your talent tree for your build in, in, you know, in, in all these games, right? It's like, you've got like 17 different interweaving effects. Yeah, that's probably a little bit unnecessary. Let's be honest. Uh, I think doesn't, you know, we, we could probably trim down on that a little bit, but on the other hand, um, I think we talked about this before, and I, I'll say the same thing again. I, I think that in a way, I think players can really enjoy messing around with a complex system, even if they don't understand it. I think there is some inherent joy in kind of picking all these different little bonuses that your character has. I think that in and of itself is actually quite fun, even if you don't really understand it. You know, just you know, building up your character, right, and, and choosing all these different little components. I think that's something that players really enjoy, um, even if they don't necessarily understand it. And I, I will actually say this as well. I think the amount of people, especially new players, who suffer from these complex systems is not as high as you might think. I think there's this idea that new player joins the game and goes, wow, this is way too complicated. I don't understand and, and I quit. And I think that does happen 100%. But I think most of the time people go, yo, I pressed a button and it summoned a giant fireball. This is sick. Uh, and that I think that's actually a more common new player MMO response, I think. I, I think that most people don't, actually care that much if they don't understand the system like unless that it blocks them from progress i think one of the reasons why people do bounce off a little bit more in guild wars 2 is because of the lack of difficulty settings i think and probably some bad transparency when it comes to gearing i think gearing is something that people struggle with in guild wars a lot because there's a million stats and they're all you know half of them are worthless that really doesn't help uh but i don't know i i think you can have a complicated game uh, and it still be fun to mess around with for new players, as long as you kind of enable that, right? Like you enable it by having difficulty settings for content if you want to make difficult content, uh, and you make it so that you know you can you can kind of just get through it, like even if you don't know what the hell's going on. Like I always say, that it's absolutely strange to me how people seem to come to an MMO and have never played a game with RPG elements in it before. Like, if you've played a, 
like any Zelda game, like nothing should be unfamiliar to you. You know, when you get to like Guild Wars 2, even though they're not very similar, like at all, like between Zelda and Guild Wars 2, but at least the whole like concept of character progression and RPG elements should be familiar to you. So when you join an MMO, you know vaguely that there's going to be some sort of character progression and 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 like systems. I don't know. It it seems to me crazy to think that people don't expect that. Like like if you join an MMO and you're like, hey, this is complicated, it's like, yeah, that's what you signed up for. That's what the genre is. Like what what did you think it was? Did you think it's what it the was... genre was? I don't know that it's what the genre even is anymore. Well, uh, the problem I, is I we think... don't know what the genre is because every new MMO that's come out since Guild Wars Two or Final Fantasy has been like half digested garbage. So we don't know what a good MMO looks like. You know what? Allow me to actually simp for everyone's favorite MMO, New World, um, because I I you know. <laughs> I know I kind of slightly said that it doesn't matter when Sneb raised that issue, but there's another part of me, and maybe even the part that I agree with the most that actually fully agrees with this. I do think that uh, the future of games, uh, and when it comes to MMOs, is a little bit of a easy to learn, hard to master thing. And I actually think you can have a game that has a massive skill ceiling and can be incredibly difficult to play and really kind of appeal to players who do want to engage mechanically, but you can also have it in such a way that it is simpler uh, and with nice. fewer interlocking components. And I think that's actually what New World did really well. Um, is That's not what people want from um, RPGs. People want <sighs> power fantasy. They want to get the plus one sword so they can go into a deeper dungeon and kill another monster and get mm. the plus two sword. And that way they can go into a deeper dungeon and kill Mm -hmm. another monster and get a plus three sword. That's what people want. And that's... Old school RuneScape is exactly that. Exactly that. Yeah, I mean... I I, I mean, I I guess so. Uh, I mean, there definitely was some, like, gear min-maxing in in New World, right? You had basically upgrades you could attach that was a lot going on there, right? Um, And, you know, there there was a lot of customization of what you could do, uh, for sure. And uh, to be clear, the, the game is not what you know the, the game is obviously didn't really work out um super well overall but i think there are some really interesting ideas that games could learn from because i think one thing that was really good about new world was the fact that you have uh light attack heavy attack block dodge and then you have you had three weapons and you could pick two pick one of two trees from each weapon mix and match all of that away you go it's down to two weapons now as well so it's even simpler uh, than it used to be originally that's a really cool idea uh and by the way the game was very skill sensitive there was this guy actually a british guy too actually called the duelist uh who was really good at the game in the beta and he would 1v1 people who were bis maxed out gear at level one um with level one wooden sword and he would win very consistently um at this and in fact you know what's actually really funny um in response to feedback, they actually prevented you from doing this. The game was actually too skill sensitive, funnily enough. Uh, that's one of the reasons why they removed Stagger, and they actually made it so level scaling kind of prevented you from doing that nearly as much. Because people complained about it. Funnily enough, streamers complained about it. Like, I'm sorry, guys. It wasn't me, but uh, yeah. People complained about this. People did not like the fact that you lost to level one with wooden sword, basically. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> so they, they changed it. I'm telling you, people want yeah. plus one sword and to do more. If they get a sword that's yeah. 10% better, they want to do 10% more damage than yeah. the guy who doesn't have it. That's that's what they want. Yeah. And you can say there's like an, an outdated experience, yeah. but that people are playing these games for the power yeah. fantasy. And I, I don't know. I, I feel like you have to feed that. Yeah, I mean, that is that is kind of the MMO thing, right? Like, people like it when the number goes up, um, to be honest. So, yeah. Stagger was not bad in New World, by the way. Removing Stagger was a mistake. Um, what did it, did it probably add a really big barrier to entry to the game? Yes, and it's very different. So, was it a mechanic that would have probably killed the game? M- maybe, uh, <laughs> to be honest. But Stag- removing Stagger actually made the combat significantly worse in New World. That is a take I a million percent stand by, uh, to be honest. I think, st- you know, that was one of the things that pushed me away from the game is that the combat became 
worse when they removed stagger and they also removed animation cancelling that oh ah, ah! okay well yeah whatever um yeah that's uh that's unfortunate but i'm not well, i'm not doing the new world debate guys okay um if you can die level, listen that, these guys no, play, yeah. teapot wants to play smash mm. brothers but with an mmo yes yeah that's what you want that's your game yeah <laughs> leave me out of it <laughs> yeah. i like big numbers yeah. If you I can like die to level time. one wooden sword, why even put time to leveling and getting gear? Well, I mean, look, for the same reason that you get gear in Guild Wars 2, even though if you go in World vs. Wood in full green gear, you can honestly own people. There's even a guild that does that, by the way. I think I can't remember their guild tag, but there's a guild in World vs. World that they only use green gear and they're, all their characters are green. They like have like green infusions on and stuff like that. I mean, for the same reason, like, yeah. Can you like own people in green gear? Absolutely, but you can own people even harder if you use Ascended, right? Like, I don't know. It's, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the best time I ever had in Guild Wars Two World v World was right at launch when I had full full uh, exotic gear and everyone else had like green gear, and you could just like destroy people, like hordes of people, mm. like like me and three people who have all had exotic gear could like just go into World v World and just like take on like you know huge outnumbered fights because of the gear disparity and that it was actually like fun stomping. it was actually fun maybe if not for them but maybe that would encourage them to get better gear probably did <laughs> yeah it yeah. is difficult i think um you know the mmos are in a weird spot in terms of design right because i think new mmos do try to innovate a little bit and bring something new to the table but then it fails right uh and then people go back to the the old old stuff right uh and you know whether whether where the number goes up it's yeah it's very difficult and i i think that it's very difficult because um mmos uh, they're not a dead genre, obviously, because there's there's millions of people who play them. But on the same the, the same vein, there, I do feel like a lot of people who play MMOs, it's like the same bubble of people. If that makes any sense, I feel like l it's not a group of people online that there's loads of new players, like loads of new Zoomers getting into MMOs. I think there are some. You you see Zoomers in retail, wow, um, a little bit, I think. Um, but to be fair, that game is pretty zoomery, like with the way it plays. It's like very much like go in, go out, twenty minute adventure, uh, kind of thing. Like you know, for you know all that kind of stuff. Um, but it, we, it, we I think it, see, that's a... I think it's hard to introduce new ideas to the MMO audience because of how kind of ingrained everyone is, and and like everyone's like, yeah, this is what I like, and this is what MMOs are. So I, I think it's really difficult to create something new in the space that isn't going to get to get it spat out a little bit by the existing player base of, of like who, who plays mmos the other thing is like on one hand mmos have been around you know for 30 years roughly mm. but that sounds like a really long time but also it's not so long that we know what things are going to look like 30 years from now um, 30 years from now, the people who are playing EverQuest and, and Ultima online, they're going to be dead. <laughs> like, or, or not, you know, they're going to be like in old nursing homes. Like, like they're not going to be gaming. So will people who are now Zoomers and don't want to play, uh, you know, old slow paced MMOs, when they turn 35, are they going to start playing MMOs? Maybe. Like, it might just be that MMOs are a game genre that you pick up in your late 20s you don't you don't pick up until your late 20s and and you go and you play it till like you know you're whenever you're in your 50s or whatever and it could just very well be that that's the pattern that games fall into yeah but we don't know we have no Maybe idea just remain uh only relevant to our generation and it'll just keep moving until we yeah. hit retirement. So everyone's age literally and, uh, dead. Yeah. And it's this the <laughs> yeah. moment that we're all dead. That's the <laughs> that's, that's the, the moment that the that's when the server shuts dies. down. <laughs> well, it's like they say, like how long isn't there like a, a date where more people on Facebook will be dead than than people oh, who boy. are alive? Holy like shit. there'll be there'll be, oh my there'll God. be more accounts oh my of God. people that have passed away than accounts of people that are alive. Oof. And it's like not far in the future. So like based on like their their growth or lack of growth, like and the and the demographics uh, of the world changing. But mm. pretty pretty soon most you know, 
World of War within a, within a hundred years, most World of Warcraft accounts will be owned by dead people. <laughs> the the estates yeah. of dead people than than living oh. people. And I, I think that, you know, we have exhausted the, the Guild Wars 3 discussion more or less here at this point, actually. Uh, but I, I think there's more to add, at least. Yeah, there, there's, kind of, there's, <laughs> there's kind of one more thing that I think we can kind of use to round off the conversation, maybe round off the show as well, um, is, is the following. Like, do we feel that the hand of NC and ArenaNet is going to be forced here a little bit in terms of communicating what's going on? Because we have had a statement from ArenaNet. It's basically, I'm not going to lie, it's a bit of a non-statement. It's basically like, oh yeah, we're focused on Guild Wars 2 and of course we're working on other projects, but we can't say anything now. Fair enough. Oh, you know, boy. I get that. You know, that makes a lot of sense, right? Uh, and, um, you know, that's, that's basically what we've got at this point. Do we think that this kind of scuffed announcement is going to kind of lead to anything else or are they just going to say you know what it'll probably blow over because it hasn't blown up a huge amount i want to say like it, it's not yeah, like everywhere it, it's gonna it's it's a this, pr- this could easily blow over yeah easily blow over because if it would have if it would have already blown up it would have happened by now mm. it would have happened a few days ago it was like now it's like yeah whatever we're all it, i mean is anyone really dooming and glooming and like that much I don't think, I think so. I was saying no. that before we started that there's no news and there's not going to be any more information. So once you like vent on Reddit and get your, your magis out, <laughs> there's nothing else to say. Like, mm. are you still going to be sa- repeating the same two sentences that you like uh, three weeks from now? No, you're going to move. Yeah, you're going to life's going to go back to normal till there's more info. And more I mean, yeah, could be years the away. community does have a. But, uh, a history of com- uh, just uh, I will say if like himself. if like the content that they release from now on has to be good because at that the default position if they release like a bad patch or a bad fractal or a bad this or not even bad but like low effort people are gonna go oh this is low effort because of guild they're, they're shifting their attention to guild wars 3 yeah it's gonna be and the scapegoat yeah. right yeah that's gonna yeah. be the yeah. scapegoat and yeah. you don't want that because it just will make the community miserable. Yeah, it's the yeah, main I, mode memes over again. <laughs> when T-Bot and I chatted the other day, I was saying that I thought their hand was kind of forced to say something. But I actually, as time has gone on, my perspective has changed. I don't think that they will necessarily be forced to say anything. And if they do say anything, I don't think it needs to be super big. I think they can be like, oh, yeah, you know what? Beans are spilled. Um, we are considering working on stuff like this and looks like it has been greenlit. So that might be something we do, but we'll, we're just recommitting to Guild Wars 2. This is what we've got going on in the future and see Interior. We're just done. I don't, I don't think they, that it's actually that huge of a deal anymore. Uh, and the, the Doom take on that is I don't, think that the, I don't think that the game is really in a like hyper popularity phase right now where everyone is playing constantly and there's like a, ton of content so honestly you could just like fast forward a month and nobody will remember this so yeah i i think it'll just blow over yeah if if this was like two weeks after an expansion i think you'd be in big trouble right because there's just like so many people that just bought the thing and you know oh and the game's already gonna die like i think that that might be a bit what if what if this news leaked like a week before the expansion and just like completely savagely undercut their pre-order sales like that would be Uh, that would have hurt that would have been bad timing yeah that would have been very, very rough. Uh, but fortunately, I, you know, it might have like some kind of minor effect on it, I guess. But I think it will be pretty insignificant because, you know, I, I think, yeah, people will have forgotten. We're going to be hearing about pre-order for next expansion, uh, I guess, in about two and a half months, probably. Because I think the next... Uh, when does the next patch drop? Let me just check in-game, actually. Because, um, look, uh, yeah, yeah, the Anut special thing, like the Wizard's Vault special tab, it tells you when the next patch comes out. It's coming out in 44 days. So we probably hear about pre-order like a month after that ish that we announced for the next expansion, a little bit after the final update. They could even, I could even imagine them doing it on the same day, right? Like you know, or, or very, very shortly after. Kind of, you know, you just finished Soto. Oh, next expansion. Oh, let's go. Um, that could definitely happen too. But yeah, I think it's it's just just out of range enough. Like if it, you know, if it had happened on the same day, that would have been a little bit rough. Um, and you know what? You know what is also big. It happened so close to April first 
that there are i get this a lot in, in, in on the stream people come into the stream and say wait was it a joke is it is it a meme right like it's actually crazy like you know the april 1st things may be working out in their favor because people don't think it's real uh in the same way that you know people are very confused if uh nike is the community manager for guild wars 2 or not like they just don't know <laughs> right why, like, why, what's the yeah. confusion yeah i mean i mean <laughs> I mean, I, why is anyone confused? I can't possibly say. I don't know why anyone could be confused about that. That, uh, you know, I just don't understand. I can't wait for the official announcement tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guild Wars 3 pre-order. Like, I mean, look, that's, that's honestly the only reason I'm hyped. Uh, everyone knows I don't like Guild Wars 2, but you know what I do like? I do like people, uh, pre-ordering the game <laughs> using my referral link. Like, I do like that. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll give you that one. Especially, look, I've already heard, guys, that, um, the Guild Wars 3 is going to be a full price $60 game on launch with a potential $200 Ultimate Extreme Edition. And I know you guys are going to be buying that, okay? Like, I know you guys are going to be clicking that referral link and buying that right now. So, Do you honestly, hear about the $1,000 Gold Edition? Oh, wait, wait, what? Is that leaked yet? The $1,000 <laughs> Gold Edition? Guild Wars 3 Gold? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, it's just and, like uh, yeah. a few gold <laughs> flakes sprinkled in there. Partners get a uh, percentage of people's sub fees on a recurring oh, monthly basis. Oh yes, <laughs> let's go! Very good. Yeah, if you sub using Teapot's referral link every month, like two dollars of your sub fees going right to Teapot. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine yeah. how lucrative that would be? Oh my god! You know, you know what's funny? Uh, Ashes was running something like that. It got shut down yeah. because the game didn't exist. But the original um, referral link scheme for Ashes of Creation was basically a multi-level marketing thing because- That well, seems bad. That seems yeah, really bad. Yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was like a full MLM scheme, right? Like you could send people out and so. refer them. Yeah, yeah, you 100% yeah, you could. Yeah. I like, want to build my have, downstream. Oh, do they have a multi-level? <laughs> Uh, it might not have been multi-level, I, I actually. It, I, I don't think it, it was multi-level. It might have been sing it might have been single level, actually. But it was it was <laughs> definitely you send the link out and then you get a cut of any purchase they make in the um in the store. In uh, perpetuity, it right? Yeah, it, yeah, but yeah, but it may not have been um it may not have been multi-level, you're right. They should um, have done it multi-level. That's insane though. Yeah. What a deal. You could be yeah. like the world's first billionaire because you got like the very first referral link. Yeah, and it just funnels down. You get a cut of everyone. Yeah, you get a cut yeah, of yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. downstream to like five degrees of separation. Yeah, I mean, we need that in Guild Wars too. We we need um creator codes, right, for the cash shop for the gem store. Like you know, buy a cover fed style with your that, Don't mind. Yeah, imagine how Please silly do. the whole. If we had that, Josh yeah. would still be here. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Well, I mean, we got Twitch drops. I think that's something that he uh, he wanted. Yeah. He wanted he, the Twitch drops. Campaign for that. Yeah, and we got that. It's uh, they added it to the game. He, you know, he died. He died to give us. What do Twitch you think drops. about the Twitch drops? Um, and didn't they do one somewhat recently with Saris, right? They did, yeah, but it was it, it was lame. It was it, it, it was they're just adding. It was like yeah, it was like a merchant and a TP, like one Nobody use. Cares. I think what's happened there is that um it's probably not that cost efficient for them to do that uh, i think they probably looked at the numbers and realized that it doesn't really grow the twitch scene uh it, it it grows it for like a week and then it goes back to where it was and numbers in general have declined quite a lot since soto releases especially streaming actually like streaming is it's pretty dead to be honest for, for guild wars so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be about the bush like a lot of streamers have, have quit like youtube's still going on there youtube's lower i think um significantly less people making stuff but twitch is pretty dead to be honest in terms of creators so i think arena probably looked at it and went like ah maybe not super cost efficient here i could imagine them doing some big stuff for expansions because I, I that will be good right because when they do an expansion launch uh they might throw a twitch front page in it, like they did with soto you know what's really funny? They gave Twitch front page for the tunnel. That was fucking funny as well. Um, maybe not the best choice of uh, allocating resources, but you give, yeah. yeah. Give, give people like a, a mount skin at mm. X-Pack launch, but make it like a big time yeah. investment. So they're just like frothing for it. Yeah. Yeah, so I, it's that, that's why they probably didn't like break the bank on it because yeah. if they give away something like a bag slot, you know, that's, you know, they're giving away gems there and they're probably not getting the return they're looking for, uh, to be honest, uh, in terms of like new players being attracted because of the Twitch viewership or just, you know, kind of building a, a, a bigger presence online. I, I really don't think, if I'm being honest, guys, I know a lot of people like to pretend that, um, you know, streamers control the game. I, I do, I always love it when someone like leaves a comment somewhere that says that like, oh yeah, Teapot and his gang like control Guild Wars 2. I, I mean, we do. Just don't leak that. But um, 
I don't think it's really that important from Anet from a marketing perspective. Their target demographic is not on Twitch, let's be honest. Uh, they're not on YouTube either, really. Uh, they're on Facebook. <laughs> nah, nah, not really. Um, but No, yeah. no, really. No, yeah. really. Oh, you think so? Have you, you think... Seen, have you seen how big the Facebook groups are? Uh, I mean, how big are they? They're frightening, too. They're the opinions extremely are frightening. huge. Yeah. Everything we said here would send them into a, a, a literal panic. Mm, fear. Just, yeah. They're, they're massive, Teapot. Like, there, there are multiple Facebook pages with tens of thousands of, mm. of followers. Multiple. Okay. So, yeah. Jill Adrian yeah. always mentions that he's got like 45,000 Facebook followers. Can only imagine wow. how, how he got that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is that a cat? <laughs> no, it's a dog. <laughs> Yes, it's a cat. I, I couldn't tell. Its head was down. I was like, it's just a little fluff ball. <laughs> he is very fluffy. Yes. Yeah. Like, I can pop off about the Twitch drops. Um, I actually think it is... I, I think the Twitch drops are only a positive thing if, A, the drops are actually worth the investment. Mm. B, the content that you're trying to promote is good and um substantive if you put out content okay if you put out a drop that takes like eight hours to get but the content that you added on that patch only takes four hours to do uh that looks really weird when all the streamers complete it in a few hours it, it looks really weird because then you've got all these streamers that are like oh the, the story is done <laughs> it was like one hour and, and now all of all, like 10,000 people are just watching you go, oh, I've ran out of things to do on this patch. Uh, like, then what do you do? Uh, I, think it, I think it makes the game look very poor. So I think they should save the budget to do like a big thing every once in a while, whether that's once a year, twice a year. I don't know, but I wouldn't do it every patch. I don't think every patch is working out. I don't even think I streamed the last time they did the drops, really. Or if I did, I don't remember because it was so inconsequential. Oh, no, I think it's very likely, yeah. Um, I'm expecting them to go a bit harder. They might keep doing the drops every time anyway, um, just because, you know, more viewers is always good, I guess. But yeah, for sure. I think that like being more strategic is is where they're going to go. Like, I, I expect to see them go pretty hard when whenever there's an expansion release as well. They could have done more for um Saris, right? That's, you know, but then again, they didn't really do anything in terms of making that into an event whatsoever. And I don't know, maybe, maybe we're asking a little bit too much of the Arena Net marketing team um, to, to do something like that, okay? Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, you know, maybe guess. just maybe just retweets with no text is as far as it goes. You know, that's that's like the uh, that's the giga marketing, right? <laughs> if if I had to guess, I think it's a massive risk for them to market those things when they just they don't know if you're going to be able to kill it in ten minutes. Because imagine what if they had done that for Dagda? What if they were like mm. raced? Because what what if they thought that Dagda was really quite difficult and they released it? And said race to world first and they like really pumped that up for like a week or two beforehand and then you guys killed it first try mm. like that would make them look like fools so i imagine there's actually a lot of risk to these sorts of things for them yeah especially when it comes to like the the raid boss stuff i guess because you know if they if they miscalculate it's uh it's gonna be a little bit rough <laughs> yeah they, they would have to be have to absolutely the certain. CMs in a state where they're pretty confident no one can actually beat it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like we haven't talked about Saras. That's probably for a, another time, actually. But yeah, no, I, I agree. I think the correct strategy that they should take is this is similar to what they're doing. Wow, by the way, basically release it semi impossible. They're pretty sure it's maybe either it's just barely doable or slightly impossible, and then you just yeah, like, it down like on the like floor. they go. Okay, it has an eight minute enrage timer. We know what the 10 best players in the game hitting a DPS golem can do in eight minutes. Yeah. That's how much health we're going to give it. And we're going to add mechanics. So that way it's on the verge of mathematically impossible, yeah. you know, and then you nerf it as needed. Like once people realize it's impossible. Yeah, pretty much. 
They've got to be snappy on that, though. You know, like, I think that's that's where yeah. they would struggle. Well, and the problem is, I think the, the risk there is that if you create something that's like mechanically impossible, that would be the issue. You'd have to make sure that it's doable in terms of the mechanics. Yeah, you can't have eleven um, AOEs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, yeah. and if and if one person goes into each, <laughs> they, then you wipe because yeah, that would be a problem. Yeah, uh, if you can mess with the numbers, then it's it is indeed doable. Yeah, or it's riddled with bugs. Well, I mean, you know, Ceres wasn't that buggy. It had a couple of things that were pretty bad about it, but you know they fixed them pretty quick like what the issue with saris is that they haven't handled the the follow-up very well this is thing that i will uh don't worry guys i'm gonna criticize a net for this one they messed up big with the cm uh it's still way too hard for the vast majority of the players in fact the cm is not that much easier than the legendary mode but look <laughs> that's a uh, another thing for another time i think you know we can we can have that conversation later um but yeah it's uh enjoy that yeah and there are some insanely overtuned mechanics like stuff like gluttony is absurdly overtuned um and that hasn't been adjusted yet like that's the kind of stuff that ain't need to get good at if they want to kind of keep content like this going in my opinion uh but well now we're now we're terminally derailed at this point uh but i think we've kind of got to the end um of the show bonus guest deroya gaming as well guys He's in the mix. Progressing Sarah CM, rank one. Every week, let's uh, go. Pumper, yeah, big pumper. He's getting purple in every hole, purple in the title as well. It's going to be good. But anyway, I think if that's... That, if that happens before Guild Wars 3 comes out, yeah. I'm going to be impressed. You're going to be progressing five years on this uh, on this fight. It's going to be a five-year I mean, progression session. <laughs> you never know. By then, yeah. there's going to be like we, a we rainbow... We keep losing players, that's the thing. By then, there'll be like a rainbow of colored titles available yeah maybe. you need to go to a yeah, more than think one roster cm is hard oh roster cm is very faith. hard trust me like you know rate it uh, roster cm is brutal i was very lucky with Ceres that the roster was pretty stable but i have been mercilessly fucked by roster cm in world of warcraft over the past five months and honestly not in the good way it has it has you are an almost good self-immolated like four times wait what she, wait wait, wait yeah. what do you yeah, mean she, lauren was on the verge of cracking multiple wait, times what what, what do you i mean? heard the comms she was like you want to kick me don't you and you're like where are you getting that <laughs> from <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was, it, the team was the team was about to crumble thank god you guys <laughs> killed it when you did gray hairs oh my gosh was it really that stressful Oh, it was, it was pretty intense, yeah. It was, you know, it was, you know it's, it's a hard boss. It's a you know, hard boss. But anyway, unless anyone has any final thoughts, I think it's time to wrap this up on the Guild Wars 3 tea time. Tea time is back, guys. Uh, probably not permanently. Uh, there's not really a lot to talk about. <laughs> you know, Arena just leak everything these days. So uh, tea time is obsolete, but we'll be around sometime. Don't worry. Uh, but anyway, it's time to, uh, you know, Say goodbye and also say hello to our incredible guests and they will tell you about themselves and what they're up to these days. Okay, right. Let's get this done. Number one. In the top left, it's uh, SG Leader, uh, Tyrion Gazette Enthusiast, <laughs> um, Gamer, <laughs> Professor <laughs> Sneb, Dr. Sneb. Uh, what, what's going on, man? What's, uh, what's the situation? Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm I'm Prague and Sarah CM. I'm actually probably gonna do it later today. I don't know if I'll stream it or not. I may. Um, but yeah, Prague and Sarah CM running the, the SG thing. We have got 135 statics. We're doing World versus World and Fractals now as well. Anvil Rock is the greatest server. All other servers are irrelevant. Mm. That's true, by the way. So yeah, if you want to get into end game content or you want to like meme around and just portal bomb people all day on Anvil Rock, then he should definitely join Scan Gang. Also, we have good shirts like this one. See, good logo. Looks like a middle school hockey team's logo. It's perfect. That's why I love it. Is it a duck <laughs> or a swan? It's a goose. Close goose. enough. Sorry, man. I tried. <laughs> he tried. Close enough. Okay. Kind of like the hybrid of those two things. And next up, we have Nike. Definitely not April Fool's Arena employee. Definitely didn't trick anyone with that. What's uh, what's going on? We'll find out, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, I'm not. I don't have anything to promote, really. 
Well, there it is. I have all the fans I need. I don't need yeah. any more fans. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and then Go finally, surprise guest, Daroya. Purple Thank in every hole. Me from the void. Yeah, we summon him from the void. Sarah CM progression fan. Uh, it's happening. I mean, I, I've got. I mean, it's actually this. it's actually going really well. I'm yeah. trusting in my team. Yeah, okay. every week we come back. Flame to it. them. Flame it's them, going Daroya. Slow, Who's no, the anchor? No, no. Who's the no, anchor? Everyone's everyone's good. Everyone's. Who's not putting in the work? Who needs to be kicked? No. <laughs> everyone's doing fantastic. We're progressing slowly but surely. Anyways, who's paying yeah, for the writ? Uh, I don't know. We everyone is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I've got nothing else to promote as well. Yeah. I was See, working. I was, actually, about. I was I was working on something oh really cool God. that I'd hope to have out tomorrow, but it's been <sighs> taking so 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 long that I I didn't even, I barely Bro. even wanted to talk about it. I, I I maybe I should complain about this more, but seriously, man. It, the Guild Wars 2 fucking stream scene is so dead, bro. It actually, it's beyond dead. It's it's like been I, I, I mean, dug I up, unearthed multiple times. Anymore. Exactly. Yeah, you don't even exist. Nike does more Zwift than uh, Listen, Guild Wars 2. I made a YouTube point. video two weeks ago, and I've gotten nothing but hate in my DMs from yep. it. So I don't even want to promote it, even though it's a banger. So Okay. Like, it's, it's too, you do yeah. anything, you get attacked. So yeah. I, don't, I don't want it. And when, you know, when does um, Sneb do Guild Wars 2. He plays Warcraft 3 and, like, flames people out in 4v4 RT. That's all he does. That's literally all that. he does. Yeah. It's the best. Yeah. Look, That's what happens. If you... If you do not save... If you do not TP when your ally is getting, like, destroyed by three people, you are the scum of the earth. You're just sitting there, you know, you're just... You're, like, in your base role-playing and your teammates just, like, please help please and then you just don't do anything mm. yeah you're you're not a good player if there was a way to kick people from your groups in warcraft 3 you know there, there are times when i would rather they leave so that you can control their units mm. <laughs> yep well okay that's a good place to end on you should follow everyone's social media here, even if, you know, I mean, well, we're not yes. programming anything. The only one that matters is mine. Uh, follow my stream, subscribe on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube now, we stream on Twitch and you can watch Tea Time on YouTube as well. You can watch it everywhere. We're everywhere. We're all over the place, guys. So follow, subscribe, I just, I, come back and watch. Watch the other Tea Times. Yeah, okay, what do you got? Do it. Speak. It's really important. I just want to say that I do know how to put things on Spotify and um, you should put Tea Time on Spotify. And it's painful to me that you have not. And I just want the YouTube. I want every single YouTube comment to to, to just say, "Tea time on Spotify when?" Question mark. We're editing because this because I I think we can do it. I <laughs> I believe I know how to do it. I I think we can do it. Will you be responsible for it though? Uh, we could. I could, we could make an arrangement. See, see, we'll yeah. Go. But anyway. That's it, gamers. We are done. I'll still be streaming afterwards because, I mean, why the hell not? But until the then, my friends. The only streamer left standing. Yeah, the last man standing. You know, I'm standing in a graveyard of dead content creators. I mean, a call with dead content creators, right? Like, you know, it's they're everywhere. Uh, but anyway, that's it, gamers. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Leave <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments. <laughs> Tell us what you think about Guild Wars 3. Will you uninstall the game? Will you play the game more? Will you post on the subreddit? Will you start trolling? I don't know. Will Tea Time uh, be on Spotify? Who, who yeah, runs yeah. the Guild Wars 3 <laughs> subreddit right that, now? Ooh, that's actually going to be hot, actually. Who's going to make that? If I find out random user is it's involved done. in running that subreddit, no, I already he, checked. he has got to go. <laughs> Wait, guys, guys, I already checked. I already checked. I already checked. Um, I did this the other day because I went to go try to take it so that I could oh, be mod. Oh, shit. Overall. You could be mod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but some, but somebody else already has it. Oh, it's, um, shit. It's the Eric Humphrey guy. I don't, who's that? I don't know who that is. Yeah, um, I don't I thought know. It's like a, somebody who has like 40k um, achievement points or something. I think that's the guy. Wow. He must be cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, well, I just, I think it's like a long time <laughs> player of the game. I don't know the other people. That was such a genuine laugh. Wow. Love that. <laughs> right, okay. This in, this outro has gone on long enough. We're out of here. Take it easy, gamers. We'll see you next time, okay? Yeah? Boom. We're done. Bye. <laughs>
Yo, we're back in the mix, we're back in the game, let's do this. Welcome, welcome my friends. We have risen, yeah, I have risen, again. Here we are, debate revelation 1992, wait, is he actually streaming? Let's see what we got. We are actually live, guys. In China, like example, uh, 
Moonlight played online, Justice Online, one of the famous MMORPG in the China. They saying that it's the killer WoW, but it's only exclusive in China. So in Korea, they still massive when it comes to gaming cafe. Gaming cafe in Korea, it's fucking massive. People mm. will grind for three days. Yeah. Four days, no sleep. Yeah. They do that. Yeah, gaming cafe. So I'm gonna share you thoughts about, uh, like, sample. I'm gonna share something like Cabal. Cabal. Who, who, who knows Cabal MMORPG? <laughs> Jesus. There's something you guys know about in the mid 2000s. This is pretty uh, unhinged, I think. Revelation time. Welcome, my friends. There you go. T Tom is back, guys. What do you guys think about the? Uh, what do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about uh, T Tom? What do you think is going on here? Papige. Why so many ARK updates? I'm not really sure what's going on with ARK, but yeah, there's some some stuff going on there. Papige. I play that game when the level cap was 120. Probably the best tea time in years. I mean, that's true. It's been a while, actually. Okay, Twitch. Yes, guys. No, wait. I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube, Casual Citizen. We got both. We got both going on. Trig in the chat. Yeah, honestly, dude, I would love to have Trig on tea time. I'd like, you know... I'm sure, well, obviously, Trig can't say this um, because he's, a very one, a very nice person and also an ArenaNet employee. But... I have started to despise the balance wine community in Guild Wars 2. Okay? Like, let, let me actually, uh, let me let me take a look. Let, let's see what we got. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, kind of dig into this. Um, let me find this comment. Hang on. No, there's too many comments on this video. I can't find it. It's over. <laughs> Some of these comments are quite unhinged. Man, YouTube, YouTube people are little peepos sometimes. Little frogmen. Frogmen. Yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, what Film11 here is saying, like Twitch TOS is I can't show the YouTube chat on the stream. Otherwise, I would. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, not allowed to because of the TOS. Illegal. Ah, yes. I will happily play Guild Wars 3, but only if they fire the incompetent balance devs who have been ruining Guild Wars 2 for the past 10 years. I... I I've, I've started to become quite annoyed by comments like this because they're invariably made by players who are completely clueless about balance in the game and have no understanding of how the game actually works. 
And this this sentiment is popping up quite a lot. And it's kind of, uh, it's annoying me. I don't like it. We're gonna have to, um, look, okay, check this out, check this out. Here's the plan for the stream. Okay, I want Trig and CMC just to come on the show and just say some, like, giga chad shit. Like, oh yeah, um, we actually do hate elementalist players and we nerf it every patch because we enjoy doing it and we enjoy watching you suffer. But, um, here, you know, let me explain my reasoning here because this, this actually makes sense. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out on this. I think Guild Wars 2 would benefit from these people actually quitting the game. So I think that Trig and CMC should actively engage in behavior that hopefully alienates um, people like this from the game. Okay? I, I think their objective should be to make them quit. So I want them to come on and say some just giga chad stuff. Like, yeah, we will be designing the next CM so that only Virtuoso is good. Go further than this. Say stuff like, we saw that NA cleared it with Soul Beasts. We are nerfing it so you can't do that. We want it to be only Virtuosos that can clear Serra's CM and never anything else. We will make sure that the next CM will only be doable with Virtuosos. Literally nothing else. So I want to... They need to Giga Chad. They need to... Yes! Where we point out the... I don't think... Exactly. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm... See, Trig knows what I'm talking about. Trig agrees with me. Yeah. And we just say, yeah, I don't think Catalyst should even exist. Or Untamed. Very nice. Yeah, and we also have Nike on there as well. And Nike can just be kind of like soft cyberbullying people the entire time. Because, you know, there's going to be people who main things in the chat. And obviously watching the video as well. And that's when Nike activates and just starts just brutalizing them uh, constantly. Good. And then, honestly, that would be an improvement. We could fix a lot of issues, I think, in the Guild Wars 2 community. I like it. You know what's weird? I was kind of surprised that Chrono won. Do you see? Do you see that uh, Chrono won? Right? That was very surprising to me. I would have predicted like Reaper or Hollow because I feel like who doesn't love Reaper and Hollow, man? Like what? You know who's got a bad thing to say about Reaper and Hollow Smith? I feel like nobody. Like that's some good shit, you know? Uh, but yeah, Chrono. I mean, I guess Chrono is pretty cool to be fair. It's pretty thematic. But I mean, it's not the one that I would rate at the top. Uh, you know, I'd probably pick Reaper. I would say for best elite specialization, but I mean, you know, I mean, fair enough. Yeah. Reaper, Firebrand, Hollow, or S tier? I mean, Firebrand is very fun to play. Um, maybe not, maybe shouldn't exist, but it is fun to play, I'll give you that. We're disappointed that there weren't more Arc Divider Strikes for us to remove. Yeah, that's the sad thing. Because that would be a really good one to hit. Because people were really mad that you don't have the triple hit Arc Divider. But there's no way that Trig could say anything that would upset them more. It would be like... Um, you, you'd have to do some, like, crazy shit. Like, you have to cast it twice to make it even hit once. But that wouldn't even be believable. Like, nobody would ever believe that. So it's no good. Power Harbinger is the only good spec. I mean, look, think about it, guys. What specs did the God Emperor create? The God Emperor made Harbinger, Virtuoso, and Mechanist. People love that shit. Yeah. After Pedro, it's not even uh, egregious. I mean... I, I would say that any... It's not egregious, but I feel like only because everything else is so broken. Um... I still think it is very questionable that, like, a class basically has 15 abilities baked in for free, as opposed to the three that Guardian normally has. That's a little bit sus, I would say, uh, from a from a design perspective. But you're not wrong. It, it's definitely not a balance issue right now. Um, it, you know, I, I feel like if Herald was less disgusting, then maybe it would be different, but, you yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. We'll be turning Arc Divider into... Oh, yeah! Dude, if they made Arc Divider Condi, that would be pretty big, actually. Uh, skill 1 does almost nothing, so it's kind of 12. Uh, I mean, I guess, yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's still 12 skills instead of 3 is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Hail Joko. Good old RP. I like it. I guess we didn't really try to defend the tower. It's fair enough. Who cares about that tower anyway? 
My inventory in this character is pretty bad, isn't it? Not ideal. But yeah. Firebrand and Scourge probably shouldn't exist. They are fun to play, though. Yeah. I will say that. Is that the only thing Herald Rev in general is good at? I mean, Rev is really good. Like, Renegade is good. Um, Power Quickness Herald is really good. Colony Quickness Herald is really good. Vindicator is really good. You know... I am fully blackpilled on people who play only one profession. I think that if you are, if you want to have an opinion, you are not allowed, you have to play more than one thing. You can't be a main. Because I, guys, I am not joking. I have had YouTube comments say, Revenant is the weakest class in Guild Wars 2. Seriously. I've had that. And that's actually insane. Like, that is... I don't understand how they could possibly come to that conclusion. Yeah. It does not make any sense to me. Yeah. Uh, balance is important, uh, Fjordor Z. If you don't have balance, then basically what happens is, is that players are going to feel like they're being punished for making a decision when customizing their character. And that's why balance is important. Uh, or it means that you have to tune the content in a weird way, and that can also have negative impact. Yeah, you need balance. Yeah. But yeah. What is the weakest? Uh, the What is the weakest profession in the game overall? Um, in PvE, it's probably Thief. Kind of. Um, thief is like the... In PvP, it's not Thief. Thief is insane in PvP. Uh, in World vs. World, it's good in 1v1s and stuff, but it's not so good in, like, large-scale play. So it's kind of niche in World vs. World, but, yeah, in PvE, it's probably Thief. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, it's weird. Like, Spectre... Spectre is really good in PvE sometimes, but it gets held back by allied targeting. Allied targeting in PvE was a big mistake. Making Spectre like a single target spec, yeah, that that really wasn't going to work out very well, was it? Unlucky. What your crit cap at? You want 100% crit on Power Weaver builds. Always. On it, Well, on any Power build, you want 100% crit. Just flat out. Yeah. Ranger used to be the weakest, and it did it for years. Uh, I mean, only in pre-HOT, then Druid existed. And Condi Core Ranger. Uh, Ranger has been very good uh, since HOT release. Without Fury? Oh yeah, without Fury, um, without Fury you want 75% crit. But actually, I think uh, Weaver has a uh, Weaver has a thing that gives it more critical strike chance, right? When you're fighting foes, well, I think it's like while you have swiftness or something like that, so you need less. Pretty sure that's how it works anyway. Yeah. Attackers in time to have a crit cap? Well, no, 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 no. You always want 100% crit. So, yeah, you you take whatever crit modifiers you have. Like, Hollow has a bunch. Like, Warrior has some. Like, Thief has some. Like, you always take that into consideration. Yeah. Yeah, you get an extra 15% from superior elements. When uh, you're hitting some with weakness. Boom. There you go. So, you, need, you only need, what, 60% on we Power Weaver? Easy. Hello, Bomber Lemmy. How you doing? Spellbreaker? I mean, yeah, Spellbreaker's really good. Yeah. yeah. So it's running and dying if you uh, don't get a group. Yeah, that's the kind of the nature of World versus World to an extent. 
That was a glyph that acted like Grace of the Land. Oh yeah, Glyph of Empowerment. Mm, yes, very good. Very nice. Ceres' eye beam traces a cone in 3D. Thoughts? And is that, I mean, is that even really accurate? I'm not sure if that's even true. Cone. Cone. Well, the comma's left. It is over. Unfortunate. The Kona mode is very powerful. Huh. We already finished the daily. Nice. Look at that. I can't even take all the rewards because my inventory is full. I'm crying. What an absolute disaster, my friends. What am I going to do? I'm going to sell that for three silver. There we go. Guess I can delete some of this junk. I just say PvE thief feels lucky. I mean, oh, well, this is not good. Oh, Vindicator, yeah, this is, uh, this is not gonna go well, is it? Just dodged. Oh, he's playing an actual good build, though. This is not looking good. Yeah, I'm fucked here. Huh. Spinal? Wow, he actually kind of got him. He's going to run now, though. Unlucky. That's unblockable, dude. That's not going to cut it. Yeah, he didn't see me use the shout. Well, it is what it is. Yeah. Off we go. No speed relic. I think I, I don't. I'm not even sure if I have a relic on this guy. Oh, I have relic of fight. This is like the. Is it? Yeah, I, I just have like PVE gear on this guy. Yeah, this is my secondary account. Yeah, I just have like PVE gear on this guy. But I like a little bit of Reaper in World vs. World. You know. Let's go. Incredible. Yeah, I just need this camp when we're good with the uh, dailies for today. I'm actually surprised there wasn't more talk about uh, remake, relaunch versus new game. I was already agreeing it was going to be a new game. I feel like evidence leans towards a Guild Wars 2.5. We better move because I feel like you will have an insane amount of content on launch for it. Uh, whenever we'll try it with Mitigate with a reset, which would be happening with a new game um, already. I mean, <sighs> we talked about it a little bit, but I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm I'm not really sure if it makes a lot of sense. Like, relaunch. I mean, <laughs> it's like, man, would you really throw millions at that? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you would uh, go that direction. Oh, this is not good, is it? Oh, this is... Yeah, well, just use Glint Heal. Stun. Bro. I think we need to go for the Will Bender first here. Because this guy is playing uh, some kind of, like, Herald build. And that's just, that's just not going to cut it. We need to go and uh, play with this guy, the Harb, and get this kill. We're unblockable now. Okay, we have this. Is this guy playing Sword Shield Condi Herald? What is this? What's going on here? Very unusual setup from this guy. I mean, the Harb can kill him. Go unblockable here. Fear him through the wall. Can okay, we're gonna cancel that. 
Spinal him. Has the glint heal. It's gonna stun him. Oh, unlucky. Got interrupted by his CC. Thing is, he won't live the harb. He won't be able to survive. Oh, I evaded that. Oh, whoops. Missed the dodge there. He's fucked. We got him. Better core story, no season, Ice Bridge Saga 2. Well, I feel like at that point, you're just making a new game. Like, um, you know, I, I'm not sure if there's a lot of value in making a... Making a, you know, a remaster of the game, to be honest. And why call it Guild Wars 3 at that point? Can't make this much content for a new game. I mean, I don't know. Who cares? Like, um, like, do you really need like ten years of content in your game on launch? I don't think so. Yeah. It just seems like a huge investment for like pretty low potential for payoff. We did it. Boom. Look at that. 900 wizard coins. That's incredible. I am the wizard lord. We're in. People have the initial hype will uh, will quit. I mean, yeah. Um, you definitely need to have a lot of content. There needs to be some kind of endgame loop to it. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, we don't even... Look, we'll have to know if Guild Wars 3 is even going to exist, right? Like, we don't know if they'll actually end up finishing or releasing the game. Play Reaper. Hello, Edgy Meme Bear. Welcome. Yeah, yeah realistically, I don't think that the evidence points anywhere. Uh, I, If you want my honest opinion, I think a remaster doesn't make sense, and I also don't think Guild Wars 3 makes sense. They're both bizarre moves either way that I I wouldn't make them uh, if if I was uh, the company to be honest yeah want to load this here on YouTube I mean I stream it live on YouTube so it's actually already there Yeah. Internal name. I mean, it could be an internal name, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, it's... They said Guild Wars 3. I'm just not sure if Guild Wars 2 Remastered is going to generate a lot of hype, to be perfectly honest with you. Like, why create something new that's going to mostly appeal to the players you already have. I thought like the point of releasing a new game is to get new players. I just don't think a Guild Wars 2 remaster would really attract a lot of new players. Guild Wars 1 remastered would? Nah, I don't think so. I think they've kind of missed the boat on that. Like, um, as much as I hate to say it, Blizzard beat them to it. I think all of the classic MMO players are playing WoW Classic and old school RuneScape. So it's like Blizzard and Jagex. I feel like that have pretty that pretty locked down. Final Fantasy did it. Yeah, but the circumstance of Final Fantasy is totally different. Like that game was legit like fucking dog shit, right? And then they fixed it. Um, so I feel like that's like a very... Di Ooh, fucking hell. Get me out of here. It's a very different scenario, I feel like, with um, uh, with uh, with that one. Really are jaded? Wait, wait. What, what are you? What are you talking about? Like, what do you? How am I jaded? I don't. I don't think that. 
giving Guild Wars 2, like, prettier graphics is going to be, like, an insane thing. People want something new. They want a newer mode. There's a reason why people want stuff like New World and Ashes of Creation, right? Like, saying, oh, yeah, we made our game look prettier. Like, I don't think anyone really cares that much. Like, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Counter-Strike 2 had, like, 2 million concurrent players. Um when it relaunched. Yeah, but that game is already fucking massive. Like, people are gonna play that game no matter what. Um, in that case. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, again, like, I, I don't think you can really compare, like, CS2 to this. I, I think it's also it's a different game, right? Yeah, it's not an MMO, and I think it is a different game. I, I think that there's some carryover between the two, but isn't it actually, like, mechanically different as well? Uh, to an extent? It's like gameplay changes, no? Yeah. But, yeah. Um, CS2. I mean, yeah, CS2 did replace it, yeah. yeah. Action commerce is I mean, how am I supposed to know? Ah. Yeah. Yours UI is terrible? I mean, yeah, better UI would be nice for sure. Um... Using the game as a cash flow move until the next game wouldn't make sense. I mean, it would make sense if it's going to be a five-year-plus project, or like a seven-year project. Like, you're going to need money for seven years. If you need a cash flow project for seven years, then it does. Guild Wars 3 is actually the ability to turn blue off. Well, they already added that. So I guess Guild Wars 3 is already released. I mean, who knows? I'm not saying it's that impossible. Um, to be honest, Gil um, the, the reason I view Guild Wars 2.5 as the most boring thing that could happen from my perspective. Because if it's Guild Wars 2.5, then the game isn't going to change. Uh, and I guess that's also why I'm less interested in talking about it. Because Guild Wars 2.5 means that I'm still going to be playing WoW, not Guild Wars. Uh, which is not... That's not enough to make me excited. Like, a, a, a game that is a good game, looking a little prettier, it, it, it ain't going to cut it, right? Like, it's... That's that's not good enough for me. I don't, I don't want that. Like, I want a new game... Um, and, yeah, Guild Wars 2.5 just isn't interesting to me whatsoever. I, I don't care about that. Yeah. And also, I feel like Guild Wars 2.5 would be really weird, because I think to unfuck the game, you'd have to fundamentally change some stuff. They wouldn't want to keep boons in the same state they're in now. They wouldn't want to keep gearing in the same state it is now. They wouldn't want to keep... Um, progression in the same way it is right now. They wouldn't want to keep, like, currencies and the economy in the same state it is right now. And at that point, you've made a new game, right? Like, of all of the things that you could do to kind of, um, all the things that you'd want to change in Guild Wars 2.5, you've just made a new game at this point, right? Like, there's, there's so many things that you'd want to change fundamentally, uh, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, the complexity. To be honest, um, I'm a little bit blackpilled on the complexity thing. Like, World of Warcraft is more complex mechanically than Guild Wars 2. Um, maybe even to the point of being a little bit too much. You've got to keep track of, like, 17 different fucking procs while you're playing your class, uh, most of the time. Um, and to be honest, I don't even think it's really negative. Like, most people just kind of press their buttons and it looks kind of cool and they have fun. I don't really think, like, games being complex is, like, a huge deal, to be honest. It isn't in WoW. I don't think it really is in, in Guild Wars either. It'd be pretty much a different game. You have the content of Guild Wars, which I think is big. Well, I mean, I feel... 
No, no, I, I don't think so. Like, if you're talking relaunch, then you're gonna- you're kind of shackled to Guild Wars 2. Right? Like, you're- you are held down to Guild Wars 2 in an extent. Like, you- you- you know, unless you fundamentally change the game, yeah. Like, it's gonna be the same shit. It's like open world PvE stuff, like story, strike missions, fractals, and world versus world. Like, yeah, if they remaster the game, they're gonna be shackled to those systems. They're not gonna redo them from the ground up. Uh, only to the world, not the systems. Then, again, we're not talking about Guild Wars 2.5 anymore. We're talking about Guild Wars 3 um, at that stage. Like, yeah, if we're only keeping the world, but we're, re we're literally changing everything else about the game, congratulations, you've made Guild Wars 3, right? Like, I, I feel like that's no longer a remaster. Like, if we completely change the game fundamentally in every single way, then, yeah, I mean, I, it, it's, it's not, it's not going to be that. Has he walked backwards into it, but not using action mode? Funny enough, you can't do this in action mode, Canny Devourer. If you do this, um, uh, this doesn't work. I'll actually briefly demonstrate this. Uh, this is actually a non-action camera uh, exclusive. Uh, if you try and do this in action mode, you'll notice that what actually happens is you actually backpedal, right? Like this. You actually backpedal. Um, this is actually a non-action cam exclusive. You can only do this while attacking, like this, using abilities, uh, without using action cam. You can't do that with action cam. But yeah, it's using about face. It's the about face in-game setting combined with free camera. Ah. Pew. Boom. What should the new races be? Um, I don't know. I mean, probably reduce the amount. Just like the same, you get the combat system with its problem fix. You would have the story to streamline like modern. Yeah, but I mean, that's my conception of Guild Wars 3, Nanny. Right? So maybe there's some overlap in what we're talking about here. But if you're saying Guild Wars 2.5 is fully remastered combat, fully remastered systems, right? It's just that somehow the content carries over. Like, I don't know, it's Guild Wars 3 uh, at this point. And also, I, I think it's very difficult to do that because those two things are kind of like intrinsically linked to an extent, right? Like, like how would you separate some of these systems from the content? It's going to be pretty non-trivial to do that, right? Why is my about face on my whole camera? It's because about face in this game is scuffed. Um, you need to hold left click and then about face. Otherwise, uh, this will happen like that. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. You have to be a little bit careful with it. The, the sequencing is like this. Left click, about face, uh, and then right click to turn around again. And then you can repeat that process. There's actually a slight window where if you do it too fast, it will still fuck you as well, by the way. Just you'll get used to it. It would be the best case scenario. Uh, I don't think so. I think best case scenario is something totally new and exciting. Um, I, I think that um, innovation is what's, is what's going to be exciting. I don't think more of the same is the best case scenario. Give Guild Wars 1 a uh, player twist? Nah, uh, Guild Wars 1, to be honest, it's, it, it hasn't aged super well, uh, to be honest. It's definitely a fun game, but I don't think it would, um, I don't think people would really want that in a modern MMO. Yeah. Uh. Why doesn't back, uh, why doesn't backpedal just enable about face? Well, because there are some times that you do want to backpedal, right? Um, like for example, some abilities require you to face your target. Like if I wanted to do an Axe 2, uh, if I about face, it would cancel the Axe 2. So I might want to be backpedaling while Axe 2-ing someone or focus 5-ing someone, for example. Uh, but other times, maybe I'd want to do this, right? I can run away from my target while casting Unholy Feast, or I can about face while casting Gravedigger, or I can about face while casting Nightfall. So they, there actually are two use cases where you would... There, there are situations where backpedaling is correct, and there are situations where you want to about face with abilities that, um, you know, work slightly differently. So there's like a couple of different, you know, and you can, you know, play around with skills in your class to realize where sometimes you are going to want to backpedal. Sometimes you are going to want to use about face uh, in, in the game. Do you think innovation as opposed to sticking with what the players know is really the best solution? People don't like change. Um, 
I think if you want to make a new MMO, you probably have to do something new. Because, funnily enough, it, it, it's because I think the MMO scene is actually quite strong right now. I am, um, you know, I, I do find it funny. Everyone's saying that MMOs are dead. I completely disagree with that. Like, if I think about what MMOs are good right now, Guild Wars 2 is good, WoW Retail is good, WoW Classic is good, WoW Vanilla is good, Final Fantasy is good, RuneScape is good, uh, and you can go down the list, actually. MMOs are actually good. If you want to create a brand new game, um, you're going to have to really convince people that your game is worth playing. Like, you're not going to be able to just do that randomly. You're going to need something special if you want to actually attract people to play your new MMO. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, new and bad it is still bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have clarified. When I was talking uh, about them making a new game, uh, I meant it had to be good. Uh, I'm sorry that you interpreted me saying that, oh, if they make a new game that's dog shit, people will play it. I, I, yeah, I, I clearly missed the mark on that. Yes. No, yeah, obviously it has to be good. You can't just release a, a, a game that has new ideas that's dog shit, obviously. Yeah, that's obviously not going to work. Do you think Guild Wars 3 needs a gear treadmill? Do you reckon they go for the flat model again? Oh, they'll definitely go horizontal. Um, unless they wanted to have a game for a different audience and Guild Wars 2 continues as the horizontal experience, that's also a possibility. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I think they'll stay horizontal. Uh, I think that's kind of pr pretty iconic to the Guild Wars brand. Yeah. Diagonal progression. Guild Wars 2 with new raids will be the dream. Uh, there's one thing that's very likely. I think they'll, they will they probably won't go in that direction. Uh, Guild Wars 2 is going to struggle to compete with existing raid games, to be honest. They just don't have the content. The issue is content, guys. Anet can't output the content. Like, uh, I always give this example because it's a good one. WoW releases more content in a single season than Guild Wars 2 does in four and a half years. So, basically, six months of WoW is four and a half years of Guild Wars 2 content. And that's generous, by the way. Um, it's more than that, realistically. Um, so, the, the issue is just volume. Like, you're going to lose um, to... Uh, to to uh to wow basically uh so it's, it's very hard to compete with uh the the raid scene in other games yeah. subscription style yes or no i would prefer it but it definitely won't be a sub game no uh, there's no way arena will do a sub mo personally i like the sub model i know not everyone does that's fair um but uh yeah it won't happen it'll, it'll be um uh buy to play mtx Guild Wars 2 kicks WoW's ass is why we're all here. I mean, I prefer WoW right now um, in terms of, you know, the, the overall gameplay experience. But Guild Wars 2 is definitely a good game too, for sure, yeah. Uh, I also don't think they should add more races. If anything, they should have less playable races in Guild Wars 3, to be honest. I think it's one of the things that's really screwed them over when it comes to making cosmetics and uh, releasing a lot of... Uh, releasing content, ultimately. It's a huge amount of work uh, to do the playable races and probably didn't really help the game that much. Ah. Incredible. Indeed. 
Guild Street wouldn't have PvP. To be, I, I, I mean, you know, it's it's kind of a two thing thing here. Because on the one hand, boys, I, that that would be my initial thought as well. Like they would just do um, PVE and World Boss would kill structured PVP. It's clearly the game mode that Arena really is not investing in in Guild Wars Two. It's 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 fucking dead. Let's be honest, right? Um, so yeah, I think that would make sense. But the thing is. I think the concern, what Delta raises is really relevant. Like, if they do World versus World, that is weird because it's going to directly compete with um, Guild Wars 2 World versus World. So it almost kind of mandates that they have to come up with something different um, in, in some sense, right? Like, they need to do... Um, they're going to have to come up with something else, uh, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Blizzard is not a, not a good company. But, I mean, it's not as bad as it once was, I guess, which is good news. Uh, you don't have to play the game full-time you don't want to do so. Uh, there's not a single MMO where you have to play the game full-time uh, to experience all of the content. Every single MMO is insanely casual-friendly right now, all of them. Uh, there's probably some exceptions in some, like, Korean grind MMOs, I guess. Uh, but all Western MMOs are all omega casual-friendly. Um, in Guild Wars 3 PvP, in Guild Wars 3 PvP is already a complete package they can port without doing it. Yeah, but like, g g PvP is not coming back, Nanny. In Guild Wars 2. It's not. It it's not. Um, they can't, they, they, they can't maintain it now. They're not going to be able to maintain it, um, like, just because it's Guild Wars 2.5 now. Ah. You can say it's there, and the we, I mean, you can do that now with Guild Wars 2, right? Like, you know, it, it's here. It, it exists. It does exist. Why waste resources on making a new story when you can make the Elder Dragon story better? Why make a new Dungeons when you can rework Fractals? Why make a new open world when you can improve the current open world? Because all of those things that you're saying is making a new game. Um, that, that's the thing. Like, I don't disagree, but you're, you're making a new game. You're doing WoW Cataclysm at that point. But, you, you know, you're making a new game. You are going to fundamentally change Guild Wars 2 if you wanted to resolve all of those issues. Which I, I think that, that you just, you know, it's, it's, it's Guild Wars 3 at that point. Ah. And yeah, like also when it comes to a development perspective, like reworking everything to this extent is, is going to be basically like doing it from scratch. Um, that, you know, there's a reason why, you know, they keep moving on. They don't go back and, like, fix old raids and fix old content. It's because, you know, it, it, well, it's why they don't touch dungeons, right? It's because, like, actually untangling that mess is going to be the same thing as, like, making it from scratch. I'm not saying it's impossible. I think that on it, I think um, the arguments that you and Delta are making here, they make sense to me. It's just that I don't, I don't really want them to do that. I, I don't think, but look, I don't think Guild Wars 2.5 makes sense. To be honest, I don't really think Guild Wars 3 makes sense either. Like we're kind of argue, we're both, we're arguing over theories that I don't really think either of them make a lot of sense uh, if we really get right down to it. In 12 years, Guild Wars 3 makes sense. I don't agree with that. Um, like, WoW has been around for 20 years. There's no WoW 2. Ah. Do you think World Versus would ever be improved if they gave a gear system closer to the PvP? No, I think the PvE gear system is fun in World Versus World.
Not good bosses are fucked up. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess that dungeon is one of the, I guess, the new ones, so the tuning is probably going to be a little bit off. I guess all the tuning on all of them will be a little bit off, to be honest. Uh, make a single-player RPG on the side. Well, yeah, that's the thing. That would make more sense to me, Nanny. Like, if it was a single-player game, like a companion game to, um, uh, to uh, Guild Wars 2, that would make more sense to me. Like, making a new MMO, either 3 or 2.5, doesn't make a lot of sense to me, uh, realistically. Um, so, yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know. I, I think if it, the, a more sensible decision would definitely be like a co-op style game. Like, you know, an RPG nonetheless, but a co-op game rather than an MMO um, that would kind of be in direct competition with, you know, the current version of the game. And that got cancelled? Yeah, I mean, realistically, most game dev projects will never see the light of day. Uh, that's kind of the nature of it. Like, all of the Anet stuff that just, you know, didn't exist. Yeah. Yes. Uh, with MMOs and single players. Yeah, maybe. I can see that happening. Have the funds due to the, the sub model. Uh, to be clear, MTX are more lucrative than subs. Like, that's just a fact. Um, so it's not due to the sub model. It's all about player volume. Blizzard have the money to do stuff like that because WoW has 7.5 million subscribers. They're making a disgusting amount of money every... Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot. Lot of money a month. They're farming. They're farming, guys. They are. But yeah, I mean, MTX makes you more money, obviously. More money per player, right? It, it generates you more revenue per individual player. Because the, the games are ass. I mean, hell. I mean, WoW is good right now uh, to play. I mean, people like Hearthstone too, I guess. Because Diablo 4 hasn't worked out super well. Yeah. Yeah, and that is just the sub fee. People fucking buy gold like crazy in that game. People love the WoW token. People love the WoW token. Yeah. Incredible. Didn't cost us to make uh, together. Well, I mean, it, it, was, it was probably pretty expensive, right? You know, they definitely, they tried. Didn't really work out, I guess. I mean, yeah, they probably made profit on it too. I mean, dude, like, people hate Diablo Immortal, but holy shit, imagine how much money Blizzard made on that. It must be disgusting. It, it doesn't even bear thinking about, guys, like how much money they made off that game. Goodness me. Goodness gracious me. Yeah. Um, but it's amazing they made a sub fee box prize M pay to win MTX game and their players eat it up. Yeah, it's almost like you're wrong about that. Like, do you ever wonder that you're incorrect about the game? And that you're incorrect? You know, you're, like, the, the criticisms you're leveling here are not based in reality? Because surely, if the game was really like that, uh, people wouldn't put up with it. Uh, they wouldn't as well. Of course it isn't. I think I'm gonna die. Oh. Yeah. Ah! Hmm. Yeah. playing Guild Wars One. Guild Wars One's a fun game. I still log into that game occasionally. It's fun to play. Yeah. Yeah. Masters liking Guild Wars Two. You're not. Guild Wars is a great game. Uh, this guys. You know, I love talking about games. It's fucking impossible. Like, the moment I start to say, you know what, guys? I actually like more than one game. People are like, well, actually, you know, maybe I'm just a masochist for liking this game. Or like, well, actually, that game sucks. Like, guys, I like more than one game. What are we, what are we, what are we talking about here? I like WoW and I like Guild Wars. I don't understand. What's the, what's the issue? 
How is that? Why is that an illegal move these days? This guy's all over the place. Yeah. Oh. Ow. Oh shit. The range is on me. Oh! Get him! He got reaped! Ah! Oh! Dude, I don't think I can finish him! No! Run, boys! Oh, I'm dead! Unfortunate. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. I imagine the game saying this relevant after 12 years of being bad. How does that happen? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. I ordered a kebab and it arrived. It's heckin' massive. Holy shit. That's pretty hype. That is hype. Yeah. How come Shrive Fighter doesn't auto summon? Yo! That would be cool, actually. You, like, execute them. With, but. Gah! You just execute them. That would be big, actually. Yeah. Do you Easter eggs? I do have some Easter eggs, yes. Feels good. Wasn't an Easter egg hunt, but you know what? I can roleplay. Do you think Ain't it will be able to make a, a sewing profession that allows players to design their own skins? And that would be kind of interesting, actually. I think there are some games that have this. You can kind of like create like a an in-game billboard or something like that, or design your own custom guild emblem. Uh, I imagine there's some some room for abuse there, obviously. But I think some games kind of do stuff like this. Um, would be interesting. But yeah, like on the, the the Guild Wars 2.5 versus Guild Wars 3 thing, to be honest, who the hell knows? Like, if if I had to, you know what, guys? I'm gonna look. Th this is not even a Doomer take, by the way. If you want my honest opinion on this, I think the most likely outcome is that Guild Wars 3 doesn't see the light of day. Um, I think Dev Hell is quite likely because I think all of the questions that we're asking ourselves right now about it doesn't make sense. How would they make this good? How would they make Guild Wars 2.5 worth doing? How would they make Guild Wars 3 distinct so that it doesn't compete? How would they have enough content? How would they release enough content? I, I think Anet will be thinking about these same questions like during its development cycle as well. I mean, it's, it's gonna be a bit of a rough one. Um, it's very difficult to... I think it's very difficult to justify a Guild Wars 3 or a Guild Wars 2.5. If I'm being honest with you. And it's going to take a long time. Uh, within the constraints of Guild Wars 2. I mean, th the difference is that I, the way I see it is that what you're talking about when it comes to Guild Wars... Um, Guild Wars 2.5 is Guild Wars 3. Like, I, I don't really see a particularly relevant distinction between the two. Um, outside of, like... Uh, and also, I would say, if you wanted to kind of, like, keep all of the old content, um, it would just be so much work to do that, that you might as well just make a new game. Uh, and, and also, it's more than that as well. Like, you are gonna get held back. Like, if you want to port over Guild Wars 2 Open World then it has to be the same as Guild Wars 2 Open World. Like, you, you, you... Let's say that you wanted to change how events work, right? And make it better. How? How do you do that um, and still keep the old content? You want to fundamentally change how the system works. How? How does that... How are you going to do that? Uh, or you want to... You know... And when it comes to stuff like PvP, you want to keep PvP around... That's fucking free, um, to be honest. Like, it, building the system that does that is not hard. Um, PvP, from a development perspective, is not complex. Um, I mean, here's a weird thing. Uh, as part of Masters of the Arena, me and another developer kind of reverse-engineered how PvP works. Like... 
like, the motor overlay simulates Guild Wars 2 PvP. It, it kind of... It simulates the game in a lot of ways. And I'm not saying that as some kind of a crazy programming flex. It is one of the projects that uh, I, I am... Uh, most happy with actually in terms of like what what we ended up creating but guild wars 2 pvp as a concept is not complex or rather the system um that's attached to it it's you know it, it's just a rule set it's like a list of rules that's what pvp is didn't that project almost break you uh only because of the way i was forced to do it like, um, I was basically spending 8 to 10 hours a day in a custom arena, resetting it over and over again, um, to make it work right. Because I could only test stuff like, um, Stillness and Tranquility. Also, Stillness and Tranquility are very badly coded, by the way. Really badly coded, that's another thing. But, they're very poorly coded, and I had to test them by waiting for them to spawn every single time in a game. Um... And I had to reset the arena every single time I wanted to test it. Uh, so basically, every time I wanted to test a, a, a bug fix, it was like a five minute wait uh, to test one bug fix. And oh boy, did that take a long time. It was definitely the closest I have ever been to quitting streaming. It, I was like, I, 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 don't, I cannot do this. It, it just didn't end. It was also kind of like the, um, it was crunch as well. It was, it was basically my experience of crunch in development because it took a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought, ah, I've got a month to do this. It's not a big deal. I can have it done and prepped, um, by motor. Uh, no, I was literally still doing new builds and fixes during the tournament itself, actually, uh, of the, of the project. It, it really, really was not good. Uh, it just, it, it degenerated into the most horrific crunch I have ever had. It was absolutely soul-destroying, to be honest. Yeah. But that's, uh, another topic entirely. You got granted access to the source code? N no! It would have been way easier if I had. Uh, but... <laughs> no! <laughs> no, we had to kind of observe it and figure out how it works. Yeah. Have the cuts from it combined maps, they're pretty much the same one. Yeah, it's just, like, stuff like that ends up kind of shackling the game, in my opinion. Like, and, and also World vs. World. How would you port over World vs. World? Um, because there are some things you'd want to change about it. You'd probably want to change... You'd want to probably do entirely new maps, right? Because Guild Wars 2 World vs. World maps are not designed um, with mounts and gliding included. What about masteries? Do you backport every mastery in the entire game into Guild Wars 2.5? What happens then? What if you don't do that? Are you going to delete the masteries and then some of them just don't exist anymore? Like... Like, oh no, I've only just started thinking about this, right? And like... I feel like Guild Wars 2.5 is such a nightmare. Like, what do you do? Like, do you keep bouncy mushrooms? What about the way station? Like, what about the Soto Masteries? What about the fact that, um, do you need to have all the expansions to access the Masteries? How do you handle that? When you buy Guild Wars 2.5, do you get everything previously baked into that? Like, I don't know. Like, what about all this shit? What about this shit? What about this shit? What about this shit? Do you remove the Mystic Forge because the Mystic Forge sucks? What about crafting, right? What about all of this? Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I I'm not here to, like, shut this down and say there's no way they're going to do this. But, poof, I, I mean, Guild Wars 2.5 would just be... You'd be changing everything about the game, but you'd still be shackled to some of the game. Like, why not just break free and make something new? And if it's just an engine upgrade, I don't know. Is that really exciting? Like, all we're doing is making the game look prettier? Eh, I mean, I don't know. Is that good enough? Is that good, is that good enough? Like, maybe for existing players, that would be kind of hype. Um, I mean, maybe? 
I mean, the entire thing is scuffed, right? Like, I think either way, it's not a it's not a clean situation, one way or the other. I Because, I, again, if I was going to critique Guild Wars 3, we go, well, how does it not cannibalize the Guild Wars 2 audience? How is it going to release enough content? How a, a Guild, Are they going to maintain Guild Wars 2 and Guild Wars 3 at the same time? Like, are they going to are they going to add PvP? What about World vs. World? Are they going to do Open World 2? What does the game look like? Like, like... I, I know I've been, I've also been critiquing the Guild Wars 2.5, but I can do a million critiques for Guild Wars 3 as well, like, of issues that I think exist with it conceptually. I think there's a whole bunch of issues with Guild Wars 2.5 conceptually, and with Guild Wars 3 conceptually. Uh, like, for sure, it's just, I look at it and go like, I don't know. Yo, TGI in the chat. Ah, Guild Wars 2 looks fine as it is. I think it looks all right. I think graphically it's fine. Yeah. Remove all the nonsense content. This is the pad up the features of the release and have the entire game in a bundle. Yeah, that, but the thing is, that's kind of like a, a, a giga risky financial move, no? Um, like, they're, they already won't, you know, they, they've already still sell all of the game's content previously, right? Because they, they're going to make money off that when players join the game. And basically pay the box price, right? People will slowly pay for the box price and kind of work their way through it. Uh, and, you know, go through it bite size. But, I mean, oh man. Like, you bundle all that for free. I mean, oof. That is, like, very risky, I feel like, financially. Way less risky. And doesn't completely go right. You don't run your company if it goes wrong like Guild Wars 3 would. I mean, yeah, it's definitely safer for sure. I think, Derek, you're right there. Like, Guild Wars 2 is safer. But I also think it, it's, it has the potential to, I feel like, just be like a money pit, right? At the same time. Um, because, yeah, sure, they can they can do a remaster of the game, but are you really generating a lot of revenue from that? Um, are you? I'm not sure if you get, like, a big revenue bump from that. Why not just keep selling Guild Wars 2 expansions? Because um, th those are doing really well, right? Like, Guild Wars 2, Guild Wars, uh, like, Soto did really well. Uh, I imagine the next expansion should probably do pretty well, too. Yeah. Mass improvement in content cadence. Thing is, I'm not gonna lie, mass improvement in content cadence, that is cope, guys. How many times have ArenaNet said, um, oh yeah, once we get our systems in order, we're going to make a shit ton of new content. I've heard that one before. I'm not totally sure if I'd buy that. Um, uh, from Guild Wars 2.5. Because bear in mind, if they make the game prettier, then Making assets is going to take a little bit longer, right? Uh, you know, it's going to take them... If they juice up the game, then it's potentially going to make things harder to actually develop. So you kind of end up with a net... You know, you break even right now. Because look, they are really struggling to make content right now, guys. Look, how long was the latest story episode? It was like an hour of gameplay tops. That's not me being an asshole and roasting. I'm pretty sure that's accurate. The latest story update was like an hour of gameplay to play through the story. And some of that was padded by doing open world. I don't object to that, by the way. Um, I actually like the idea of integrating the story into the open world because the stories are inherently interlinked. Um... Uh, you know, they, they are obviously inherently interlinked anyway, but they do not release a lot of content in this game, guys. They really don't. Guild Wars 2's biggest issue is content delivery. And maybe a new engine could help with that. Maybe it could. Maybe it wouldn't. I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I think it, it's not... I don't think it's a surefire thing. Money they save by doing mini expansions? Well, but yeah, I think that kind of ignores the opportunity cost, though, no? Like, what about the opportunity cost of basically, um, actually developing that anyway? Maybe they could have made more money by doing more Guild Wars 2 content, right? And, like, releasing more things and making a better version of Guild Wars 2. So I think, I think there's, like, it, it, I, I mean, it's, it's impossible to make these calls, right? Of course. It's impossible to make the calls. Hmm. Maybe they're bogged down by technical tech. Oh, they definitely are to an extent, yeah. Uh, the game is insanely bloated. Th this is actually a stark difference between, like, WoW and Guild Wars 2. WoW is very tight when it comes to its systems. Um, it's... 
Do your world quests. Do your M+. Plus, do your raid. Fucking enjoy it. Okay, it's, it's very, very streamlined. Like, WoW has a couple of ideas that it tries to do really well. And it focuses on those very, very heavily. And there's not a lot of fat on those systems. Right? They're very streamlined. There's no fluff. They, it's, it's very... Um, and it's actually funny because I think there's actually a really big downside to that. Like, World of Warcraft, retail that is, really doesn't play like an MMO to me. It's like um, a lobby game. It almost feels like Guild Wars 1 in a sense, actually. Or something like Destiny, I believe, kind of operates this way. It's... It's not really an MMO. It's uh, a online lobby simulator uh, for a variety of content. If you want the MMO experience, you kind of go for classic. Like classic WoW is um, uh, classic WoW is kind of like if you want the still the MMO vibe from World of Warcraft. Because uh, I spent time streamlining. Um, yeah, but they did say that Cataclysm wasn't worth it. Um, yeah. The game performs daily if you play. You know, this is... I'm actually going to say something, guys. People complaining about the engine in Guild Wars 2 means they have never played other MMOs. I think this is kind of a thing, actually. I think Guild Wars 2 players aren't MMO players. They're Guild Wars 2 players. Whereas I think people who play WoW and Final Fantasy are more MMO players who main World of Warcraft. Um, because trust me, absolutely not. The engine in WoW, it is like in terrible pain every day. It says, please, Blizzard, no more. Please, not another raid boss that spawns roots on every player's. I beg of you, please don't make me do a dragon riding raid boss, please. And then Blizzard says, yes, you will do it. You will do a dragon riding raid boss and you'll enjoy it as well. Yes, spawn the roots on every single player, do it. Spawn 20 roots now. And then when you break the roots, spawn 20 trees, do it. Yes, right, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I, I think the Guild Wars 2 engine's kind of okay. Like, the, the WoW engine is it just as scuffed, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> what a bad take. You didn't listen to me, M. Um, because that's not what people say. People think that Guild Wars 2's engine is, like, uniquely bad, right? I I'll spell it out for you, seeing as you missed it. Uh, but that's okay. Not all of us can understand spoken English. But I will help you. The implication that people make is that, ah, yes, the reason why WoW can make content and Guild Wars 2 can't is because Guild Wars 2's engine is uniquely bad, right? And that is the claim that I am refuting here. Um, I don't think that's actually the case, to be honest. I guarantee you that the Final Fantasy engine is a noodle um, and the WoW engine is probably held together with tape at this point. Um, like, is the Guild Wars 2 engine maybe a little bit more of a problem? Maybe? I don't know. Um, but in terms of performance, honestly, WoW in raids kind of performs worse than Guild Wars 2, if we're being honest, actually. Especially on really performance-intensive fights like Tindril. There's some really bad fucking performance on that fight when there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, I, I don't know, to be honest, uh, about that. Final Fantasy Monsters is fantastic. I'm sure it is, but it's also going to be held together with glue, right? Like, that is the, uh, that's the situation. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. How do you think Guild Wars 3 cares to Wolves or Blows without cannibalizing Guild Wars 2? Um, pff, that's a great question. It's a really good question. Um, and... They could either say, fuck it, we'll just port World vs. World over and make it, make, basically kill Guild Wars 2's World vs. World. Um, pff, I don't know. I don't know what they do. Or maybe they come up with a new idea, like a new version of World vs. World. I don't know. Yeah. 
Uh, you have to kill Guild Wars 2 if Guild Wars 3 is uh, also an MMO. Yeah, maybe that's the plan um, with that. Maybe they just want to sustain Guild Wars 2 and make it profitable for five years or seven years until they've, they've, they've made Guild Wars 3, right? It's possible. Because, you know, they, like, we're saying, but they're going sustainability mode on Guild Wars 2. Yeah, maybe they're doing seven more Guild Wars 2 X-Packs, and they're using that to fund Guild Wars 3, and then, boom, Guild Wars 3, here we go. It's possible. Yeah. Yeah. Modern tools, better documentation support. Yeah, probably would help a little bit. Oh, that's going to fly well with whales who invested so much money. Yeah, but that's the thing. This is what we talked about on Teton Delta. That's not important. If you're making a new game, you don't care about your existing players. You care about the new players. Who cares? There's a lot of whales out in the sea. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. There are... There are... Uh, there are seas full of whales lining up. For every new MMO project. I and mean, look at Stars isn't right, Delta. Or Ashes. Dude, a Ashes made millions on whales buying, like, the, you know, $1,000 pre order pack, right? Um, uh, uh, all this kind of stuff. Star Citizen has made what? Have they made a billion yet on Star Citizen? What's, what's the count of whales who have, like, whaled this game that doesn't even exist yet? How hard are people whale? Let me have a look. 600 mil? Yeah. They've made 600 mil off whales, right? Who, who want to play this new game um, that doesn't even exist. I mean, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of whales out there who are going to be willing to whale hard as fuck. Yeah. So I think, weirdly enough, that's kind of not a concern. Like, Guild Wars 2 and ArenaNet, meme it all you want, ArenaNet is a very well-established company. If they release a new game, people will be paying attention, absolutely. Like, people are going to look at Guild Wars 3, and yeah, you are going to have all the big streamers playing it. You are going to have the gaming media looking at it. ArenaNet is a major player in the MMO market. They're not Blizzard, but yeah, 100%. People will be watching um, when if Guild Wars 3 happens, 100%. By going off to say, let's WoW players. I don't think they'd go after WoW's player base. I think they'd continue to do the same thing of people who don't want to play WoW anymore. Uh, which, in my opinion, would be very smart. I think there's a lot of people out there like that. Or people who just want to play something that's different to WoW on the side. Only to risk air, I'll go back to WoW. Um, I mean, I feel like that's the risk with every MMO, including Guild Wars 2.5, though, no? Like, yeah, WoW kind of is the god emperor. Like, I know people hate that fact, but yeah, 7.5 million subs, there's no way around that. WoW is this kind of giant, well, sandworm that is sitting in the middle of the MMO industry and, and will devour you. Like, it will feast on you. Yeah. Uh, uh, Final Fantasy is square. Has the potential to take in others? I don't think it has that much of a potential to take in others, to be honest. Um, I, I don't think so. I mean, it will get some, obviously, but I don't think it will be like... I don't think it will be like a mega explosive thing, uh, to be honest. Because if they just remaster the game, it's not like Final Fantasy, right? Because I think people would go, Oh, but Final Fantasy did this and they, work and they did it really well. Yeah, but Final Fantasy... Didn't they, like, fundamentally change the direction of the game? There's no shot that they could maintain the Guild Wars 2 player base while also doing that in Guild Wars 2.5. Like, yeah, if they change nothing about the game, then yeah, the Guild Wars 2 players will buy it. W but maybe, right? Um, the Guild Wars 2 players are very cheap. They don't like the fact that Soto was $25, guys. Are they going to spend $40, maybe full price game? $30 on upgraded graphics? Dude, people in this game are cheap as fuck. I, pff, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And yeah, if they if they do a Final Fantasy, if they do a Realm Reborn, and they fundamentally change the direction of the game, then 
I don't know if you're gonna... I, I, I don't know, like, I feel like the existing Guild Wars 2 players are not gonna be happy about that, right? And also, here's the thing with relaunch. How do you do this? Like, do you think players from WoW are gonna go, I wanna get into Guild Wars 2, and then everyone around me is already full legendary. Like, the game is kind of already in a mature state. I think one of the things that people like about playing relaunched MMOs is that they're actually fresh, right? Like, everyone's starting from the same spot. Funnily enough, I actually think that was one of the issues that New World had, is that there was so much information about the game early on that it kind of meant that people started playing on a really uneven playing field, um, to be honest, uh, which is actually drove people away from the game, I, I, I think, actually. Um, was was part of that, and I think that the same would be the case with with Guild Wars 2.5. Is that are you going to reset everyone's progress? Absolutely not. Like people would fucking scream bloody murder about that. But then you're saying, "Hi, new players, come and play a game that's completely solved. Everyone knows everything about it." And also, oh yeah, people have got full legendary. I don't know. I felt like this is not a very attractive sales pitch, to be honest. Um, like, I want a fresh MMO, to be honest. Like, I'll say this, this is my perspective as well. If there was, like, a relaunch MMO, or like, oh yeah, we made it look all pretty now, but it's not fresh, to be honest, you've killed my interest. Like, I don't know if I really want to do that. Like, I want to play something new. I don't want to play, like, I want to go into uncharted territory. I don't want to play the same game that's just been made pretty and looks a little bit different now. I want something new. Give me something new. Uh, and I think that's where, I think a lot of MMO players are in that position right now. I think the the player base really craves something new in the industry. That's why everyone always suckers on to all these projects like New World and B Bless, right? And all this kind of crazy stuff. It's because people are looking for something new, a new and fresh experience. Yeah, New World launch was fun because it, it was like a brand new thing. Uh, it was a brand new game. I think it lessened by all of the betas, to be honest. Um, because, like, everyone already knew, oh, yeah, you want to pick this, you want to go here, right? All that kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Riot realized this. Riot realized that they weren't doing anything special. They weren't doing anything interesting. Um, that's basically, the, you know, read between the lines. That's what they were saying, right? Um, that, that's what they were saying is that, yeah, like, we didn't do anything new, so we went back to the drawing board. I, I think it's kind of, it's hard. I mean, look, I think... This is what I have been saying. I don't think Guild Wars 3 is all sunshine and rainbows. I think both projects, 2.5 or 3.0, oosh. I mean, I wouldn't want to be developing that, to be honest. Like, it's oof, not easy to make either of those work. It's very difficult to make any of those make sense, I think. Um, it's tough. It's very tough. I, I, I don't envy ArenaNet's position if it comes to either doing Guild Wars 3 as in a totally new game or Guild Wars 2.5. It ain't going to be easy to, to pull that off. Um, and, you know, Aina is a good developer. I trust them. I think they know what they're doing, but it's certainly not a, a you know, a, an easy road to, to uh, overcome. Yeah. You know, it's actually interesting. Um... I did a bit, I got curious actually, and maybe this guy is like fully coped out, but I, I do know this guy, a guy called Baggins TV. He's like one of the biggest, but probably the biggest new world content creator, I think. Um, and he, he kind of made a response to all of like the absolute despair in the new world community. And, and he actually basically said that it's not that bad. Maybe he's just coped out, but he seems to be the kind of guy who, I don't know, he, he seemed like he was pretty well established in the community, so... Surely he can't just be fully coked out and has no idea what he's talking about, right? Because, um, yeah, I was really interested, actually, because, like, the you know, there's a lot of, like, Giga Doom. Like, you know, the game is fucking over. New World is dead. Um, all that kind of stuff. But he seemed to have a slightly different take on that. But I guess I need to do some, like, new fucking... Uh, I need to do some, like, more research or whatever about this. Yeah, that was the one thing that definitely was a little bit of an oof. He showed that some servers basically have, like, only a couple of hundred people online at them on peak, which is pretty rough. Uh, but some of them, like, still basically fill up and go to, like, 1.6k, fill up to 2k, right? All that kind of stuff. Oh, no. New world? I mean, 11,500 people logged on for an MMO is... It's not bad, honestly. That's not a dead game. 11k people, that, that still puts you probably in, like, the top 10... For MMOs, um, globally, I would say, probably in that sort of region. 
But I think their I think their expansion just flopped completely. Like people really liked their new map they did. Um, you know, they they people liked their Brimstone Sands update. But I don't know. I ha I'd have to do the research on this to be honest. But um, uh, their expansion just did not work. Right, uh, for whatever reason, they did not get a big player resurgence. They got a really big popularity bump. I think they had 133,000 concurrence with the Brimstone Sands update, but they did not replicate that whatsoever with their expansion. Like, it was not even close. I think they only got up to like 50k or like half of their, um, new map peak or something like that it just did not land again i'd have to do research to because uh, i'll admit this i'm not educated on that i don't know what happened or why that was i think darren's might know actually because darren's played the expansion um I, I i saw him complaining about mounts and that system just not being particularly good to be honest and just like a lack of content i think um but again i'd have to do research to actually comment on that to be honest because i haven't played the game for a while yeah yeah Season 5 new combat update. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, maybe I'll pair, uh, maybe I'll do some research on that and, and see what's going on uh, with the game. What you kind of think about you to uh, pay to transfer? You had 100 people on it. Yeah, that sounds like very poor management um, there. But yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah, I mean, for me, like that, uh, my, my, the, my big takeaway from Baggins' video is that he agrees the game has a massive content issue. Um, that the game has a really big problem with simply just not releasing enough stuff and major content drought issues. And I mean, I mean, yeah. It is what it is. Like, apparently the guy, Baggins also said that he's got some kind of insider knowledge and um, basically Lumberyard does, does not play nice with MMO development. And that's not a surprise to me. That like That is almost certainly true, by the way, because Star Citizen... Um, ran into this as well. Um, Chris Roberts wanted to make his game super, super pretty. So he did um, Star Citizen in Cry Engine, right? Which is the prettiest game engine ever, guys. Oh my god. Um, and... That game, that engine, is essentially the same thing that Amazon is using for New World. New World is using Lumberyard, which is essentially a modified version uh, of CryEngine, which has now been further modified. And I believe it's called the Azoth engine now. But it's basically, it's two steps down, right? It's two steps removed from CryEngine. Um, and that lines up with everything we know about CryEngine. It just does not work well with kind of multiplayer experiences, to be honest. Uh, especially not MMOs. So it's not a surprise that they're having a huge amount of difficulty with um with content releases and actually just making stuff uh in the game but yeah it is what it is it is what it is yeah i'm kind of getting owned by inventory here i'm gonna i'm not gonna pretend that i'm not i'm getting crushed i'm getting outplayed Look, I've got 193 Grandmaster Marchers. Maybe I should trade these in for 32 slot bags. That wouldn't be a bad idea, would it, actually? Wouldn't be a bad idea at all. Guild Wars 2 playbase is bigger than 11k. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. Um, Guild Wars 2 is, is definitely... Like, a while ago, I think New World was actually comparable to Guild Wars 2. Because New World was sitting at around, like, um, like 30k, 40k. I'd say that's probably comparable to Guild Wars 2 in terms of peak online concurrence. It's... Probably in, in, in that sort of region for sure. But 11k? Nah, not even close. Like, Guild Wars 2 is much bigger than that. Guild Wars 2 is probably in, like, the 50k concurrent users, I want to say. Like, in that sort of area. Yeah. Yeah. World vs. Risa Day across the server should have 10k players. Well, I mean, there aren't that many World vs. World servers. And there's only, uh, like, 200 people per map. So, uh, not that many, to be honest. Lord of the Rings will see on Azoth Engine. Yeah, this is kind of like corporate meddling, to be honest. Um, this is like some corporate meddling shit uh, that, that has gone on. Uh, like, Amazon is obsessed with making uh, the Lumberyard engine work, and it's basically turned New World into an unbelievably expensive tech demo, which, to be honest, is just not really what we want to see. Uh, not good, if you ask me. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. 
I'm gonna dodge at the oh, that's no good, is it? We need to go up the stairs here to get away. Uh, Ten-year-old gave this to be five to ten percent. Uh, I think you might be surprised actually. I feel like Steam is maybe more significant than people make out. Maybe not anymore so much actually, but I think when Steam dropped, it was pretty significant, right? People crunched the player hours thing and how many how many hours people played, and Steam was a pretty significant increase in hours played. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't. Im I, I would not expect it to be any more than twenty-five percent. Twenty-five percent at the absolute maximum. Probably a lot more like 15%, 20% maximum. Uh, but yeah, it could it could be as low as 10% for sure. It's very hard to say, but yeah, it, I'd say like 10 to 20% is what Steam is of the player base. They're fucking brutal. Wait, no, I actually haven't. Oh, I, maybe I saw a clip of this actually, Darren's, where um, th this is like... It made me want to pull my eyes out. Like the the big, I can't remember his name, but the big game director guy, he was like, yeah, we'd love to tell you guys more, but we can't. It's like, bro. What? I mean, I don't know. It seems like they're getting corporate, to be honest. It feels like they're getting corporate pretty hard. Um, realistically. Uh, it sucks, but I think Amazon is tentacling them. Yeah. It is what it is. Corpa! Yeah. Leveling and gearing is a lot of fun. Yeah, this is exactly what uh, Baggins said. He said that basically the issue with New World is the zero end game. Like, doing like all of the progression stuff is actually really fun. Like, the combat is cool, the exploration is cool. Uh, like, getting the gear and stuff is kind of nice. But then you get to the end and there's nothing there. Um, nothing there to do. I mean, stuff, I mean, look, some of the stuff he was talking about, there has never been a new map for Outpost Rush. That is insane, actually. Holy shit. That is ridiculous. What was it, do you think Raiders are in 2024? Uh, I, I could see people who, people who do at least one raid boss per year, 5 to 10%, I'd say. People who do at least um, uh, one... Uh, well, if, does that include strikes? Does that include strikes, Delta? Because if it includes strikes, I'd probably say it's more like 25%? People who do at least one strike mission a year. Uh, and show up on a log. I think strikes are actually surprisingly popular. I think a lot of players do strikes. Yeah, I, I could imagine one in four players doing a strike mission at least once per year and showing up on a log. Um, yeah. 25% of the population. And try to... Dude, I love it. I love complaining. Let's shit talk all the MMOs, man. Let's do it. Seasonal characters would be very good change for the game. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they really fucked up. That, because apparently... Um, they released, like, the the worm boss, right? They released that worm boss in Brimstone Sands, but it doesn't drop relevant gear anymore because they did vertical prog. Oh, man, that's a mistake. Um, I think you, you're kind of on the side there, to be honest, actually, Angels. Man, that would be interesting, like a seasonal MMO, a bit more like PoE. That could be really interesting. Um, if they, if they had gone for that, um... I think Vertical Prog in New World was a huge mistake, to be honest. That that was a huge mistake they made with that game. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, angels. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. The, the, yeah, I'm, I, I, well. <laughs> uh, have you read management chat, by the way? <laughs> uh, I did, yeah. yeah. I've just been... I'm very disconnected from everyone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Oh. I, I, I Honestly, I, I've just been playing yeah, yeah. One New World. Oh yeah, he's been. I, I'm, I'm calling Darren's as well. I'm bringing Darren's in. Darren's. Also, oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. I'm nice. calling. I'm getting because he's also. I think he's played New World a while ago. Here we go. Let's fucking go. Yo. Yo. Let's see if Darren's picks up the phone. I'm calling him. Maybe he's got me blocked. Who knows? Uh, I think he's got me blocked for He probably does actually. Yeah. Yo, Darren's. What's going on, bro? I'm fucked. Well, what do you what do you mean? You mean you're fucked? 
Oh wait, I can't even listen. What? Is what? <laughs> is he is he dead? Wait, what's happened here? I don't know what's going on. Oh, there we go. Okay. But yeah, what, what's um, Hello? what what do you what what's the yeah actually, okay, and, there we actually go. I'm back. just straight up because you've been playing New World Angels. Give me an update, yeah. actually. Like, tell me. I want to hear it from the source, from a player who's not like an unhinged Reddit lunatic or a coked out maniac. What? Give me the real talk. What is the situation with New World? Okay. Right now. Okay. It's. I mean, I played it when the um they did the fresh start servers. Yeah. I played it with a couple of friends then. Okay. And then I haven't played it since. But like this, I, I've been meaning to like play it again since they had the expansion mm. stuff. I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. Okay. Um. Getting back into it was like kind of awkward, and uh, the immediate thing I thought of was like, man, I wish I'd started a new character and leveled up. Again. Mm. Okay, um, but like, that's that that's kind of what got me thinking. Going, ah, oh, you know what'd be sick actually if this game had a seasonal game mode, like straight mm. up. Like, I would play the fuck out of that every couple of months because that's what this game does really well. Mm. Like, all the they've revamped the, uh, the 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 leveling quests and everything. Um, you know, obviously you have all the corrupted portals and all of that sort of stuff. The open world feels incredibly fluid when you're doing that progression kind of play style. Mm. So for me, it was kind of, you know, they've they've really um, worked on this stuff a lot. Uh, the, the game as a whole and the perks and everything that you get is a lot more fluid and makes more sense and, and all of that, right? So it's kind of bizarre to me that then they, they're pushing for this very weird vertical progression yeah. which honestly doesn't make a lot of sense you know um and from my understanding they're increasing the gear score again soon or something from 700 to 725 i'm like mm. okay but you're not do you're not you're not you're not producing wow levels of content here yeah that's not gonna and cut it you can't do that yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah. exactly unless you have like a a new raid and like eight new dungeons every yeah. season it's just not yo slappy drum thanks for the um, uh, prime. it's just not a viable option to to, to be introducing these kind of uh, i love yeah bases, you know it doesn't work you, um, you know you, yeah. you you can't throw away all of that content and basically make it worthless if you're not doing wow level content exactly like you said exactly. o only wow can do that only wow can afford yeah. to do that nobody else like there's no one else who can pull that off and i feel like I feel like Sorry. almost they do that just because they're like desperate for anything. To, because like I, when I played, I you know it was nice to get like the best. But after that, it was like I don't know why am I doing this for, right? So like, yeah. like the gear is kind of a little bit like that, but it it runs off very easy, very fast, right? Mm. And then you there's nothing. Uh, and I would actually apply this to every MMO, by the way. I you know the lack of end game content I think is an a problem that MM, every MMO has outside of WoW. Okay. Like straight up, and WoW almost has this because people are fucking tired of the season, you know, four or five months in. Yeah. So, you know, uh, that, that's why I say go for a seasonal character structure. The game as a whole, before you reach that end game point, is an incredible experience, and I think a lot of people in chat would actually have a lot of fun with this. Um, but they need to focus on that stuff. They need to focus on what actually exists and what people actually have fun with. And I think maybe they're doing this. I think they're they're setting up for a console release. They're introducing console supports. Yeah. Um, there's like a whole load of combat improvements. Like they're reworking their entire combat engine to be focused purely on C plus plus rather than scripting. Yeah. Um, which is a fairly significant change, by the way. You know. Um, so. Yeah, I think I think they've they've probably got some stuff in the works, and that's probably why they can't talk about it. But it. That stuff should definitely come mm. alongside season of characters. Yeah, it just seems like I'm they need they need I... they need some kind of actual plan for the actual end game, though, right? Mm. They, it seems like they just don't have any idea what they want to do. Yeah, like I think I think vertical progression a huge mistake. They shouldn't do that. Like it, they should not do vertical prog. Um, I I don't know. I don't think it's. I guess it is really difficult to. Oh, I don't know, like, how else do you keep people engaged unless you release a shit ton of content, though? Like, I feel like it always comes I mean, down to content, right? Like, the seasonal thing is a thing, but I don't know, isn't that insanely risky? Because, like, you're basically saying we're going to go from an MMO to almost like um, an ARPG, right? That would be similar to the model that you might it, find in POE or something like that, right? It, it's already kind of well, like Black that. Black Desert does that, right? Black Desert is kind of like seasonal in that way, right? Is it's it? almost like an ARPG. I think so, yeah, because, like, you just re-gear every time, every season. Mm. But it's like an MMO. But 
So, I mean, they could you know, go from that, but, I mean, I don't know if that game is for that, to be honest. I mean, WoW basically saying? already has this, though, right? Like, you need yeah, a little bit. new gear every season. Like, yeah. I, 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 I don't know. Like, I don't think it's that far of a stretch. And I honestly think that the way, the, with the way the, the rewards and everything work in New Worlds, um, which actually I really quite like, is very ARPG-like. You know, you're rolling yeah. for your best, the best rolls possible. Yeah, like gear. the Giga item, like yeah. the, the ultimate, the, the yeah. Omega item, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is a yeah, bit more like that. The combat isn't sure. that complex. Mm. You know, you're not, you don't have a ton of buttons. You know, a lot of it is in the build craft and what you set up. And I think if you just focus on that stuff, focus on gearing up, you know, have some like pinnacle content that they add over time or whatever. Um, and, and just go, go along that avenue. It, Cause it, it's, but it's crazy to me. Sorry, go on, Darren. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that if you do that, wouldn't you have to go even more vertical? Because I don't feel like when you play New World, you feel that powerful when you get, like, your uh, best, right? Like, nothing, like, you know, maybe in Black Death or, or in an actual ARPG, right? So maybe they would have to even double down on that, right? With even uh, more items and more things. I, I, I don't think so. I think there's, like, a noticeable power increase, mm. like, to, to be honest. Um, maybe. But... I think that all you have to do is like add some like add some scaling, a little bit of scaling content that like actually oh. increases it. I mean, what well, the biggest the biggest factor here is like the amount of developer resources that the the devs have access to them you know, have access to, right? And let's be real here, it's not a lot, uh, you know. And this yeah. applies to pretty much every MMO. ESO is the same. Guild Wars Two is the same. Any like basically any MMO that's not Final Fantasy fourteen or WoW has this issue. And they need to really focus on producing stuff that makes sense. Seasonal structure, it makes a lot of sense to go down that route. Yeah, it's risky, but to be honest, frank, they've got ten K players at right now. Yeah. You know, it can only go up, right? Or it's dead. So, mm. you know, better to try something I mean, new and fresh. How would they Yeah, I mean um, the worst case scenario? Oh, I was gonna say, like, how would they keep um seasons feeling sufficiently different though I, I think that would be the problem they'd have to solve like how would they do that because my understanding is in an arpg is that when you have like a new league that comes out it kind of significantly yeah. switches up how the game plays out right in like in yeah. a pre pre pretty major way like how would you accomplish that in new world wouldn't it be kind of like you know you're just kind of grinding the same quests and like the same npcs over and over again like how would they come up with a system to kind of keep that fresh because uh, you know i mean when, when you said seasonal i was thinking well oh you know that kind of makes sense with how um the open world pvp is because like oh yeah you know the problem with um stuff like new world right is that the, the biggest companies accumulate all the resources and then they can dominate right that's kind of like a classic problem yeah. that you run into with, with games like that um and i don't know if new world actually suffers from that i am probably does but i don't know it does um it does yeah, yeah. so like if you reset it that kind of makes the territory control kind of interesting and exciting on a seasonal basis that's kind of cool um almost a bit like world versus world in a sense but i'd be like how would you keep the kind of the PVE leveling experience like fresh? I guess you could make it way faster, right? Um, and it's like really, really fast potentially um, to, to go through all that stuff. But yeah, like how, how do you keep that fresh without basically releasing a huge amount of content and like changing the game massively, I guess? I, I think, I mean, Black Desert release also with new classes, right? So people just kind of blast yeah. that, but I'm not sure. Yeah, you would have to like bring, bring a lot of new abilities, I feel like for yeah, maybe the, every weapon or like the new trinkets or I don't remember how they're called there, but some something like that that you have to farm, right? Mm. Well, so I think I think they just go full ARPG with it, to be to be honest. Um, I don't think they even have to go that complex. Um, yeah. So the first things first, um, yeah, you speed up leveling, okay? Like you absolutely have to. Mm. Leveling is, you know, for, for a long-term game, like it's fine um for for a seasonal structure it's probably a bit too long um cut it by 25 percent or something this is gonna be a pretty good pace bear in mind it's a lot faster than when you played it uh, on the last team right um and then then you just need a seasonal mechanic because i think the rest of the game is actually pretty well laid out at this stage you know you've got the dungeons for leveling and gearing as you go um you've got a lot of open more open world quests you've got the mount system which probably could use some improvement because i'm not playing mounts of rancid um <laughs> like the movement absolutely fucking sucks yeah. um but you know there's it, it, at that point you can just look to to what poe diablo 
lot last deep or whatever do for like season mechanics and kind of go based off of that. Yeah, um, and having an ARPG that is an MMO, it's like super cool, I think. And I don't think yeah, anyone I is think... doing it other than Black Desert, and that's just pay to win, which kind of sucks. Yeah, I think it just makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so, well, although I do, I do think, man, I don't know why they did this, but they would have had such a fucking jail out of free card if they actually didn't make their transmog system so bad. Like, imagine how many skins you could collect in the game and use that as the end game, but they just fucking made it pay to win. Oh, I'm just gonna say it. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna fucking okay, okay. say it. Okay. Transmog end game is fetid. It sucks. <laughs> It is bad. It is objectively bad. Okay, the wow. fact that Guild Wars Two went down that route is dog shit. Okay, oh, it is went... not a suitable <laughs> end game. It is not an appropriate end game. Wow. Okay. You know what? I'm actually going to go even further. All right. Okay. Okay. Guild Wars Two is the MMO for people who don't like MMOs. That, that, okay? that is true. Oh. No, that is true. That yeah. is that is actually objectively okay. true. I'd say even. Yeah. It's the it's the anti MMO. Yeah. It's the anti MMO. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and no one should look at get what Guild Wars 2 does and think this is a good idea because it is not. <laughs> it doesn't work. Wow, I, mean, I don't. Yeah. I can't like it. I, like that's why I no. like. That's kind of why I like New World because New World was like boom. You that like leveling was insanely fast. Um, gearing was insanely fast. Like you got bis gear from like the PvP vendor like instantly. That's kind of why I liked it. It was like it was an MMO that you didn't play for progression. You just played it like to fight over territory gank people and you know and do do the war like that was the the whole point of the game i i, I like that yeah. i i like anti-mmos i want more anti-mmos like i don't really give a shit about uh like end game if it's cosmetic or otherwise i i, I don't engage in either i like anti-mmos to be honest but I, I know what you mean though for sure yeah. like it's probably gonna be an inherent issue and having vertical progression or some kind of like you know number go up system is is very effective and well i mean look I, I honestly, I love that WoW basically showed their sub figures again. It's very interesting because that means they're feeling very confident about their game. Uh, I like it because the fact that WoW is doing so well will annoy people. And uh, I like that, to be oh, honest. Yeah. Uh, that, oh, yeah. that, oh, yeah. that does make me smile. It brings a tear to the eye. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, it's you're not wrong. Like, it's it works, right? Like, the, the number go up model it, is it, extremely effective. It's it's why, it's why it amuses me that Riot has doubled down and said that they didn't want to do their... Um, they didn't want to create like an MMO that's like an MMO, like similar to another MMO, mm. right? They want to do something fresh and different. Like, I'm just going to say this, okay? MMO players want something like WoW. Okay, maybe not WoW specifically, because there are, WoW is not perfect by any stretch or margin. Um, in fact, no MMO is perfect. Um, but man, they players want something like that. They want to go grind some stuff and level up and have the real RPG elements. They want to get gear from boss encounters and that gear to be good and interesting. And there needs to be some of those progression elements. And I think that every time an MMO tries to do something that moves away from that, it's just objectively shit. <laughs> Yeah, um, we, we, we kind of already did the experimental phase, and it clearly didn't, you know, work correctly. So yeah, yeah in some ways, yeah. you're, I think you're right. But I do yeah. think they have to do something different, otherwise. I mean, well, I guess they don't have to, because Riot, everybody loves the Leo Legends on the universe, so they could just kind of make another WoW, and they probably would be doing fine. But that's not Riot, right? They want to. Nah, they want to do something new. Yeah. It's artistic, yeah. Right? yeah. They want to make arcane, you know. That's what they want to make. Yeah, exactly. they want everyone to be talking about it and be like, "Oh my god, this is the best!" Nothing like wow, right, guys? That's what they're gonna be, right? So, we'll see what happens. Yeah. 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 Maybe that's Guild Wars Three. Oh. Incredible. Yeah. Why is it I that when I get old, good. I get bored in like an hour? Is that normal? <laughs> I mean, wait, wait. Ma ma maybe wait, you just don't. In like... response to what game? I think it was in reference to Guild Wars Two. Uh, I mean, oh. it's like, well, maybe the game's not for Based. you, right? If you're if you're bored within an hour of playing, then I mean, hey, there's nothing wrong with playing for like thirty minutes and you know having fun and then going like, oh, you know, I think I'm done. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but also, if it's happening a lot and you're not really enjoying it, then I don't know, I'll probably try another game. Yeah, definitely go play something else. But yeah, you're not alone. Uh, I think most people who have played Guild Wars 2 feel that way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just trolling. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love Guild Wars 2 guys, and I love Angel, so it's not mutually exclusive, guys. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> Incredible.
But yeah, I mean, I do hope that New World kind of finds its way because I do like that game. Yeah, and it looks yeah. cool, and I feel bad for the devs, man. Those devs. I I don't know. I, I hate like the fact New World pl w played out the way it did because I think every single developer looks at that and goes. We'll play it safe next time, and we won't try something interesting like New World was. I hate it so much. It's I. I think I'm glad the game isn't dead because you know it, it always sucks when you know something goes catastrophically wrong. But I really hate the fact that New World played out the way it did. It feels so bad, honestly, because I think every game that goes that way, where devs basically get punished for trying something a little bit new, I think it feels really bad. It just kills any innovation that could happen. Like New World had some really cool ideas and it could have been a very different and exciting MMO experience, but I don't think that's, it's not that, do you, unfortunately. Do you think it will be less, uh, it will be more popular if you wanna, if, we, if you wanna change directions? Like, do you think it would, be a, would have been successful? Compared to what uh, we If they did the PVP thing, I think that's so yeah. difficult to say, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, no, um, no, it wouldn't have. Uh, oh, really? I mean, pro I yeah. Think it, I think, it might I, be it, it might be entirely dead thing. to be honest. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the, maybe you would have like a very good niche, right? Um, no, the, the 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 thing is, is that full full loot PVP, okay, mm -hmm. and, and I assume that's what we're talking about here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't work long term, right? Short term, yes, because people will like to like gear up and build stuff, and you know, they're, they're, they're uh, the way I put it is like. People have like a hidden counter in their head of how many times they're willing to rebuild before they're just like, fuck this, I'm out. Yeah. Okay. And unfortunately, with a full loop PvP uh, MMO, that's going to be fairly low. Okay. Like they're going to get their stuff, they're going to try it, whatever, and then they get it fed up and get the fuck out. And you'll have the long, -her tr long term tryhards, but all those people will just accumulate resources. They'll basically be insufferable to deal with because you'll kill them and then they'll immediately be geared back up and they'll bring their friends back with them and they'll immediately kill you again and it's just gonna it's gonna be a fucking dog shit experience over right yeah but there are okay. ways to mitigate that right like uh albion online does that a little bit right for what i don't understand uh, I, I, I mean but with the way they wanted to do it with like territories and yeah stuff, they would no have way. to redo but, it no, yeah it's, 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 it would be no the, like having terror the territory system in the game would be <laughs> it would just be very monolithic, right? Like if you're a new player, yeah. you'd have no hope. Like you'd be, you, yeah, you, it's, yeah it's, you'd be it's, completely it's fucked. Like it's, it would yeah. be frosty and, and it would, it would have to almost have like a reset system, right? Like it, you'd have to have some oh, kind yeah. of um, reset where uh, you know it's over and all the territory resets back to normal. And like even then, you'd have to try to prevent people from accumulating resources you have to make it like very expensive to maintain stuff so that it, you can't really hold on to something indefinitely or you'd have to make it like so that the longer you hold something the easier it is to take it over or something like that like it, it, and that ends up being unsatisfying for veteran players as well because you end up kind of punishing veteran players who are playing the game well it's like it's really hard to do that i think in a in a particularly satisfying do you, way do you know what the I don't want to say first, but like the second most popular like MMO is, right? I don't know. D D RuneScape or something. I don't OSR know. OSRS Leagues. Okay. Oh. OSRS Leagues pop the fuck off. I think the last one had like 120k at like concurrent okay. players. Okay. On launch. It's absolutely insane the number of people who play that, right? So there is the clearly a MMO? market. There's clearly a market for quick progression, you know, blast kind of MMO gameplay. And I think mm -hmm. that New World is very similar to RuneScape in like you've got the skills, you've got the, the gearing, you've got the, you know, all of that sort of stuff, right? I think mm -hmm. they could absolutely jump in on that bandwagon of the seasonal gameplay and pop the fuck off. Because then you can introduce all of the cool stuff that people really like, you know, the Iron Man, the hardcore Iron Man. Mm. And dare I say it, full PvP servers. Yes. Full loot, just full PvP yeah. servers. Very, very okay? nice. Seasonal gameplay with full PvP servers. Holy fuck. And add on top of that the ability to play as like a hardcore or something. Dude, you see a hardcore Iron Man running around in a full PvP server? Oh my <laughs> god, that would be hype. Okay? Like, let's be real. You fuck guys fucking know it would be hype. And you would want to kill them as well. You know? Yeah, of course I would. Yeah. There is, there is a lot of player 
opportunity like player like um player mm. content opportunity that comes out of those kinds of experiences and i think that if they really just push down that direction it would be so fucking good um it'd be it'd be insane um i, I mean i don't know people would you play that would you uh, play like a season if there was a, if there was a seasonal pvp or man yeah i'd be really tempted i think i'd i definitely yeah. try it 100 percent, i'd try it yeah for sure i'd try the game yeah um yeah yeah i'd be interested in that like because it would and then it would be like oh you could almost have a if you had like a league system you could have it so that a company you could almost like win the league as a company if that makes any oh, sense right yeah, like exactly you know you exactly, could yeah yeah you could win and i think that would be really exciting yeah like I, I, there's definitely some potential there i'd be re i i would if they did that i'd probably play the game yeah for sure yeah or i'd at yeah. least give it a try uh again it's, if it was if it was yeah. Uh, the the only thing is, I'd want them to kind of get rid of um, fa uh, well, I, I mean, ah, uh, no, maybe I'm just being a grumpy old man. I would prefer no, it if, I, if it was I, pure. I would prefer it if it was pure companies rather than factions. But I guess I'll, I'll take it. I, 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 I was thinking about this. I was like on a long walk like yesterday evening, yeah. right? And I was like thinking, dude, I wish, I wish New World was like a season, right? Yeah. Um, and I thought to myself about the faction thing and I, I realized that ultimately it would be a dog shit experience if you didn't have factions because leveling would be hell like most people would never get out of the starter zones they'd be like instantly perma farm yeah. by like people <laughs> like ultimately you need the ability to have some friends with you um who yeah. aren't specifically your friends because otherwise you're just going to get like smited out of existence from the from the outset <laughs> so you know i think that's I, I i think i think you do need factions even though it would be more fun for it to be for people, sure you know? yeah yeah okay I, yeah you i get that I, yeah go ahead uh Darius. i was gonna say angel do you think the future of mmos is seasonal content then? like every mo yeah i yeah. think i think every online game in its future is seasonal mm -hmm. um whether you whether people like that or not i think is entirely dependent on how good they make the seasons mm. um i think um, uh, companies in general are starting to realize that they can't produce enough content for players to keep up with and seasonal structure allows them to reuse existing content i.e like the leveling experience or the progression systems as a way of having content in its own right right um, it just makes a lot of sense um, to do that. I would need some sort of permanence, though. I would need like some sort of word that I keep having forever for like playing oh, that I specific mean, league. I know what Poe uh, does that, right? Yeah, I mean, you just they ch just chuck old seasonal characters um, on on like eternal realms, you know. Just oh yeah, weird. but like maybe you know, if there is a skin, a transmog even that shows that I did that, you know, in that league. Angels, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, why not? I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> you know, okay, like, okay, okay. I think it's complete. Okay. I think it's completely reasonable. Mm. But like, it, it, that's that. But I mean, Darren, I know your point, right? But that's different to like yeah, chasing. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's I different know. to like chasing Transmog as the exclusive end game, you know. So I will do this though. I will do that. I'm gonna. I know next time I'm gonna do it in WoW. Prepare angels. Yeah. No more mythic boss. Yeah. Only yeah. Transmog guns. Nice. Sure. Sure thing, buddy. <laughs> right. Okay, boys. I better go do keys. Please. It's keys. Keys. Yes, I'm keys. But good yeah, chat. Good Maybe I'll reinstall New yeah, World. I think I already still have it installed, Ooh. actually. But uh, I'll go check it out. Dead game. All right, anyway, I'm out of it, boys. I good mean, talk. It, fun, fun, yeah. on, fun on stream with the boys, you know? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, true. Yeah. All right, I'm out. Let's go. It's keys. Man, it's kind of late, huh? I think Wraith had just got home from watching Dune. I've got to see that movie soon, actually. Let's go. It's time. God Emperor. Gank. New old Season of Discovery. Yes, yeah, Season of Discovery, guys. Coming this Thursday. SOD hype. SOD hype. SOD hype. I've got my full pre-quest ready, guys. I'm playing on Thursday, SOD Phase 3, all the way until level 50, day one. You better believe it. I'm logging into vanilla. It's going to disconnect me from retail, but that's fine. But I'm a goddamn wargan. Fuck that. i got to cleanse myself. Check this out, chat. 
Vanilla. Keys. Keys. SOD hype. SOD hype. When is SAB? I mean, I guess like a, near April. But yeah, look at this, guys. I have full pre-quest set up for Vanilla WoW. Do you know how long these quests took, guys? We were, I had to farm seven giants per player. Each giant took three minutes to kill. I shit you not. It's a long time, guys. It was pretty painful stuff. But we got there in the end. That's what my inventory looks like with all the quest items in it. SOD hype. SOD hype. Very nice. Yeah, Darren, you need to get on this, bro. You haven't got long to get all this pre-questing done, dude. And I fully pre-quested. You didn't. I am God. Yeah, look at that shit. Level 50 quest. Level 50 quest, guys, done at level 40. SOD hype. Darren is going to be level 2. Um, day 1. Boom. I'm logging in. I need STV. Yeah, well, we, we can still do some quests. I'm actually... Uh, you, you look. You guys are going to have to do stuff without me. Because I am not here tomorrow. Okay? Um, I am not here tomorrow. So, if you want to get shit done, it needs... You need to... You need to do something. And I cannot... I cannot carry you. So you will need to self-organize, chat. All right, keys. I think a bindo is a quick BRB. He'll be back. Maybe I play uh, Signet Brand. In fact, wait, I do play Signet Brand here. Let's go. Signet Brand is enabled. Very good. I've not done a single live key in like two days. BTR yeah, gaming. Neither, yeah, neither have I. Dude, we've oh, only yeah, done four was, keys this week. Off. We've only done four keys. We have completed. We've only completed four keys. I've done we have six. We haven't even finished vault. Oh yeah, because I. Well, yeah, I need to do heroic as well, actually. What is this Snizzle character? This is like Kuma, body type two. We have done mythic on this guy this week. Oh the shit! Defense. Mythic gameplay. Yeah, no, Signet Brand is very based on this key in particular. Maintains pretty well, and it's very good on the last boss. Hmm. Yeah, Howdy. Yo! Are you ready for 30 Black Rook? Surely we get that one again. File another one, bro. Yup. Here it comes. I need a hard carry, I refuse to self-organize. Yep, that's basically it. Fuck all gets done if I'm not around. That's all I've learned from playing video games. Abindo's dead. It's over. Rated is ready to pump. Look at him. Honestly, this is a good week off. I mean, it's, it's bolstering. Next week is actually worse, though. Man, I really don't want to play next week. Fortified Incorporeal Sanguine. That is actual uninstall fuel right there. Why do they make weeks that bad? What the fuck? Mm. I don't understand. Why would they do this? Not good. That's a good point, actually. Look, you know, Nico and Angels? Have you seen this? Sizzle? They're not even at title yet. They're not pushing. Why? Lamau. Yeah. They're not even pushing Lamau. deep keys. Shaking my head. Are you partnered with Blizzard? I'm not, but you know, I wish I was so I could get all that Blizzard shill money. Let's go. Oh, Nico's doing the horrible thing. He's trying to pug title. Pug title. I mean, that's honestly, how, that is... That's how you go insane. Yeah. That's, uh, I believe Emissy did that. Uh, yeah. Well, he attempted to anyway. He... I mean, he, he's already insane, so I mean, that's fine. That's true. It uh, didn't really affect him much. I want Darren's to actually push. Like, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know why Darren's needs to push, actually. Although, you know, what's really funny about Darren's is that Mythic Plus makes him insanely toxic. 
uh, which would be very good stream content. I definitely want to see that. Oh yeah. Indeed. So, I believe today, I mean, it's already uh, 11 my time, so we maybe get two keys in. Two keys. Singular key. Maybe one key. key. Yeah, one key. Half a key. Yeah. Half a key. It's, it's about to happen. Leave. Yep. Zero keys. We won't even finish this one. We have a 30 rise. We can actually try that on... I kind of want to try that one, actually. be pretty exciting. Or 29 rise. Mm, 29 rise on Tyrannical is very tough though on timer, actually. That's a pain. Keys. Keys, yo. Keys. Rated in the mix. That's fucking dead. Yeah? Let's go. You fresh? No. You fresh and ready to pump, bro? Did you guys need to play PTR? I was like defiling plus 10 Azure Vaults earlier. Oh, yeah? That's quite something. Yeah. Oh, and I guess it's pretty the highly tuned, just right? died on the last what, boss. What's... Well, some some stuff is like it's like mm. literally one shots sometimes. Oh really? Not Wait, much, is it like the bosses? Maybe not bosses one shotting or what? No, some trash as well. Like some trash hits you. I mean, especially the tank hits. I think like the AOE stuff is fine. What uh, but what the ones tank do hits, big like, damage? Sometimes just get hit for one million. Hmm. Like, yeah, seeing shards. You know the won't. first boss of Azure Wars? Like hits you for like one million, even more on like a to ten. No but like what ability does to, uh, it do? Like what, ab what ability yeah. does it do? Uh, it's the erupting fissure. Ruptures around the ground in front of itself, inflicting one. Yeah, well, yeah, that's a lot of damage actually. But wait, and I guess you you have to eat it. Like it's just you have to take it. Well, yeah, you do. But like even through like twenty five percent DR, it's like still like one point two million hmm. or something. I mean, it's fine because you know you live, but just like it seems like this shouldn't be a twenty uh, plus ten. Yeah, I mean, they'll probably... Also, they'll yeah, probably the, the totem on, in Brackenheit, the totem was taking for like 500k a second. Hmm. Wait, the, the totem so is on the... Wait, the... The Rotzinger. The Rotzinger, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I guess you better kill that quickly then. Or you will die. Nice. When is the Zero to Hero WoW edition going with the full playthrough? Yeah, I mean, that, that, something like that will be pretty interesting, I think. Maybe I'll uh, have a go at that at some point. I'll do something similar to that. Keys. Keys. Where's Abindo? Oh, he's awake. Let's go. I am awake. Daily Midnight BRB. Yeah, you know, this is a good time to start our epic 10 hour key session. We love to see that. Let's do this. Let's go. All right, ready, check us. Let's consume. There we go. Okay. Ready, check us. It's 29. Um, we will roll 30 Black Road, and it's going to be great. Prepare yourselves. Vivi, your leader. You can give me leader or do a ready check. It's oh, up to you. Enjoy. Okay, I ready check. All right, we know what to do here. We know how this works. It's 29 full. We've done about 50 of these this week. Enjoy. Fucking defied, bro. Yeah. We defiled the th we defiled a lot of thirties, but you know that's okay. It's all practice for the actual push week coming up. Uh, okay, let's do this. It is Snizzle's key, and it's pull ten. Let's go. Yeah, 
I'm gonna put in the 30 rise. Yeah, I'll just, you know, I'll just put the 30 rise in. Yeah, no Four, problem, no problem. Three, is next week good? Next two, week is fucking terrible, unfortunately. It's a sang I'm on the wrong computer. It's fortified sanguine incorporeal, which is kind of a disaster area. But the next two weeks after that are really good. So we just do a lot of practice this week and next week. Well, this is a practice week. Next week is a practice week, and then we send it big on the push weeks, hopefully, surely. Surely. Don't hit that stuff. Alright, here we go. Me silence. I'm gonna run away, guys. It's gonna be good. I'm getting ready to run away. Run away. Hi. Yep. <laughs> yeah, like I'm run. kind of running now. Running. Nice. Oh, fucking blast. Oh, big fuck, man. Yeah. Epics. I still died anyway. Great. Should be okay for a couple of seconds. Ow. Enjoy, enjoy. I was through tap and harm. Yeah. I'm running away again. Goodbye. Next time. See ya. Isn't bolstering fun, guys? Get out of Oh, man. Oh, we're having a lot of fun. Wraith is dead. <laughs> Wraith is feeding. He's feeding to level one Epoch Ripper. Okay, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, shit, wait, dude, I'm in. Oh, uh, just reset, reset. Wait, no, but, you, make yeah, it, no reset. you can make it in. You can make it in, hey. maybe. Oh, no, no, we have to no. die. We have to die. Yeah. I thought he was closer than that. Okay, we need to reset. Put the Yoda. Yeah, it's just it's the fucking, time. Yeah, it's the Yoda. My man. signet brand, bro. It's over. Can't didn't see if someone's out of range on their yeah. fucking bars. Well, yeah, I thought he was close enough to make it. I didn't see how far away he was. <laughs> fucking awareness. Oh, yeah, I wasn't Negative. looking at the mini map. Well, I, I look. I, I didn't realize he, he was that far away. I kind of I underestimate how long it takes to get back here. Anyway, to be honest, I always feel like it doesn't take that long, but it, it does. Do a visual determination. Yeah, I mean, distance. I you know just don't die before the boss. Honestly, that's uh, that's the play. Yeah, here we go. Didn't have an evoker to pull him in either. It's over. Kill the boss. Surely we don't deplete this 29-4, right? That'd be crazy. There's no way. There's no shot. It's actually not free, is it, though? Here comes the next leap. Real from the shards of time. You will not get past me. I've been dispelled. Feels good. You will not get past me. 
bleep. So try and place these a little bit further back. I'll just drop mine in the sand. Need to leave a little bit of room here. Leap might be a little bit awkward. Real from the shards of time. I got the lift. I got the soak. Oh, oh guys, we missed the soak. We're dead. Okay, twenty eight. Okay. Unlucky. It's fine. We we can plus plus the twenty eight. Still get a thirty. Oh look, we'll uh, we'll pretend that didn't happen. Hmm. I'm already pretending. Yeah, that's uh, that didn't exist. First key, guys. Let's get back in there. That's fine. Twenty eight is plus possible. I think we've already done it. Actually, yeah, we have. All good. All good. Residue Blast. Yeah, that hits pretty hard. Holy shit. 1.5 million damage. That's a lot of damage. Keys. Oh, there it is. Get back in here. Ready check. I think we've never missed the soap before. That's a new experience for us. That's actually not true. <laughs> Wait, really? We did that uh, before, yeah. <laughs> Full 10. Let's go. It's a hard mechanic. It is. I mean, look, standing Five, in the soak is four, it's not easy. Three, two, one. It's not easy at all. It's fine. Have we plus plus this before? We actually haven't plus plus this before, but I think we can. Our best is 29 minutes. It needs to be 27 minutes. And what better time to limit test than bolstering week? Let's go. Blast them. I silence. <laughs> no, I'm dead. Kill him. Kill him quick. Oh, man, dude. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping those would die, but I guess everyone die now. Let's go. Didn't uh, exactly go to plan. Alright, we're everyone's here, let's go. My signet brand, it's over. Real from the of time. 
I have got the soak. There's Affix. Double affix spawning. Time itself cannot stop me. Real I'm in the soap. It's very far away. It's a very long leap, yeah. I have a leap skill, I can make it. I'm in. We good? Okay. Can we do this in 22 minutes? That's a good question. We're gonna have to zoom. What 29 do we want? Man, all the 29s that we need are absolutely cursed on bolstering. Nice. Yep. We really need 30s. Don't pull the thing yet. This will take us some time. Champions. Right there to Sam there. I thought it was a swirly. I fucking... He swirlied. No. He That's stood there. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw it, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm pulling it. What was that? What happened to you, Rated? Yeah, what Tell happened us. to you? Nah, let's not. Let's not. Let's talk about it. You sure? I kind of want to know. We'll talk about it. No, 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 no. Kill the big guy. I'm grabbing these and I'm going to pull the dog. The dog has been pulled. Bloom. Kill the dog. Watch the swirlies. I stop. This is going to be pain. I think I should. I'm okay. Not you. Next one should be okay, theoretically. Okay. 
Okay, it's dead. Watch the explodey thing. Focus the big guy. Got Wally. I'm not gonna have lust. We probably still. Hmm, I guess we. What, what do we want to lust here? It's a good question. Could use lust to do uh, double dragon, maybe. Double dragon. Yeah. Maybe we just lust halfway through this boss anyway, though. Sounds good when this is dead. Okay, we kill boss. Wait, do I lost or? Yeah, we probably. Oh, yeah, you probably still do. Yeah. Because I mean, it's up in a minute. Soak is like a green circle in Gilwell, so you got to stand in it. Let's go. Yeah, we just lost in 50 seconds. We kind of with the next set of CDs ish. It's rated, Vivi. Orbs. Sands of time, I call upon you. Count the second. It's right to the window. Easy last. Let's go. Sands of time. I call upon you. Watch the orbs. Vivia window. Orbs. Rated Vivi. Sands of time, I call upon you. The seconds pass. Very snizzle. Sands of time, I call upon you. I see you. We are good. You must stop the infinite. I'm going through. My signal brand didn't have time to ramp. Tragic. 
He's tank DPS. I am actual tank DPS, yeah. Three, two, one, go. Just me and Snizzle. Yep. You shall not interfere with our infinite dawn. Would it be insanely fucked up if my next WoW stream is called Guild Wars 3 Beta Stream? I mean, it would be very funny, so you should do it. Plus plus this, we kind of have to do double dragon. How do you feel about that, Snizzle? Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah, what's your thoughts on that? I know, I'll be fine. Oh uh, yeah? We're fuck doing it, double bro. dragon. Fuck it, we're going. Also join. Yeah, join, 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 I'm gonna drop a darkness when everything's together. Dropping darkness now. Watch the sludge. Here comes the tank damage. It's honestly kind of easy when there's two though, because it splits the stacks between them. So there's less damage. Okay, can I chain into the third sizzle? No. Okay. Wait, can we... uh, yeah, bro. Let's okay. do it, bro. Okay, let's go. Fuck it, bro. Fucking chunk is killing Vivi. I got the chunk. Bolstered Dragon is incoming. Here we go. I'm excited. There's no way. Any blighters? <laughs> he actually. I all the time back. Let's <laughs> go. <got> fucking destroyed, <laughs> bro. You actually just got destroyed. <laughs> How does it feel to get absolutely owned, Raithan? How does that feel? By the blight spew. Maybe I like it, you know. Yeah, maybe he does. You can pot ride the start. Let's go. That's really fucking bad. Uh, I don't have anything. We CR him. CR him. At least he didn't pop combust. Because he didn't have it yet. Yeah. I didn't have anything, no. Feed it to me. Probably one more. Actually, no, I think the next one will get skipped. We're not going to have lust for this, boss, so we're probably lusting on pull on Eridicron. In fact, that's almost certainly what's happening. I'll take it off you. Watch the front too. Easy. Uh, 
damage kit. That's good. We shouldn't get another one after this. It should all be skipped, I think. can actually just give that to me immediately. The boss should phase before it uh, it's needed. What's the problem? Yep. Just phase it. Yep. Big damage. It's on a bindo. Nice. The only person who can't skip it. That is funny. I'll... S you can just run onto me. To run to me. Good. I'll turn away. Uh, I'll just stand in the goop. I need to move now, so I can move the bosses. Need a swap now. Bounce me. Um, just... Oh, I'll be on code. I'm stacking them. Let's bounce. Uh, stop. I know freedom. Okay, I'm oh, sending sure. it on you. Yeah, got it. I think it should cast the frontal. Yeah, yeah it should. There we go. Easy. See if we can skip next. Skip if we can. It should move soon. There we go. I watch frontal and cleave both. Get him out of his shit, bro. Get him. Okay. Well, I mean. Plus plus is six minutes. That's that's looking a bit rough to be honest. Thirty-five. Yeah, thirty-five on potion as well, yeah. Hmm. Uh we have to pull stuff on. I have one minute. Well you can just uh well, on pot as well. Yeah. Uh what about Invis? I in just uh, the last one, so Oh my god. Yeah. That's not ideal. No. Well, I mean we won't plus plus. That's unfortunate. It's 40 seconds. Like, maybe? I don't know. Well, I mean, we'd, we'd have to pull a lot of trash onto the last boss, which is not impossible, I guess. I'm going in. But yeah, we have to pull trash really aggressively. I just think that this boss is five minutes on this key. So we'd have to be pulling the boss, you know, now. For the future of Azeroth. Which is, you know, that, that's not going to be happening. Kill the small ones and we'll go with the rippers, I guess. So, the yeah, if we want to have any hope, we just have to go for it pretty much and just lust on pull and just giga send. Yeah, lust is up in uh, 30, so. Affix? Affix, guys? And yeah, we're just going to have to go pretty much as soon as the Chrono Weaver is dead. We just YOLO it. That's going to be a bit rough though, to be honest. If it spins on us, it's going to be pain. Okay, I guess we just go our... We should just go now, I think. Just see if it works. We just lost on pull. Going. I'm moving them, and we just need to blast these, uh, blast the things down pretty hard. It should spin now. The other one shouldn't be relevant, so it should be okay, I think. It's spinning on me in the yeah, silk. It's, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't, don't let it spin uh, in here. Yeah, it won't spin, it won't. It's not going to cast for a while. It's fine. I'm probably dead. Yep. Oh. 
I had to use a personal skill to spin and I used to the one shield up. Yeah, I mean, I oh. wish I could. I want Chrome. Oh, well, yeah. Nice meme. That's uh, quite uh, not good. I mean, we can try and get him again, but probably after the shield, I guess. Yeah, he won't take it now. Maybe you could take it right after a pulse. Affix. I mean, I can't get it. Affix as well. Shield breaks soon. It's five to six mil. Oh, that is not good. We don't have a CR anymore, oh, do we? I'm fucking tail in the way ahead. We do it. We don't have CR, do we? We need to die. No, need to die. Yeah, it is. We have to clear the trash, but it's fine. We'll just pull all of it in one go. Oh well. I mean, I, I mean, I don't think we just need to. That needs to just not happen. I guess we need to not die to that. Unfortunate. Uh, it's timeable still, we just need to pull everything. Uh, let's deplete. Let's, let's not do that. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll pull all of it, because me and Abinda don't have stops and AoE pretty much. Uh, it should be fine. Oh. I can do it, I think. I get this one. Stopping again. I have silence in a couple of seconds. Silence. This might be a little bit scary for me. I'm scared. Just got stumbled it twice. And stop this. I have a silence in a couple of seconds. Silencing now. There's affix, affix. That's fine, we have six minutes. What 29 will we get? It will be a good 29. Alright. I'm going in. Everyone's here, right? Yeah, everyone's here. Let's go. Oh, we won't have loss. Sucks. Any invises? Darkness. We did it. I have twelve signet brand stacks already. Feels good.
This is an affix up behind group. We've rallied for this. Right in the middle of the boss, I think. Unfortunate. Yeah. Look at the bird. The bird ran over to me. Ethics. Sounds good. Afflicted. There's one still up. We need to oh, okay. No skip. Unlucky. Kill the shield. Hmm. Imagine depleting this key. You won't have you combust. Have it. Do you know what that means? It means we deplete now. No combust for the burn phase, it's over. Yeah? Deplete. Would you like to deplete rated? Would you like enjoy depleting this key? Honestly, yeah. Now you have combust. Huge. Yeah, big. He's ready. Now I die. I don't die this. Easy. And if we failed this DPS check, that would just be a bit depressing. Surprisingly close, isn't it? We did it! Alright, well, that was a little bit cursed, but we got there. We got an Everbloom, nice. Man, all these keys are fucked. 29 Everbloom is very rough, honestly, on uh, Bolstring. What do we want to do? I have 28. What do we want to do here, to be honest? Actually, can we, we can, you could, we could reroll the 28, actually. I yeah. Guess. Yeah, reroll the 28 Everbloom. What did you get? It's Black Oak. Ah, that's actually good. We should do that and just plus plus that. Because that's an easy plus plus and get a 30. Let's go. 28 Black Rook. And yeah, we just upgrade that. Let's also chain the, the mage on the second boss to the floor. You know? Yeah. I, I, I'm never <laughs> using fucking chains on that boss ever in camp. Bro. I was like, oh, I'll just move it a little bit closer so I can hit it. Oh, so everyone can hit it at the same time. <laughs> it just pulls it off the edge. <laughs> That's actually so disgusting, man. That's crazy. That is crazy. Are you guys done with your Season of Discovery pre-quest, by the way, for Thursday, guys? Are you all ready for that? Mm. You ready for Bro, a 10-hour leveling You're grind? Cal, be serious. SOD hype? Bro, it's sunk in temple. How the... Oh, yes! It's 
fucking god. It's literally right. just suicide. Yeah. It's cool. Alright, surely we plus plus this, right? Surely. 100%. Surely. <laughs> okay, what thirty? Do we, closed. What thirty do we want out of this? We <laughs> we want a Natal uh, or fall. Yeah. So we yeah, it's not yeah that could happen. Natal or fall. Yeah, that's what we want. Ice flows. Fuck ice flows. Wow. Bro, you're gonna fucking yeah. run around like a maniac on the second boss. Yeah. Ice flows. Yesterday, Hopeful said he'd never run ice flows. He would bro, he never bash, bro. run yeah, ice flows. He said that, and then he said that, um, but most mages should uh, run ice flows. Like, hmm. he said, like, the best mages won't need ice flows, and they can do uh, anything they can do with ice flows with just shimmer. So if you consider Too yourself right. one of the best mages, just <laughs> say, then it doesn't matter. Then you, you don't run ice flows. Full 10. Yeah, maybe I do. Deploy the key. Yeah, I suppose it's for those. That's not laser as fuck. You can actually uh, do another button. Two, one. So it's have. rated key, by the uh, way, bro. It's rated. Wait, wait, oh. wait two seconds. I don't know. It's already fired. Key. Oh. Am I stoning? Key. What did you need? It's oh. over. Yeah, let's deplete. It's over. This key is already yeah. depleted. This key is dead. Me silence. My Nova next. My Nova. My chains next. My chains. My silence. Misery. Kill that shit. Kill it all before it soul blades. There we go, we did it. That wasn't very hard. Ooh. I kick first. Into my silence. Giga focus the mini boss. Hit the protector. I kick next. Never mind, right to stole my kick. Fuck you. I'm just not gonna kick them. I refuse. I won't do it. Okay. Kill it before it casts Soul Blade again. Should be fine. Right, if you guys run ahead to the boss, the mini boss will follow us. Yeah, wait for the while it does strike down. Yeah. Go, <laughs> yep. go, 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 go. And you get get to keep Sigmund around as well. Run. Glaive will, yeah, it's frontal is doing nothing. Boss is coming to us, right? Boss is coming to us. So go uh, the other way. Mini boss is running in now. Make sure mini boss does get cleaved. Kill mini boss before she doesn't have the frontal. Could be awkward. Good. Very nice. Well, good news, YouTube viewer. You can just scroll back. You can rewind and go back in time to see the Guild Wars 2 talk. It's the big advantage of YouTube. You can travel into the past. Very exciting. 
My add-on to watch Twitch chat has fucking broken again. Good luck, thank you. We will need it. We want a plus plus this if we can. I want plus 30 keys, let's go. I never liked this dungeon. I think it's alright. Not my favourite, but it's not horrible. What happened? Did you nearly feed? I was littering in the, you know, the thing unrated. Ah, nice. I grab. Boom. I can stun next. Stun. Get him. Easy. This, this is too much. Kill the boss. This boss is just going to be like uh, the HOI boss. Only does the intermission once. Mm. Oh, yep. Yeah. Are you looking forward oh, to the gauntlet again, uh, Sizzle, with storming? Oh, yeah. They nerfed the dragons pretty big, honestly. Like, oh, the really? dragons aren't as... I mean, of course, I didn't do high keys, but, like, you know, like, relative to other stuff in the dungeon. Like, for example, the third boss was still doing so much damage. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, yeah, because they they had to balance it around not everyone. You don't have Master Spell anymore, right? So they yep. have to do it differently. Okay, nice. Oh, this is, it's doable. We have to go very fast, though. Speed will be needed to plus plus this. Incredible speed. Ah, bro, this is the finest, dude. Hmm. I understand it's, now. it's gonna be tough. You but I believe in us. I believe in our insane you DPS. Put a stop to this. We can do it. Shit. I am potioning. Uh, I'm coming. That's unlucky. I'm a bit late. I'm cheating. Could get SKB off. Bam! You need not worry. I will not Ow. Men, the invaders come for us. Bam! Do not let them We can pass. pull one of those small ones down. Can you parry them? I mean, I can, Barbie. And I had like 30 stacks. By the way, once it's like this, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, I fixed one up. I think we... Oh. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it was in the, the secret area. I need to wait until that's gone. I didn't know the it, so. Yeah. Okay, we can go. Kill the arcane minion. Destroy it. I'm silencing. I can't. It's gonna die. Shoot. I get knife tons. I get in mind. I hold. I get the barrage. Easy. These guys. I have to wait a bit for the next chain. Shockwave first knife dance. Shockwave go. Plugging the cat next. Very hard focus the cat. 
cat is yeah. incoming. Destroy the cat. I know this. I grew up. Both knife dances done. Hooray. Kill the cat. I think we can probably just go. I believe. Ripping everything. Kill the minion. Silence. I'll get knife dance. Got it. Uh -huh. Next is snizzle knife dance. I can grip everything. Easy. Good. There shouldn't be any more knife dancers. Just try and if you see a double shoot going off. I'll get barrage. Easy. Look for double shoots. Easy. I'll grip everything. Boom. I got the knife dance too. Focus the big guy. There might not be any more knife dances. Stuff's done pretty quick. I get this one. Everything goes. Nice. Let's go. Uh, kill the archers, then we just go boss. They have lust. Uh, I'll grip them back in. Easy. They are gripped. I flipped it upstairs. Oh, we got it. Focus the high HP one. As soon as both die, we just go. There's gonna be a frontal, we can just move now. Go. Dude, I got frontal, it's over. Go, 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 go. Pulling boss, three, two, one. We lust. Watch the guy running in, he'll do a frontal. He ran in. Fell oh, rush. Stack. I need something for this. Uh, I'll buggy afterwards. Glaive. You cannot escape. There shouldn't be any more frontals from the ants. Yeah, you know. Guards, hold them off. I will burn you alive. I'm silencing and running it in. Oh, shade though. I'm using sigil. Sigil of chains now. Yeah. Here he comes. Double affix. Make sure we get this. Another one. Good. There's going to be a frontal from Ad in a moment. There it is. Hit the boss. The Admite Frontal once more. Okay. That's fine. Let's I work on uh, that. Something. Oh. It's a 28, bro. This is like plus two key you at best. Two. Not even a real key. Dark Rush. Wraith is getting it every time. 
I'm gonna charge Wait. you. Yeah. Wait, I what? actually got it, yeah. Yeah, you did. That's when you Is blinked. It? He blinked at the last second. Maybe he shimmered even. We don't know. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we would have died with Ice Flow there. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. I mean, couldn't you have just cancelled your cast and you blink? No. Okay. You cannot escape. Will we kill the boss before phase two again? It's very close. Holy shit. Enjoy that. Kill the boss. I will burn you alive. Okay, we're good. Oh yeah, we can hunter us on plus plus this way. Doing well here on time. Now the cancer. The cancer begins. Uh, don't pot here, guys. Remember, do not pot. We need invis. The fun begins. My grip. Uh, snizzle next. Snizzle go. Me. Me again. Me again. Right, and then I grip and see you guys later. Uh, next is Shockwave. Shockwave go. Next is Dragon's Breath if we can. I can hold for a bit. Uh, Blast Wave next. If they go off again. Blast Wave go. And then kill. Finish him, good. Uh, let me give you some time, I need to run a bit here. It's running time. Me first, after wake. Grip. Snizzle next. Snizzle go. Shockwave next. Shockwave go. I think it's uh, runaway time for me. It's been. Uh, oh, I'm gripping. I died. Unlucky. We kill the uh, yeah spitter. Just try and stun it. Send single target stuns if we can. Okay, we're good. Oh, that went fine, I think. Went pretty well. Okay, so next is Invis. That's Holy. unfortunate. We resurrected. Uh, oh, he released. That's released. actually. Uh, I, it's fine. It's going to be late. It's yeah, it's fine. We just go. We just go. We have four kicks. There's no way. I'm going in. If you had uh, ice flows there, you would. Yeah. <laughs> Raid had died to a rock. Ice flows. Okay. I'm going to pull in a couple of seconds. Pulling three, two, one. How does that feel, Raiders? I'm non verbal. Bindo second orange. I got orange. purple. Yeah, Bindo second orange and then Snizzle second purple. Yep. And then I'm first purple. Okay, so I'm next purple and Vivi's next uh, orange. Fucking bats. Can't see shit. <laughs> Okay, where's rated? Will rated make it? I'm here. Okay, we can go boss pretty soon. After next we go. It's me purple. 
Uh, Ray to get uh, Snizzle's next purple, and then Ray to backs me up. I soak. Okay, get rid of the ad. You got it. Good. I think we're making very good time, actually. We are speedy. Do the lines correctly. It's a bindo soak. Yeah, we only have one death. Our only death is to a rock. <laughs> That's very funny. Please, someone else. Just, just in. Rock. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, it's the line. Fine, so 28. Vivi goes. Surely we don't run out of space. I'm next, Soak. Try and put the lines vaguely well. Double afflicted. I think so. Me, Soak. In what way are you trolling it? The line was not that good. Hmm. Nice grief, bro. Next oak is a bindo. Yeah, mine was like that. So annoying. Bindo. Oh, one already despawned. move a bit here. Put the affix. Soak. Good. And pumping the boss. It's a window soak. I'm over here. He's over there. Kill boss. Nice move. Hold them off. We must ah, bolstering. Don't hit these. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna wait for the last two yep. to come in. Last one. Last jump. Alright, wake okay. him. Waking. I grip. Nova. Ready. Gripping again. Watch the darkness. Wake again. Oh, Affix went off. That's, Wait, very, that's very bad. Um, okay. Oh, he was like, he was on the fucking ceiling. Oh. <laughs> nice. I was looking I for it. it. Yeah. Uh, it's set clear for me. For sure. Rip. Uh, this might be a runaway angle for me, honestly. 
Yeah, maybe just carry them to the boss room. Oh, yep. Yep. wait. See you guys later. I'm out. Yeah, just get rid of them. Okay, they're dead, right? Yeah, okay, we're good. Yep. Yep. Uh, I should be fine here. Yeah. Okay, everyone's here. Three, two, one. Here we go. Yeah, I'm fine. Should have been blade, moving away from the blade. We will do the meld technology. It will phase immediately after the blade. Watch the blades, they're still active. We do meld memes here. Ready for meld memes? Meld memes? No. No. So it's uh, snizzle taunts, then I meld, then the other way around. Yep. Ilisana. No. Taunt. No. And then you put taunts. Oh! Yeah, that you didn't do taunts. Yeah. I did one shot on this one, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. That's... Mm. I'm taking it off there. Uh, well, you can take graphics. it. There's no volley or anything. Well, no, there's no volley. Let's use spell, yo. Wait, he melee me. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. um, if you like... If the you know, doesn't taunt before this little melt, it's gonna... Just oh, melee okay. anyone. Because, yeah, threat memes. That's fine. Oh, no! Bro, I ran too far forwards. Uh, resume, 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 quickly, quickly. Yeah. Cool. I have it, I have it, I have it, I have it. Have it. Have it. It's fine. Jesus. Can, uh, I can... Uh, ice block, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, gonna lie, I'm not entirely focused. Ice right now. Well, I died to a rock. You, uh, you know, take a beam. Get the storm. Uh, we should still get the 30 though. Yep. Uh, must buy us or? Yeah, yeah. I have a darkness for a swarm if we need um, it. Oh, we still have no, the barrier. We, this one's fine, yeah. Kill the swarm, kill the swarm. Get low. Holy. Not even close. It's never even close. Yeah, if it's on me, just. <laughs> I just fall darkness you. Easy. There's so much DPS. I'm gonna move the boss a bit. It's fucking cursed. It's covered in. covered in bees. Where's the other airfix? Hmm. It's gone. Kill the swarm. And there we go. Easy plus plus. Surely we get the right key. Okay, what do we get? A towel. Oh, nice. Okay, we did get the right key. Okay, let's go do that. What the fuck? Oh, avoid nice. this piece of shit. Wait, what do you get? You got avoid. Wait. Oh, oh, look at that. Amalgam seventh spine. What the fuck is that? I've never seen that before. It's a piece of shit. Your direct healing spells apply and refresh fragile echo. When fragile echo expires, I might just it use it. It's avoidance. Nine hundred fifteen no mana. Interesting. Kind of a weird item. Literally anything else. Wait, 900 up. mana. I mean, I'm... yeah, it's fucking nothing. Hmm. What's your uh, mana for? Wait, well, is that kind it's of a like weird thing? Does it mean that you yeah, have to? Yeah, 250. Does that mean that you no, have to like stop casting to get the payoff on that trinket? No, you let it expire. 
Well, yeah, so you have to you have to not heal then, right? Or just not do nothing. Yeah, you one heal, let it expire, one heal. Yeah, that seems so it seems a bit it's scuffed. fucking horrible. Yeah, it seems like a really weird item. All right, go, let's go thirty uh, tell. That is very doable. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. I am porting it. Okay. That key is there. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. It's late, yeah. Uh, I am not here tomorrow, guys. Like, uh, there's... So I cannot play, but I can play on... Uh... Yeah, Tuesday might be a bit rough. Push well, week. This is not push week, bro. It's post week. Push week. Fuck this week. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I should be around. Well, I have SOD on Thursday, but after, you know, like... Uh, I SOD. Dude, next... Like, S Dude, look, are you not hyped for SOD? SOD hype? Bro, SOD it's hype? fucking... <laughs> Sleep. Let's talk and time this key, boys. We can do this. This is actually giga doable. Uh, do we? I, hmm. I feel like we don't want to go Razan first, by the way. Razan first, the second lust is always so cursed. I feel like. Oh, no. Yeah, on Spotify, we just do this. For sure. I don't. I don't like. Um. I, I don't like Razan first. Yeah, we can just do. This you know, maybe on fortified lost. it's okay, but I think we go left and just blast. And that's the way to go, go, yeah. I actually want to test some memes there, but... Bro, how about we How about we don't maybe. do that? How about we're not doing, like, the insane tech no, no, no. where you can't even cast a single fireball? Like, I think that, that's, you know, maybe, uh, maybe not no, what I we mean, need like, right uh, now. I think it's Snizzle's, uh... Leveling strats? Monk. Dungeons! I'm using the sleeping that's blanket fine. thingy as well. well. Test yeah, we're just gonna dungeon grind, because we wanna raid, uh, day first. two. Okay, ready check. It's time to fully limit test. How about that, guys? Makes yeah, sense. This is the key, yeah. yeah. Plus thirty. Let's limit. Uh, we can do this, by the way, guys. Our best twenty-nine. Our best twenty-nine Natal is uh, very good, actually. It's uh, what is it? It's twenty-six minutes. That gives us easily enough time. All right. Pull ten. Here we go. It is rated's key. We are going left first. We'll do the normal setup. We're killing first. Five, add four, on the thingy. Three, Boom. Two. Oh, oh he's not ready. He's not ready. Yeah. Okay, do not go. I also potted. Fuck. Never mind. I don't need it. So. It's over, bro. Yeah. That's the base. He's leeching. That's fine. DPS pots. Uh, get, wait, are you feeding him some pots? Uh, a yeah. Or should I do it? Okay. 50k gold, that's all. 1 million k gold. Yeah. Are you gonna hold him back here, though? I think that one works, to be honest. If I can't I can be. You have to wait. It, I, I have to go forward. Okay, I'll wait. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like sure. it, it will take time because I have to get the augers. I have to silence them, run forwards, pick up. Uh, can you see the markers like green and purple? Yeah, yeah. I have to go forwards, pull those, and then I can pull them back. So you will ha you'll lose uptime if I do that, but I can do that. Yeah. Okay, I'll send combust when you're yeah. getting everything, and then I have nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know we uh, we um, if you wanted to do it a little bit cleaner, I could misery the four at the bottom of the stairs. Run past, get the birds, and then pull everything together. That will be faster. That's actually what that's okay. what yeah. they do. Actually, then, then yeah. that's what we're gonna do. Okay, well, I'll do that. Also, it's not on the ledge there; it's a bit further. So you yeah, like down the stairs. The Wait, down the stairs or yeah. what? Well, there. Yeah, yeah okay, I, I, see. Exactly. Yeah, I see. I see. I see. Okay. I see. Okay. All right, pull okay. ten. That is what we will do then. We're going left first, and we're pulling the dino squad as well. We are. Five. Oh, four. If I die, uh, yeah, I'm right, solid. I am fucking nonverbal. One. Go. It's your key. You will die to a purple. single sword. Okay, I'm leaving the key. All right, let's do this. This is time, ball gamers. Slam. Slam. Let's go. Luster. Left side, in the wall. Okay, I will slightly move away then to make it uh, nice and clean. Moving. Killing Confessor. They're silent, so they shouldn't really do anything. Okay, killing the Augur. Good. That just dies. And finishing these off. You're going to prio down the... Uh, the big guy right here, uh, right? The 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 statue thing, Colossus. Uh, yeah. Okay. Because that is gonna hurt when it's bolstered. Let me tell you that. Uh, doing in front of us. Okay. Yep. Right I stop side. into silence, silencing now. Wait, my silence didn't go off. Fuck. Uh, 
I still have ice block, but it actually saved me. Yeah, nice. Hey, group. Yeah, I see the statue. Oh, we, we're far away enough, right? Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds yeah, yeah. good now. Sounds good. Our next hop is Snizzle on uh, Casters. They're unsilenced now. Get ready. There we go. Our next is Shockwave. Go. Kick the mending oh. words. Oh, I have a silence in a couple of seconds. Silencing now. Shouldn't do anything now. Get rid of the Colossus. Bolting's going to be hurt. You definitely want to press something if that goes on here, yeah. Thank you, bro. Get yep. rid of that Colossus quickly. The next soul one's going to be pain. This is going to be pain. Nope. Ah, uh, nice. Big oh, fuck. Oh, nice mel. I should have. I should have waited. You live, you live, you live. Yeah, I live. I'm a monk. Yes, uh, six yes, million exactly. years. Six billion deaths. <laughs> Wait, you actually didn't die this fall. That's, that's uh, back up. Actually, I'm just doing a new stage. Oh, okay, right. okay, hang on. I'll I'll move a little bit. Darkness is down. Darkness is down. Kicks. Silencing now. They're silenced. I got the misery. Good. Get rid of this auger. But the statue is putting in the work here. Get rid of that. Get the fire. Oh, oh fuck. That's, that's fine, actually. I need to reset talents anyway. Oh, yeah? Blood? It's, it's, it's all planned. It's all planned. It's all planned. I'm going to pull the auger and the juggernauts in a moment. Here they come. Uh, after you do a new start. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm silencing. I'll just stun. Stunning them. Is this actually good now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Right. Uh, Shockwave is next. Just send kicks on this guy. Keep kicking him. If the, if it goes off, we will uh, we will die. It's going to do fire enchant next. This needs to be kicked. It's nice. Idea. Easy. Did one got baited on rated. That's fucking funny. Yeah, yeah. I saw it. Okay. All right. Kill this. Focus high HP guy. Let's go. Let's start moving after he charges. Okay. Let's, uh, let's start moving. He's giga stunned, unlucky. Right, he's gonna charge once more. Oh, well, yeah, big, yeah, big yeah. Close to the oh, I got stunned, nice. Let's go. He won't cast again, I'm just gonna set up the next pull. Go, Augur. I'm gonna uh, do the thing. I need to get closer. Don't hit this. Uh, are you serious? I don't think you can go with him. He's gonna charge. Launch. Grip, gripping. Back to you. Gripping again. I pulled them back in. Let's go. Stop, and then my silence. Get rid of the auger. I have another silence after this. Keep an eye on the imprisoner. Yeah. Yep. He's got. 20 seconds, something like that? Oh. Hate oh. the blood. Yeah, I think your blood spawned on me or something. I have a silence again. Yeah, the blood does big yeah, damage. Blood just spawned in melee and killed us. We have Affix. Affix is gonna go off here. Oh, fuck. Where is it? Uh, Augur, Augur. Um, I. Recaging can... him, he's recaged, he's recaged. Got him, got him, got him. Ah, uh, this is bad though. Yeah. I don't know, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, the re-cage cost me a bit now, to be honest. Ow, jeez. I want to go get the auger out after the, these charges happen. 
I'm gonna grab him in. Reduce that. Oh, you're a bit too close to it. Uh, yeah, hang on. Gripping them out. I'll grab them. Grab them. There's a next. Alright. Uh, Rake it next. I think we're honestly alright. And then the next. Oh, no, never mind. Wait next. That's fine. I just silence it. It won't do anything. Till it dies. Yeah, 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 I'm good. That's okay. We're killing first. Killing first. But you will leave behind your bones. Gripping it in. My claws will and then blasting. Make sure it dies. Okay, I go my stun first. Stunning now. Yeah, single target stuff, go. It's gonna be transfusion, guys. Make sure this dies. I'll leap into one. Boom. Yeah. Make sure that dies, though, guys. We need to kill it. And then next is paralysis. Moving boss. Next is gonna be a affix, by the way, guys. Yeah. Okay. Next is paralysis. This is paralysis. And uh, here comes the blood. Good. And then next is going to be misery, and hopefully boss dies. Here comes misery. Wait, what's up? What's up, Avinda? What's up? There's. Watching the gold. Afflicted. Okay. And it should die now. Oh, yeah, good. Okay. Alright, we're gonna. Oh, I don't have a misery, actually. That's unfortunate. Thanks for killing the priestess. So these are not going to get miseried. Oh my god. Uh, I'm silencing them. They should come through now. Uh, get the stops here, guys. I can't uh, do anything for a bit. This is a bit cursed, actually, isn't it? Yeah, the ogre's behind. Yeah, it's fine, though. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, I need, to, I need... If I can get a silence, I can go get the other ones. Don't have it, though. All right, I'm going to silence them now, and then I'm going to get the other shit. Wait, the soul is already dead. Why am I there? Sky Screamers. Kicks. We go Razan next. We won't pull any trash on it. I don't have my cheat death. Can maybe pull trash after I get cheat back, though, actually. We drop down, just go boss immediately. It's coming around. Okay. We play this first. spot first, normal spot. The regular spot. I'll just wait till it moves a bit. Here we go. Do you lost this now? Yeah, we do. Okay. It's too oh. far away. Taste. I have to. Hmm. Oh, there's one raptor. Oh, there's two. Oh boy, two. that's not gonna be nice. One. 
They should die pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure they do. It ain't gonna be pretty oh, otherwise. Well. I'm gonna dart this for myself. There's Affix. Perfect. Yeah. Three, two, one. Nice. Uh, if we're still going in two minutes, I'll pull the uh, the dinosaurs on during a pursuit. Boss bit me. Four, three, two, one. Test limit. I can melt. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. Right. I'm good. A little bit pain. Four, three, and if, imagine if we had an augmentation evoker one. that could just remove that bleed debuff. That'd be kind of crazy. It would be fucking insane. Eh? We could actually pull the dinosaurs on next pursuit. I will. I should have CDs for it, so it should be fine. Perfect. Apex. Wait, I was fucking out of range. I got it. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna grab the dinos on the next pursuit. Don't skip Can it. Mail. Don't skip it. Don't meld it. Don't okay, mail. okay. Don't, I'm not skipping. Right. Yeah, I, I silence these and they'll sh they should just run over now. I got the stun. One. And just blast him down. I can build. Yeah, that's fine. that's fine. Silencing the screamers. Kicks. Boss, boss, boss. Four, three, two, one. There we are. And good. Okay, nice. Very nice. Mount up and let's roll. That's very good time, guys. Well done. And we're just doing a bunch of uh, swords now. So, swords. Ready? Ready? <laughs> swords. 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 <laughs> I'm going to unleash. Okay, well, I gotta wait because I have to go and get the ones down here first, okay? Alright, I'm going back up. Okay. Right, now it's the final set of swords here. Let's fucking die. I am gonna drop a darkness when they're all gathered. Dropping darkness now. Let's, darkness let's stack down. up and die, bro. Let's darkness. stack up and die. Okay. I'm not gonna stun. Because then, you know, that can be scuffed. Alright, there is no way I'm dying again. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Live, bro. I think, I think we've got through the worst of it. All right, here we go. Swords are okay, down. I was gonna. Let's finish this guy off. Then we're going to the next set. It's double swords, killing swords, then chaining into the witch doctors and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna wait for you guys to get over here. 
surely I don't die. Bro. And I'm fine. Alright, pulling the next ones. Holy. I'm trying to save my silent sigils here, guys. So just use kicks on the screamers. Yeah, I'm next to Michael. Swords are nearly dead. Once swords are dead, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna kick this one. I'll kick purple when we move in. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna silence everything here, the then I'm getting the stalkers. Okay. okay, I've got him. Stopping. I'm gonna move down again, just give me a second. I need to use a mitigation button. Mitigating now, moving. And get rid of these witch doctors. I might have to run from these. Because the shield bash is going to fuck me. Silencing now. Surely I live. I interrupted a shield bash. I win. All right, next is Cage onto Volcal. Cage. Okay. Everyone's in, pulling now. The kick here is extremely important. Do not miss it. It's going to be me and Abindo first. Let's go. Inv Abindo getting trolled. Nice. There's affix on Abindo. Double affix on me and Abindo, guys. It's a melt it. Uh, we got it. Bro. What? Uh, yeah, we're gonna be a bit slow on star. We're getting griefed. It's been every time on us. That's insane. Huh. There's affix on me and Abindo. Uh, I hope that's not me. I'm gonna go help purple. Next kick will be in the middle, uh, so just anyone really. Yep, good. Good. Oh, we killed. We need to kill Star. Yeah. yeah. I think we should be good, right? Yeah, yeah we're fine. Yep. We're fine. Kick. That would have been. Slinky from my part. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's whatever. My, uh, <laughs> whatever. <it's> a weapon. <laughs> okay. The fucking one million execute. Double affix spawning. One's far out to the edge. It's weird. Weird position. He's punching me. You guys ready for 30 Yasma? Yeah. Sure. Are you guys ready to roll like 31 Rise after this? Yeah, and then just first try. Yeah, just pull. We activate. Uh, I'm pretty far.
Oh, we're going to have plenty of time. I think Yasma's going to be, what, five minutes? We're going to have a bit more than that. So all we have to do is not throw. What if I just randomly lost there? I mean, <laughs> that would not be good. And you might get to double lust, actually, if the boss is five minutes. Might get a lust oh, right at the end. Out. It's huge. Double affix. I'm trying to dispel myself. Someone do it. I mean, I'm trying. Yeah. Mm, it's not clear. Uh, uh, it's careful. By the way. Bit pain. Oh yeah, we need that. Uh, let's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Try and yeah, yeah. Yeah. Run, yeah, run. yeah, yeah. I'm just moving it. I'm moving it. Yeah. Okay. Don't pull. Um, caged. Let's go. Volcal in pieces again. We have time. Plenty of time, guys. It's been a good run so far, I think. No. That boss is such it. a fucking Where long point. Wait, what's up? Oh, you need a... There, there is a snake here, but... Yep. Yeah. yeah, we should pull the dice card, bro. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure... Wait, maybe we can just barely make it. Did you get it? Uh, oh, yeah, you did get it. Yeah, he does have it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we should be able to pull within 20 seconds, actually. I think it's... Doable. But I fucking cheated yeah. to that. I like that. He fucking spidered. <laughs> Hang on, right? Is everyone up here? Because we, okay. we, we, yeah, yeah. yeah pull okay, three, two, one, pulling. Yeah, we good. All right, dude. He actually kept his SKB. That's crazy. That's bad. I need something on the soul hand. Uh, I'm gonna shade you. Uh, okay, no, it's fine. Yeah. Double CR, double CR, yeah, double CR. Yeah, get us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me up. Yeah, get me up. Yeah. Might be in a spider. Uh, yeah, there's a spider here. Are we st once we're stable, let's start moving. Right. One shit here is not enough. Yeah, that's yeah, one million damage. damage. Now Don't we know. Me. Now we know. It's oh, fine. Okay. It's okay, boys. It's okay. I want to move a lot here actually, because there's a spider kind of in the middle. I want to move after our racking pain here. Oh, this is yeah. We need we need to go now. I'm gonna try and move the boss so Bindo can hit it. It should move. Yeah, it'll move. It'll move. Okay, go far ahead. Surely I'll lift this hand. Grip. Finish those ads, and then we're gonna move to the edge after that. I need to fucking kill the ad, guys. Get the ad, the ad, the ad, the ad, the ad, the ad, guys. No, no, we're, we're dead. Uh, darkness, maybe. A couple more seconds, but I'm not sure. So I'll run. I'll move away. I, I'll just run. Double affix as well. Double affix. Yeah, I have uh, nothing after that. I'm gripping. We can still recover this. Double affix. All right. Okay. It's workable. We do need to move away from here, though. Alright, let's go. What do we have? Do we have anything for next? Spider yeah, moving in. Through. Spider moving in. Grab the dodge, GG, yeah. but that's it. We should have Chichi. Wait uh, Yeah, but it's not gonna be enough. I don't have oh. anything again, so... I'm not gonna, I'm gonna die. A uh, good uh, call. Uh, yeah, no, he used to hit. I she lived. How did, how did I live that? Kill the ads, kill the ads, kill the ads. I don't have chains right now, no, I need, I need to save it for next. Okay, yeah, they should die. Move far forwards, guys, move far forwards. I'm moving a lot, I'm moving a lot. Am I ad? Yeah, ad's dead, ad's dead, ad's dead, ad's dead. Let's bait them into this corner. We have mass barrier for next. We need to move, spiders on. There's one, one ahead as well, there's one ahead. In front. Uh, yeah, yeah, I see, I see, I see. We need to move past it, moving past it. And then it's Sol Render Head. Watch out for the spider, though. We need to move a lot. I'll move the boss afterwards. Ch gripping, gripping, gripping. Over here. Yeah, jump yeah, over, can guys. Just jump. jump over, jump over. Mm. 
Interbait the spiders in. Epix, epix, epix. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. We just move, we move. We need to, after they move to this corner, we kind of need to go quite far here. We need to move, we need to move a lot, I think. Let's move. I want to move past all these spiders so you guys have a clean run on the next soul rent. Move, move, move. Come, guys, come, 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 come. And then go ahead, go ahead. Grip. Uh, I'll move to you guys afterwards. After that shit dies. Spider, spider. Okay. Need to kill the ads, need to kill the ads. Ah, it just fucking one shots me. It's 950k damage. Uh, we play it out, it's two minutes, it's maybe doable. I'm not gonna have a CR. There's Affix in middle, Affix in middle. Yeah, I can solo it. I think. Go ahead. Just go call now, guys. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything. Fuck. Yeah, I think sadly we are fucked. You have made it we are fucked. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess oh, not. Man. Not the best start. Unfortunate. That start was. Uh, yeah, the the double one know. shot was was not ideal, uh, was it? Yeah, because double lost is gone as well with bot and literally everything. Yeah, like the boss could have been like ten percent there. Yeah, unfortunate. Well, honestly, that's the learning experience, isn't it? I guess we should just finish this and roll a twenty nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Bit unfortunate, but now we know. Uh, we know that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, I. We know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna live that. To be honest. I uh, just wait till lost comes yeah, back up. Yeah, twenty-five, and then we can reset. Yeah. We can reset list. Hmm. You well, know what's funny? Yeah, what's funny? I was watching Hopeful, uh, doing like a plus 32 at all desire. Yeah. And he only pressed barrier and lift because they have org. Yeah, they have org, yeah. That's so that's, That is funny too. Yeah. So you, yeah, you won't... Just barrier. I mean, org will definitely help with that. Augmentation of Oka. All right. Uh, reset lost, guys. And let's go. Lost. I guess mass barrier first. Let's go. Okay. Alright, mass barrier. Like what? Uh, we don't. See. We have. Uh, we have in five. Yeah, it's, we can do that. Nah, anyway. You have suck, you have suck. Uh, we see our him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Epics as well. 30 AD is oh. no joke. Let's move. Go ahead with Sol Rend. Well, I'm fucking dead again, I think. Ripping. I'm dead. There's no way. I don't have seal. Uh, I'm out of everything at that point. Yeah, I mean, do we just die here and go again? I mean, probably. I'm touching a spider. I'm spidering. Actually, yeah, can you just jump off and reset? Yeah, yeah you can reset. Uh, let me check. Yeah, no, it, re it reset. Okay, so it does like... It's one million. Nearly a million. <laughs> nearly a million, okay. Snizzle got overkilled mm -hmm. by 5k. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that is unfortunate. 
surely we uh, didn't deplete because I cheated on a spider, right? Uh, I mean, nah, we depleted because we weren't we weren't used to the soul <laughs> run damage. That's uh, what we depleted to. We were not ready it's for the. Minutes, we were not ready for plus thirty Yasma. That's uh. That <laughs> Wait, do you want to uh, wait on Lost a little? Or? I mean, we just reset it and go. Yeah, but Lost, I, yeah. it doesn't reset. Ah, oh, yeah, he doesn't have it. How long? It's like two minutes, about. All right, let's just send it. Let's go. Okay. We get Lost. Yeah. No, no, we can just Lust later. Right? When he has it. Good. Soul rend. Not even close. Let's move ahead. Spiders. Spiders moving. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? That's three out of three. Burst through it all, all my defenses. Grip, grip. <laughs> uh, we can also see also spiders on us. Uh, I mean, what do we just do? reset? Yeah, yeah, just reset. Yeah. I'm not gonna die. Oh, I need to check that. I I just barriered, but yeah, you got soul rented for 1.1 million. Yeah. Okay, barrier is not enough. Yeah. Okay. At least I have lost now, but yeah. <laughs> Bit unfortunate. Hmm. If only we had Org. Org. Okay. Yeah, that's what he's using right now. This is Guild Wars Three. Yeah, this is Guild Wars Three. Let's go. Does Barrier skill HP like, uh, or just in uh, it something? It's with Verse, I think. Yeah, it's probably it's like a percent. It's like a a percent of your HP. Probably bonified by verse, I guess. Ah oh, man. Yeah, it's health and verse. Yeah. Looks like you need more verse, bro. Yeah. He's probably using corrupting rage right now. If only. Is there a infinite? All right. Yeah. Let's play. Kill the boss before it kills us. How about that? Seems like a plan to me. Soul rend. There's a spider on us. We're gonna have to move. Let's go. Big Nova. Sense of interest. There's an ad still up, guys. Ad. It needs to die. Yep. Kill the ad, kill the ad, kill the ad. Yeah, I have stun on it. Cool. It's spiders in, it's soul red next. Oh, bro. <laughs> Instantly cheating. It's all run now. Rip. Spiders on us. I mean, where the odds are. Yeah, I'm trying to get him with some sigils. The ants should die. Yep. Let's move a fair bit. Let's get over it. 
There's a kind of an annoying spider. Try and bait it in and then we move. Um, I don't have anything for the soul end now. I'm gonna divine shield and sack you. Let's uh, move. I'm not sure sack is enough. But, uh, maybe. Nah, it's 30% DR. Like, there's no way. Go. Just go ahead, guys. Um, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Dripping. Okay. There's double affix in mid. Double affix in mid. <laughs> Fuck off, Will. There's a spider ahead. We bait it, then we move past it. Bait into this corner, and let's go. And we move, move a lot. We need to move a lot here, because it's soul red next. Move a lot, move a lot. Soul runs. Uh, careful with splitting here. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm probably dead. Gripping, oh. gripping. Can we call where we're going? Yeah. Okay, I. Yeah, I didn't want to. I will, yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't really want to go in there at that time because, the, yeah, there's a million spiders. I want to make more split fucking second decisions. I need to. Okay, we need to bait and then move. I'll move a lot. Okay, we need to move, 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 move. I'll move, I'll move it a lot. It will just chase me. And then going ahead, going ahead with uh, Sorrender. We saw her next. Yeah. Going ahead. Chains. Careful. Yeah. I, we oh, we, no, we bait so here, we bait here, and then we move. Okay, we need to move now. We're moving a lot. Watch the spider. Let's move a little bit, and it'll be in the next corner. In the next corner along. Next corner along with these. It's gone now. Yep. Grip. Uh, I'm gonna hold the boss here for a bit. I'll move after the ads are done. Okay, yeah, I'm moving now. Oh, we need to see. We have it. I uh, don't have CR. And then. Oh no. Um. Hmm. All right, well, I, I think uh, I can finish this. I can finish this. It's getting a little late, and so just try and finish. Was that just a? Oh, was, wait. What happened to Snizzle there actually? The spider? It's a fucking uh, circle okay. under me, I guess. I don't fucking see it. Oh. Uh, well, good luck, boys. Oh, 07. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, grip them back. I'll grab them back. It's 7 mil, though. It should die pretty quick. I flicked it. Can I misery the ants? Just... It's fine, it's 1 mil. Holy. Oh man, fucking rough boss, bro. Fucking hell. We rolled into an Everbloom as well. Well, I guess the game really wants us to do that. It's a rough yeah. key, dude. Rough goddamn oh, key. We do need an Everbloom. That's we do, yeah, 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 we do. There's only chat. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, ever bloom hype. Okay, I think we're done for the day though, right? So I think uh, a, little, uh, a little late. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, look, it definitely sucks we didn't time that, but honestly, now we know, right? Now, now we know. <laughs> oh man, now we know. Yeah. The combat and well, well, what do we the know? The combat's good in this game. Well, we know how to beat this boss. We did not. Uh, we we, we were not. I think. I mean, I think so. That went pretty smooth up until the very end. I mean, look, the only reason yeah, we died there was because I think Snizzle didn't see a swirly or something. I mean, yeah, but yeah. it feels like RNG with the uh, racking paints. I, I, yeah. yeah. Like, if I get back to back uh, racking paints, it's fucking over for me. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah, that, it's it's not going to be good if that happens. I mean, the movement, I I mean, uh, the, the, the movement is cursed because, like, <laughs> if the. If the ads don't die, I have to stay out, and then the spiders get really scuffed. 
Um, I think we had pretty decent uptime there. I don't think you were struggling with like the soul rends, but yeah, it will always be a little bit cursed if the ads live, because then I can't. Yeah, like we, yeah. we, because then we, yeah, yeah, it's a little bit scuffed. Oh, not lucky. Okay. Not lucky. Okay. I mean, you can just do slash cast uh, Might of the Ocean. Works as well. Slash cast? Yeah, but, uh, yeah you can. Uh, yeah, you just can. type it in get mid No, uh, it's in the macro. In the macro. <laughs> <laughs> just replace slash use with uh, slash cast Might of the Ocean. Yeah, boom. Boom. But yeah, I mean, I know. Yeah, I think also, I um, we Like, we, we got this. Like, if we, if, we roll, if we roll that again, I think we could do it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's... We could do it. Simple as that. Uh, keys for the end of the week are actually a little bit awkward um, because I, I should be able to play on Tuesday evening, but I'm not around at all tomorrow uh, evening, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, so well, you don't want to play bolstering. <laughs> well, no, I I would love to play bolstering, but unfortunately, it's uh, it's not possible uh, for me to uh, for me to play tomorrow. So it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, I should be able to play Tuesday evening, I think. You know, surely they, surely we're done with Saros on Tuesday, right? Like that's, uh, sure. Surely that's. Did you uh, imagine, like you need to, like a challenge or something? You just need to like do a key, but you have to type like slash cast for every ability. Nice, yeah. <laughs> huge role play. You can type it, sir. No way. I don't think I've, I haven't taken anything from the vault this week. I, I, I've just been coping to not take the socket. I think, but I think I'm, I have to take. Also, I'm um, hopeful and Yoda defiled us yesterday. So honestly, ego. I mean, the, what a thirty? I mean, it's not free. Like, is a hundred percent not yeah, free? Yeah, it was thirty. Yeah, is they, that, they uh, had like but, zero deaths, zero death up until up until second asthma, boss, and then, Oh wait, second yeah, boss? they wiped like three times. On, uh, no, on last boss. Oh, last boss. Okay. Wow. Yeah. They That's wiped like three times. I saw like a plus thirty-two at all desire. Well, yeah, they also hopeful, done this. That, that was like fortifying. Yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. They like almost plus two to fucking 32 with all the Zarn for it. Yep. But yeah, I guess Tyrannical is just fucked up. Then they wipe two Mythic Ball Cross four times in a row. <laughs> they created this one. Well. Anyway, that'll do it. Uh, good job, gamers. I'm getting out of here. See ya. Uh, it's tab tight combat. It's slow. It's faster than Guild Wars 2 combat. I don't know the dodge. Yeah, but you can do all of the other counterplay, like positioning, uh, kick, interrupting is basically like dodging. Cooldowns are too slow. I mean, are they? I mean, you have a lot of like very short cooldown abilities, right? Like you, you have a lot of skills. Like some of them have shorter cooldowns. Some of them have longer cooldowns. There's a lot going on. Um, but yeah. What do I prefer? Uh, WoW or Gorsu? I prefer WoW right now. Like, Gorsu is a good game, but I, I'm enjoying WoW a bit more. Indeed. I actually might see if I can, uh, yeah. Get a heroic run done or something. Yeah. Is there a heroic Farak? I'm not sure when I'm going to have time to do heroic, actually. It's a little bit awkward. Let's see if there's a heroic run going. I can leech. I can leech on to. At Laradar, Zerg run, 9 out of 9 M lead. Hmm. How bad can it be? We love to see it. Yeah, that shows the poor state of Guild Wars 2 right now. Well, I mean, does it? Does it though? Like the thing is, like maybe, um, maybe Guild Wars 2 is just not really for me. It doesn't mean that the game's in a bad state. It just means that it doesn't cater to what I'm looking for. No, like wouldn't that also be a you know pretty uh, pretty viable explanation for that situation? Ready to boost my druid, dude. I, I've missed, I've missed Talon Tosser. Okay, that's what we're gonna have to do. We need to get that back in there. Yeah. Yes.
that's the situation. Yeah. I'll maybe sort this out tomorrow, I guess. Fresh run. The combat in Bird Simulator is horrible. Yeah, maybe it is. I need all the portals on the eye, though. Yeah, now we can we can sort you out, bro. No problem. Um, don't want you to do for the Guild Wars three on Monday. No, no, no. I, 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 I you don't, you can't let people get away with that. Um, if an MMO runs out of content for me, that's a problem. Uh, and it's not actually that either. I just prefer the gameplay, uh, Malba. Gameplay is what I'm looking for, and I'm enjoying just like the the content and the gameplay loop in WoW more. But no, I mean, like, if, if a game doesn't provide the type of content that I'm looking for, or enough content, that doesn't mean that I'm done with the other game. Or that's a cop-out, right? Like, you know, you can't... I'm not going to let games cop out with that, realistically. There's no escape. You're not getting away with that one. I'm not sure if I can be bothered to join any of these groups right now. Fresh full run. Mythic. 465+. plus. I think they might have slightly... Uh, Pick the wrong difficulty there. What are you looking for? Raids or like that? Um, I mean, yeah, raids, dungeons, and competitive player base as well. Like, I, I, the thing that I'm really missing in Guild Wars 2, um, to be honest, is I, 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 I don't really have anyone to play Guild Wars 2. With. Like, no one really wants to go hard in that game, right? Like, it's, I find the community, I, I feel like my values don't really align with the community, and no one wants to do anything, right? Like, no one wants to, um, you know, you know, like the the game just isn't interesting to me. Like the community isn't interesting to me in Guild Wars Two. There's not really anything to talk about, right? Like the game doesn't change that much. There's not a lot of new content, right? Like all that kind of stuff. Last three bosses. Let's go. Uh, was there everything to do in Leech Wars? I mean, there was a time. There was a time, guys. Where well, there was. Not so much anymore, though. But, you know. It is what it is. It is what it is. These things happen. Fresh run. I mean, th this is almost something I mean, an unbelievably cursed group. The guy who's leading this group is four out of nine normal. It's probably a little bit late to get into a decent heroic group, to be honest. Farak HC. Eight out of nine mythic leads. Insane. Let's see. Okay, if they let me in for this Farak, I'll do Farak. But I, they already have two tanks, so. Yeah. Probably not going to happen. The swimming animation in Guild Wars is better than one in New World. Yeah, I mean, you know, New World probably should have added swimming. It's, uh, there's no question about that. Yeah. There is no question about that. Vengeance DPS. Look, the reality is if I join this group as tank, I will out DPS multiple DPS players. You know, it's really funny. Like, the whole thing that Guild Wars 2 players think that, oh yeah, WoW is, you know, WoW is such an easy game. It's impossible to do low DPS in that game. It's the most insane fucking cope ever. Like, when you pug in this game, guys, you realize that everyone does Z DPS. Like, everyone is like 2 DPS at best. Yeah. Can't wait for daily worthless chat opinion next to Guild 2 stream. True, actually. That is true. Yeah, mice with the resub as well. Feels good. Sometimes Twitch chat has very high intelligence opinions. There you have it. I'm going to surrender the dark zone. Surrender the wall. I hate surrender. Oh, well. So, wait. We've gone from the game sucks to I am going to sub to WoW. I like that. You know, that's that's honestly pretty based, I think, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Zaste, even. 
All right, okay. I can't be bothered anything, guys. Guys, I may not be around tomorrow. If I stream, it will be very early. I am not around in the evening whatsoever. Um, but I might not stream tomorrow at all. But I will be back on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yes, that's it. But until then, guys, I am done. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Um, yeah, I'm done. I'm raiding Sneb. Let's go. Snebzor, here we go. Boom. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Follow, subscribe. Come back and watch every single day. And I'll see you next time. That's it.